the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get a witness. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Miss my butthole, he laughed. From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective, here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Welcome everybody to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 1117. Doing it live. Doing it live, 1117 once again. And I blame Magicus 100% for us being late. I think it was Dr. Gas Mask. Right? Do- Dr. I- oh, dude. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've heard about Dr. Gas Mask, actually. I have no idea what uh, that is. I've been hearing rumbles about a newcomer to Actual Mania who is a vicious, ruthless psychopath, Dr. Oh, yeah. Gas Mask. Worse than Dr. Piss? Yeah, Dr. Piss is kind of a lovable, kooky, kind of nutty professor kind of doctor. You know what I mean? Huh. Yeah, Yeah. like, I can't tell if Dr. Piss is going to prescribe me methamphetamines or bring Frankenstein's monster to life. Well, yeah, I like how he, you know, when he's, oh, I'm Dr. Piss, like that. But then when he becomes Billy's dentist, is he your dentist? (laughs) Yeah. He's like, Billy. uh, Oral doctor. We'll schedule you for a root canal. Yeah, he he totally turned it serious for a minute there, you know? So let's explain the Magicus rule really quick here. We'll put him on the screen. He's in a fish tank right now. I am. I'm a merfolk master, and I moved my secret headquarters underwater finally, so... Awesome. <laughs> I like yeah. how you laughed at that, Magicus. Yeah, I'm like, that I, was, I was for you. Funny. It was great, all right? Everybody no, I often, I often say things and tell myself it was great, too. Every fi- every <laughs> level of 50 we reach from now until the end of the show, Magicus will do a drinky drink. And so that means when we get to 350, that's the first one. So that's a little discount mm-hmm. on the first drinky drink for everybody. This is a very important show. This is our third show of the week and we need to meet that goal there we go we're getting it started free shot for enlightening these sweet boys oh wow eric's demanding free shots (laughs) i i think that's fair actually yeah oh you're gonna oh no cheers coop car so now you already said you you already said you do the first one from that one (laughs) we're 49.96 percent that's amazing to our goal we're gonna try and hit this goal tonight so we have to hit this goal tonight or we won't have another a bonus show next week where we go i'm giving you i'm giving you two shots right now there you go one one's on the house and then one is because of that and then like in less than a dollar we'll have number three one's on the house and two's in her blouse all right exactly do the other one I'll put you on full screen for this one. Yeah. That no, the, the first free one wasn't good enough, just this one. The free one, well, we weren't ready. Yeah. You sucked the first one down so quick. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't ask how like liquid stays in a glass underwater. I don't understand it either. <laughs> the same way the same way Murpho can ride a horse underwater, I guess. <laughs> now it's three magic kiss. Now it's Fuck. three. Three is another for the magic one. Key. Another one. Three is uh, for the magic I have magic a feeling key. there's gonna be a magic kiss uh, <laughs> voice chat tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have two dinners to go to tomorrow, so uh Are you gonna be, be Ralphing? You'll be fine. <laughs> two dinners but zero breakfast. You got time. Are you gonna be watching Survivor Situation Live, Magicus? That is Monday. Monday, right? Monday, Monday. Yeah, yeah. I, I am I'm planning to try. So we're we're doing the pre show at five. And then, uh, and then we're doing the main show. You know, maybe like an hour later or so. And uh, yeah, I, I was gonna ask if you wanted to join us on the commentary team, but I don't know if you if you're gonna be there or not. You're- um, I can I can be in for a while. I, I okay. think I have till like about midnight Eastern time is when I have to tap out. So because you're a former co- oh, midnight- we should be done by then. Or about nine, then anyways, right? That's yeah. nine. Yeah. We should be done by about then anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I think it would be interesting because you're a former competitor, former champion. Yeah. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Want. 
What are your go-to plates for Thanksgiving? Ayo. Uh, I love pineapple stuffing. That is like my thing. Pineapple it's, stuffing? It's I, like a dessert. That's you guys also a ruined stuffing. pizza for us, and now you want to ruin <laughs> turkey. I'll put you us know back on the You know what is good though? Uh, the the pineapple uh, tamales. Mm. You ever have those? It's like pastor tamales. Oh no! The, well, they have pastor tamales, but they also have the, just a pineapple inside with like a strawberry, a pink strawberry. Oh yeah, masa. like like dessert yeah, tamales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've bad. had those. I've had those. You can get al pastor uh, tacos with pineapple. Pineapple is great, but why do you get pineapple stuffing? Do you you eat ham at that I, point? Uh yeah, you, like so, um, so sometimes yeah. Um, I'll have ham with it, and it's really good. So we usually like have um, either ham or turkey, and sometimes both. Hmm. So explain, but explain my your family ideal loves plate. To fucking cook and make all kinds of delicious shit. So I want to know your ideal Thanksgiving Day plate, Magicus. Be descriptive. Be descriptive. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, we're gonna get our pineapple stuffing going on. You're gonna get a little bit of that dark meat turkey. Get some mashed potatoes, uh, slather the turkey and the potatoes with some gravy. What color get some gravy? Corn. Uh, White. I, I always go for the brown gravy. Or like, or like turkey. turkey gravy? Yeah. 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 Get some uh, corn and some carrots on there. You got to you know stay healthy, of course. Corn and, and carrots. That's your idea of health? Yeah. That's I, fine. You know what? C- co- well, carrots, man. They have beta carotene. Well, I was going to say... When you put carrots with like a roast, anything, whether it be a turkey or a oh ham or whatever, it sucks like up the juice. The carrots turn into candy when you put them in that like the roast stew. Yeah, yeah, it's it's delicious. Uh, everyone liked the stream. I actually am slow cooking. My, I, I just had to swallow my saliva when I'm talking about this. I am slow cooking as we speak right now. A three pound. American Wagyu Chuck Roast. Right that you now. found at Costco. Yeah. It was the last one. Yeah, it was the last one. <laughs> it might have been the only one. I don't know. It like, was just a magic Christmas deal. I'm guessing <laughs> they get like a whole cow, so maybe they get like one whole Wagyu cow, American Wagyu cow, and they cut it into whatever. Divvy it up. Um, yeah, so I don't know. So I'm waiting. So uh, I'll probably be snacking on that in about an hour or two, depending on when it you know, softens up. We are going to get into this stuff. There was a hilarious, I was like, what am I going to do for the show? Like, I didn't know. And you know, these shows run a little longer sometimes and I didn't know what to do. I I was seriously like, what am I going to do? What am I going to put in the thumbnail? I don't even know. And while I was setting up, I noticed G man is streaming. And I'm like, and I'm like, I, I, you know, I haven't watched G man in a little while. Last time it was when you were out of town, we watched a little with Jeff and I, G-Man is getting super chats. He's getting over 100 live viewers when he streams. And, like, he's, like, the hero of everyone who hates Shanny now, which is weird because G-Man has some fucked up views. He's doxed yeah. people in the past. He's an enabled remember the last Shanny time he was on show? birthday is tomorrow. And I have to spend it being social with family. Oh, thanks a lot, Pilgrims. That's what you get, Eric. <laughs> happy thirty sixth, though. Pilgrims. Celebrate it with us tonight. Yes. Um. So we're gonna check this out, uh, and this is part of our ongoing series of antagonism. It starts now. Brussels sprouts. Cooked in bacon or air fried are a quality side dish for Thanksgiving. Yes, we will. (laughs) All right. Uh, the, these are not in chronological order, full disclosure. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to play this first one because it's the shortest one, and it. I was in the chat, and I got G-Man's attention. You'll see in a minute. And I hope you're saving your money and not spending it all on 
tobacco and gas and all of that. Like if somebody gets he's talking to Shani and Rev. It's your thirty bucks. You should be smart enough to put five away and use twenty five for what you got to do. And stop buying. Gee, man, have you seen Hold the on. price of fucking gas though? Like. That is going to take all their money. Yeah. yeah. Can you be smart enough to put $5 away when you can't afford anything uh, to, to get earn your next 30 bucks? You got to buy gas. You got to buy food. You got to pay rent. If if you if you're a Shanny or Rev, I understand why you're fucking bums. You don't add anything to society. You're not going to get any fucking paychecks. Listen to what he says coming up here, though. Listen to this. 25 for what you got to do. And stop buying her Delta 8, dude, because you're both addicted to it. Damn. Watch. <laughs> the drunken peasant says, can you ask them to use our Delta 8 affiliate link? <laughs> uh, I don't know if that would be a good idea. Like I said, these these people got a problem. They got a problem. And by the way, which peasant is this? Is this Billy or is this the, uh, the other one? The other one. <laughs> the other one? Why do you? Why do you? Why are you the other I one? I don't know. I don't know, but that's funny. Is this Billy no, or I, the I, other one? I've actually known him longer, too. That's the funny thing. Yeah. I'm You've sorry. literally been here since day one, and he can't fucking remember your name. Yeah. I, I, it's hilarious. Uh, uh, with him. And 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 if he um needs anything. He drops so much dirt here. This is fascinating. He knows I'm a phone call away. He's been there for real thick and thin. Not riding the wave of a rich boyfriend, and when things run out, you blame everybody. Cut the baloney. Don't come after me, Shani, if you don't want the heat. All right? Because I'll put you in your place super fast. For fucking money, you fucking Judas piece of shit. She said Judas, by the way. There there was ass at the end of that. Okay. Just pointing that out. So she's going to refer to me going to drag channel. Uh, she's going to refer to the people who super chatting my channel. Let me just say this here real quick, okay? And I'm not trying to insult nobody. When I say this, but I would not be me if I didn't say this. Okay, so this is gonna. Some people are gonna understand what I'm saying, and some people are gonna take this. Uh, you know, whatever. I don't know if anybody's paying attention to the amount of super chats that I'm receiving, but if I'm gonna sell out, I'm gonna sell out for some real money. I'm doing this because you turned on me. You decided that you was gonna lie to everybody. That you was going to lie to everybody. I just realized how loud I'm talking. That you was going to lie to everybody and tell everybody I gave you a death wish. That you was never intending on getting off your fat, lazy behind and getting a job. That you and your man was going to mooch off of me for the rest of your life. And that guy, Crater, Greater, whatever the heck his name is, Greater, Crater, whatever his name is, he made the YouTube video that made me start thinking about that. Because in his stream, he was saying... What did he say in that video? He said that uh, it, it, it was either in the video or it was in the comment section. But I think it I, I think it's a combination of the video and a comment section. And he was talking about whether or not this guy was in a condition to give away a house and whatnot. Right. And I, yeah, it was a comment section. And I went there and they said there was only two reasons on why she gave me the house. Number one, uh, 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 to try to get uh, YouTube clout. Look, I'm not racist. Look what I did for this black man. Or number two, you guys are looking for me to fix everything up and then try to have me give it back to you. Two. Oh, two. Yeah. Two. They don't care about the first thing at all. At all. They weren't trying to look like racially sensitive or anything like that. Yeah, if anything, they were probably taking advantage of the fact that you said you thought slavery would be okay. Right. Under biblical Cut realms. Him to work. Right. So they're like, oh, he's okay with slavery. Let's use him as a slave. I would have assumed that it might be some sort of like tax evasion or something or like debt evasion where they're just trying to offload the house into somebody else. He look, look, you can't take it from us. We don't have it. And then yeah. just like get it back later. Well, I don't know if they were planning on getting it back later. I figured they'd just be able to get it. Oh, much I out definitely think they him. were going to try to get it back from G Man at some point. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. And for the people that are wondering, am I, am, am I like this in real life? You better believe it. I went off on them I believe several it. times when they were there over this very issue. Tough talk, Shani, when you're miles and miles away from me. I am begging you to try this mess in person. What would you would you beat her? What would you do in person? What are you You'll suggesting? I don't think you could take her. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay to see that for fight. the Lord for that shit. Oh, you're gonna pay from the Lord for that shit. 
Oh yes, you will. Okay, so if you're gonna bring, if you're gonna invoke the Lord Jesus Christ into this, at least stop cussing. <laughs> I do not l- listen to me, Shannon. I don't respect anybody talking to me about the Bible followed with a whole bunch of cuss words. Okay, put some soap in your mouth, practice some form of holiness, then talk about the scriptures. But you getting on here cussing everybody out, saying you got the spirit of Elijah. Listen, dummy. Elijah Elijah wasn't talking the way you're talking right now. Stop it. You are seriously uneducated on these topics. I bet you Jesus used cuss words. Jesus Christ, Nick, you're going to pay for everything <laughs> he said, oh, you've done me. to us and hurt us. You know? It says, hey, oh, Jesus what Christ. Exactly he said, oh, me. Let's look at the events that led God up to me it. not dealing with you no more. Okay? God damn it. You, when I told you I was going to have to get minor back surgery... And that the money was going to be cut in half, not completely cutting you off. This is where you're dumb, Shani. Okay? When I was going to cut the money in half, go read the Skype message again. I told you I was only going to be able to give you a certain amount. <laughs> you got on YouTube right. and Gmail you beat told a trans person everybody to death, God forbid that I gave you a death swears. sentence. Yeah. Right. Right. That's his well, priority. To be fair, in in the scenario he was talking about being the trans person to death, they uh, they were kissing on him without him knowing they were trans, right? It's so, the typical trans panic. Thing. So he was he was one hundred percent. He was he was telling himself that he can't trust himself to be a uh, a God fearing man that gets to know a person before entering into a, a sexual relationship with them. You're going you're gonna to get to know somebody, whether or not they're trans, if you actually take time to get to know them. He'd never have to worry about going into trans panic if he was half the fucking Christian he pretends to be. You liar. Hey. You're clearly not dead. You suck fucking <laughs> You're clearly not dead. Lying charlatan. I don't know how clear that is, though. She could be going through some sort of... Uh, Rigor mortis chicken with its head cut off gimmick. Oh my god. Bucket of chicken with its uh, <laughs> gravy cut off. Why the fuck does he keep bouncing Damn around me. like all over the place? Is he on something? He's on G Man. He's G Man. <laughs> I mean, think, like, you literally. G Man does uh, crack? Nope. Good. I don't think so. Good, good, good. good. Against bones. You, think you destroyed Rev? You? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I don't know Doug. I never met Doug. But you destroyed Chris? To a certain degree, he seems to be doing okay. He's recovering. Her ex-husband. You destroyed Rev, so there's hope for him. Maybe he'll recover when he realizes what he's with. What he's with. How does it feel to know that you failed in your task to destroy me? But don't worry. There's a whole long line of people that tried to do it before you, Shani. No, the, the only the only thing new about this situation is there's been tons of people who have gone toe-to-toe with G-Men. The thing new now is that G-Man's making like forty, fifty dollars in in super chats. <laughs> yeah, he is. After after the fact, yeah. <laughs> Shani and Rev have somehow they've, <laughs> they've somehow been the the, the people that go toe to toe with G-Man and have him fall upwards. <laughs> like that's it's it's because he was dug so down with them in the first place. They were the pig pen, and he was the one trying to lick Shani for Christ Oreo. He was trying to go in on some cunnilingus inside of those caverns. He was top tier s- simpery. Remember, he was like, "You're not getting this chocolate." Yeah, you're not getting this chocolate. But we can't forget, G Man had the fucking sweets for Shani for Christ. That like, let's. I mean, you can't forget that. So, yeah, regardless of whatever the situation might be, like. He's at least winning because he's getting paid to do this shit this time. It's like the same dance he's done his entire life, except now like there's a reward for doing it. But he's only winning because he's turned on the people that everybody hates more than him. Than him. Now he's a hero. And this is how it kind of goes, too. It's people- like Joseph Stalin turned on Hitler people and will- was like a hero. People will enable shit people. And the second that they turn on those shit people, everybody who hates those shit people embrace them. Like, yeah, you're one of us now. You're one of us. You're not. It's G-Man. Yeah. It's, it's, enjoy, the, saw... enjoy the ride now that you're giving him money. He's going to do something to fuck it up soon. You failure. Jesus is going to bring you into the kingdom knowing that you're doing nothing but put on the seat and causing discord among your brother. One in the chat if you think G-Man and Shani 
had sex. Oh, he gets into that. Two in the chat if you think G-Man and Shani made love. Three he, for the manatee. <laughs> well, he, he gets into it, too. Like, uh, at the beginning, there was a few times where I stopped recording, and then he started talking again, and I'm like, oh, I got to go back and record that. <laughs> I don't consider you my brethren. Let's continue. I don't consider you my brethren. Whoa. Discord among brethren. I don't consider you my brethren. I don't consider you my brethren. You don't act like brethren. What does the Bible tell me to do? Oh, wait a minute. Well, I got a funny story to tell you guys, though. Hold on a minute. I got a funny story to tell you guys. Uh, but, um, <laughs> okay. So, uh, thank you for the $5 super chat. Uh, wait a minute. I, I gotta, I gotta hit this one, but I'm sorry, Wilson. He says, please be careful, G-Man. You're talking to angels, Metatron and sand dolphin. Remember when they were <laughs> calling themselves, uh, I, I could have swore we came up with those names. We were like listening to what they were calling themselves, and we were like, "What Megatron and Sand Dolphin?" Maybe I, <laughs> I they, don't remember. I yeah yeah we, we Metatron were, right is is the the play, uh, and then Ser- not Seraphim or be, would it be Seraphim? They were like fallen angels. Yeah, the Metatron is an yeah. angel. A Seraphim is an angel. I don't know the Sand Dolphin. Megatron like- and Sand Dolphin. Oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I never said a whole lot about that. Um, Shani, I don't know if you noticed or not, Shani, but Saldaphon and Sandaphon are demons. Now, I don't know if you know mm. that or not. And both of you claimed that you were those angels or whatever, right? They're fallen angels that you guys are going around claiming that you were. You don't believe me? Keep watching the YouTube channel. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Keep watching the YouTube channel. Sure. You what a YouTuber. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes! Yes! Sweet boy. Hey, thank you very much, Garcia. All right. Cheers. Cheers to you. Yeah, thank you so oh. much. And cheers to Alcoholic. Magicus, too. Yeah. Time to suck one down, Magikai. Alcoholism coming in nicely, Tubes. Yeah. <laughs> Forget all your troubles downtown. <sighs> Almost at 60% now. Like the stream, by the way, guys. We, we get fucked by the algorithm. If you want to help us out. Give us a like. Get us to at least 100 likes. Yeah, I think all the streaming we've been doing this week has motherfucked our uh, recommendations. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, I think that YouTube wants some sort of yeah. regularity and spacing. Yeah. To, to We just, we fucking, we've, we've, what, done seven uploads this week? A lot. <laughs> a lot. I'm not, I'm not saying that liking the stream adds two inches to your PP, but I'm also not saying it doesn't do that either. What about so. someone who doesn't have a PP? Will they grow one? Yeah, or what Will about they grow somebody... a two-inch PP? Or what, what about someone uh, who yeah, managed to lose might. a couple I, of I, inches? I don't know. I, you have to try it and find out. Let us know in the chat. <laughs> Some of us want to get rid of a couple of extra inches. Got too much meat packing around. Oh wait, 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 Okay. G Man, you is, simp. Is, uh, that's tomorrow, right? Thanksgiving is tomorrow. You defended them so hard. You simp for them so hard. It only took them to like really, 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 really fuck you over. You didn't want to admit you were wrong about Shani and Rev. You but didn't even want then, to. He did get a house out of them, right? <laughs> I think they thought they were being clever. Yeah, of and, course. And then they just. Yeah. Bit. Oh, yeah. I guarantee it's a scam that backfired in them. I don't know if it was sure. necessarily a scam. Well, they were, were going to lose the house anyway. They had debt. Yeah. And they knew that if it wasn't their property anymore, then it couldn't be taken from them. Yeah. So they were like giving their debt to him or giving the house to him so it couldn't be taken from them. So and he I, just I kept would bet it. any amount of money, like. Anything that they were intending to get it back from him at some yeah, point. Yeah, but they were they intending like... to, to do shit with all the shit they bought and put in that house they left full of garbage, expensive garbage of, of shit they wasted. I'm, they're always I'm not in, the road to hell is paved with, with good intentions. Thought it would work. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. It also happened to be covered in garbage from these fucking uh, piglets and their stink trail. 
They literally, they literally fled a, a, a brand new townhome. They filled with expensive trash. It, it was nice expensive at trash. One point. They filled this fucker with expensive trash, and they left a trail of tears driving from the fucking <laughs> one townhome to the old house that, they, that belonged I, to them. I, the, I don't leaving, know if I would use that expression given that tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Trail of they trash. Were, they were riding the railways. Yeah, they were literally, <laughs> they were literally <laughs> fucking up across the country. That's how horrible. Uh, th- th- how 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 trashy these fucking people are. And they would tell me that they didn't have no gas. And I believe this is on this phone. I can't really show nobody. But it said, um, um, yeah, Sticky says that was so sad. They wasted more than a lot of people have. Hey, by the way, mm-hmm. this Thanksgiving, I'm thankful that I'm not Shanny and Rev. And, and and I I normally don't say I normally don't say I'm thankful for not being somebody else, but because you fucking pig fuckers at home always compare me to Shanny, I'm thankful that I'm not. <laughs> you fucking assholes. Yeah, you're definitely not. For uh, you know? forty dollars for at least talking snot about me. Now I did not send the, the forty dollars. I did not do it. I did not do it, and I'm not. Is that the hoodie you left here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do it. And Shanny, I know you're watching this, Shanny. Okay. Listen to me. Every time you request something from me and I tell you no, every time your stomach growls, okay? Every time uh, 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 you toss and you turn and you're in pain. Her stomach's growling constantly. I want you to remember everything I did for you, and I want you to remember who was the dummy who made the YouTube video and said that G-Man gave me a death sentence. I want you to remember that, and you remember that too, JWE. I want you to remember that. Why don't you debate me, amazing atheist? You ungrateful <laughs> pieces of pricks. Pieces of pricks? <laughs> oh, gee, man. You buffoon. Pricks. pricks. Why don't you debate me, <laughs> awesome <laughs> autist? <laughs> awesome autist. I almost said it. Ignore the motherfucker. And then he coming at me trying to get my attention. Like, what the fuck are you? Do you want me to keep following my faith, or do you want me to compromise my faith? We ain't got no faith. Well, oh. Compromise my faith? Is she talking about when G-Man was sweet on her? Is, 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 he, is he about to go into the story of when he uh, oh. when he had a, a bean pie eating contest in Shanny's lap? By the way, <laughs> and before you get offended by me saying that, Shanny, when I say you ain't got no faith, who, who is it that you're begging money from? I mean, let's, let's just keep it above 50 here, right? You're not going to Christians. You're not going to you're not going to your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. You, you tell everybody you're a Christian, but who are you begging money for from? You go to your audience. Do you read your comment sections? Do you do, do you see what they say about you? Yet you're kissing their butts. You're like, mm, 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 and you're kissing those booties. Right. And then you're sitting there and then you're begging them, sucking up to them, agreeing with them when I know you don't. I don't hear you, Lord, Father God. Um, can you uh, put an opportunity in front of me where I can make some money? I don't see you praying in the name of Jesus for a job at Walmart. Because that doesn't work. Walgreens. Or somewhere we... <laughs> you show up to Walmart, you're like, don't I have a job? They're like, no, we didn't get an application from you. But I prayed to God about it. If <laughs> you know, <laughs> Like what? If you can't get a job at Walmart, there is no God. Praying won't get you a job at Walmart. Uh, putting in an application almost definitely will, unless you're like a felon or may, something. Maybe G-Man's on some sort of uh, amphetamines or something. You can just sit down all day. He is moving you don't like a madman. Like, I don't see you doing that. All I see you doing maybe is he's just here and hyper-reactive to a cup of coffee. But uh, people who don't like you. He's always like this. This is his and energy level. He ran a fucking marathon, and he held a camera while he did it. He put out a video years ago when I first learned about him. He ran a fucking marathon, and part of it, he's, like, filming himself running, and he's running pretty good. Yeah. Like, G-Man is is probably, like, a semi-athletic guy and in good shape, and now he's pushing 50. He's you know? grown. A lot of people that don't like you. And if they don't like you, imagine how, how what, what they feel about your man, for what he did to that kid, for what he did to your son. I want you to think about that. Join reality with the rest of us. Uh, let's not go too far, G-Man. He's going there. Because you're delusional if you think these people just magically forgot about those things. I like I like how th- many things we're magically forgetting about to agree with G-Man, too. Like, G-Man has done some... <laughs> 
highly uh, unforgivable shit and some yeah, highly yeah. hilarious stupid shit. Some some uh, G Man said some of the dumbest things. I, I think dumber than anything I've ever heard Shani or Rev say. He he calls you out at some point in this nice yeah, my yeah, guy yeah. not just right. as the other or no 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 he's uh, like he's like Billy the fridge and the host of that extreme <laughs> alt right podcast wherever the other the guy's other guy name is. that's what CNN <laughs> did to me too they even <laughs> captioned what I was saying but said like anonymous host yeah, or something yeah. like that you're just the other I didn't guy. have the mask on so <laughs> did did you see the picture of uh, Nick Fuentes and Kanye together. No, I didn't. But I knew that Kanye will be our first ever fascist president. <laughs> when Nick Fuentes will be like Secretary of State. When or something we're done, like that. when we're done with this G-Man segment, everybody remind us to revisit that story because it's hilarious. Ask about Nick Fuentes and Kanye when we're done with this because it's hilarious. They're going to give Nick Fu Kanye West. You said Trump couldn't win. Kanye West will win, and then we'll have like Secretary of State Nick Fuentes or something stupid. I don't like think that. we will. You got to hear the, the whole story when it's when it's oh, after okay. this is over. It's well, so I was, funny. I had this like dystopian idea of the future. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's it's a good story. It's burning to the ground. It's a really good story. We'll get to that after the G Man segment. Remind Mind me, guys. Well, you never apologized for the racist statements that you made. Oh. You but told you, her she didn't true. have to. Yes, you that's true. You co-signed. You fucking you slug. You fucking slug. <laughs> you fucking smooth-brained slug. You were the one that went to bat for her and wrote her off as innocent and then said, be not he who judges or judge not by the Lord. You did your little fucking dog and pony show to get her off of being racist. And now, because it's opportune, you want to throw it back at her? Sorry, we've been throwing shit at her way before this. That's our gig. Oh, you empath <laughs> you, you, em you empathized. You empathized. And then you gave what I believe now, in November of 2022, as being a fake apology. You gave a like fake apology. pointing at the wall like I, there's like a script written on it, it or something. I think, the wall, I think the wallpaper is like filigree nut sacks. Like those little round ball hanging things. Are those just nuts? Just a Maybe it's of, one of those like uh, like those uh, pictures you have to cross your eyes to look at to see like maybe. the hidden message. It looks like a mixture between Art Deco ball bags and then like <laughs> then like a very ball then bags. a very gaping <laughs> JJ. <laughs> It's like, it's, it's like there's even like, ball bags. like you look at the Art Deco ball bags. Then next to it, there's the gaping vajayjay right. with a little bean hole at the top. I'm I'm reminded again, everyone. Uh, I've actually joined the DP Discord, or in the comments, give us timestamps of your favorite moments of tonight's show. I I did actually create a room uh, a room in the DP Discord called Clip Suggestions, where people can give us the timestamps. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to make YouTube shorts, but I'll take clip suggestions too, but mainly uh, what what's the major, uh, do you know the, the max on a YouTube short? Is it no 60 idea. seconds? Clips or shorts are, I think they're 60 seconds, but they're okay. also, they have to fit tall, right? Like that's the well, point. They can edit it now. You, you can auto edit? Yeah, yeah. You can take well, well, you can take well. a long video and edit it into a short now. What you guys really should do is go back to all the episodes where we had really, really great guests and find the best moments with the guests so That's we can good. clip those into shorts so we can use their name brand to get us some views. That's where the money's at, guys. Yeah. We have McJuggernuggets on the one time. Unrelated, yeah. totally. <laughs> We've had like Lacey Green Vosh when we had uh, like uh, Jesse Peterson talk about suffer and die. Let's just get all <laughs> all the best moments with all the most we famous should. people. Make them shorts, and then when we blow up, make them come back and and suffer through this with us. We do the Milo one? <laughs> yeah, the Milo one will make a good short. And then you want yeah, that one made a actual like you know um, national news. Yeah, me <laughs> saying that sounds like and you uh, get priest it. Catholic priest molestation to me. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was the clip that they kept showing me saying social that. media make believe you never said none of them things and expect people to give you money. This is what I recommend, Shani. Again, you need to go face the heat. Go to Drag Channel. Go to BGTV Channel. It's Parker Channel. Go to Draven Channel. Carrie Channel and go face the heat. Get it over with. Then maybe, maybe. In a shred, although I doubt it, 
It's a shred of hope for you. But you're never going to do it because you're puffed up and you're proud. And you want to talk to me about the Bible? I'm the last person you want to have a biblical discussion with about these things, Shani. Somebody uh, uh, went on, um, I went to somebody's feed because I'm subscribed to several YouTube channels. And <laughs> okay. they showed me something that was said on um, on Twitter. Shani says that God didn't make her to work. That she's supposed to lay in bushes and eat berries all day? Shani, if I would have known this about you, Shani, I'm telling you, you would have never gotten in that house to begin with. I'd have been all over you. I believed you when, when, when you and your man was saying that you guys wanted to apply for disability and that when Rev gets his mind together, he's going to get a job. It's been two years, two and a half years now. Three years, wow. actually. When is he going to get his mind together? I play that intro on purpose. Because- When's he going to get his hair cut together now? <laughs> Honestly, though, his like... fucking hair is so fucked up. What Shannon described might be the only job she's really qualified for. Laying and eating berries? Yeah, like a food tester to make sure it's not poison. Like, honestly, she's the canary in the uh, coal mine, right? Like, if something happens to her, we know the food's bad, and we also... We're not going to miss the canary. Of- that's unfair. Don't they also test like lipsticks on pigs too? No, I don't know. I they do test makeup and other things on animals, which is kind of a uh, like an ethical issue. But I don't know about the lipstick thing. I they do test a lot of makeup on animals, though. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Definitely. <laughs> you have the Are you gonna eat so look my at me ass, Billy the Fridge? Are you gonna go find? <laughs> Are you gonna eat my fucking ass? No. The job. He talked about the convenient mart, the very convenient mart your lazy scrub didn't want to work at. Told my his taxes was gonna be too high. Stop it! Just stop it! Stop it! Fucking attention. Well, I'm giving you a little fucking attention today. I'm going to give you a little fucking attention today, G-Man. It's really just a big old fuck off. Because I want nothing to do with you. And the Bible tells me to mark and avoid you. So I'm going to do what the fucking Bible tells me to do. I'm going to mark and avoid you. And that's why she sent me a $40 cash app request today. That's marking and avoiding G-Man. (laughs) <laughs> Let me see here. Stop you and your kids. Down with that bullshit. I was I, I was your friend. I was feeding you. I was feeding your kids. I was feeding your man. I was being the man at the house. I was providing you with clothes. I was providing you G Man cucking them all. Utensils. I was providing you with pots. I was providing you with everything that you needed while your lazy man was laying in bed all day talking about dun 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 dun. What playing video games? Is that what you said? Yeah. I like how I've known G Man long enough. Like nearly nine years I've known G Man. And I've learned how to like translate his madness into actual words. Get the heck out of here. Uh, do you go on, G Man. I didn't quite get it. <laughs> to be fair. Shani could also be good at hunting truffles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know if that's true. Have you guys seen she the movie Pig? What? Have you seen the movie Pig? No. Yeah, if if you watch the movie Pig, uh I don't want to spoil it, but I don't think Shani would be that great. You can go You're the fuck you. You're the biggest You're the biggest yo yo on here. Now, 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 now. Let's just keep this real here for a moment here. Let's talk about some of the people that's watching my YouTube channel and let's confront this nonsense that she's saying on here. So I have new friends now, right? We have, uh, let's see, Sabella. We have Lupus. Todd every now and then comes into this. You got Lupus? This. He, he comes and watches this. Uh, who's some people in here? Are you a Lupus with? doofus? Uh, uh, every now and then I'll see Miss Parker. Uh, mm-hmm. A Dragnut will show up. And the way Shandy describes them as being friends. I can promise you this. None of those people look at me as being a friend. Why does okay? his connotation I don't of know. friend like a rainbow? <laughs> because he's <laughs> talking to the audience like they're children. Uh, he's always done this. I think that he himself talks to other human beings that way because he 
doesn't he never exists in a realm where people are equals because he's always in this mindset that everything he does is for the Lord and he's holier than thou. Yep. So I, th- he, I thought it's just because he wins every time he fucking argues. <laughs> he's somebody. undefeated. So it's like he's talking down to us, trying to explain it to like us, like we're children. Oh, what I have with them now, but I am. I wouldn't consider them to be friends. No, 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 no. Let's talk about what you do and what your what the number one. Shani the number be a decent stunt double in the next Tusk movie. Won't even <laughs> need a costume. They are making another it's, Tusk, right? One on the internet is doing Flick. that's what he wants to be right the number one e-bagger right let's talk about this here for a minute twisted magicus says g-man reminds me of egghead they're both overly dramatic and animated and they definitely have their little catchphrases i think uh magic needs to take a drink right now oh, I, I think a lot of that comes damn. from uh not having enough things to say but wanting to talk Oh, we're gonna we're gonna enchant this one here, Tubes. Ready? Oh god damn it. <laughs> I, can you change stoplights too and prevent snow? Yes, I, just want, I can. I will allow it. Just to remind the audience that Magicus just did a fucking magic wish on his his shot. Just oh, here we go. You, Sabella in case, in case you weren't able to see visually and you right were just there. listening. We are he took a wand. He blessed his shot. With a fucking magic wand. If I wand. can give you a ten dollar super God. chat, uh, uh, Sabella, I would give it to you because that's the truth. That's accurate. But friends, Dragon will get turn to the on me in a part. second. Dominoes no more. And the reason why I'm not doing it because you're turned on me. That's why. You devil. You devil. You devil. You poopy face. Oh, give a fuck. And the people that follow you and believe Maria that World. you have to say the truth, after you did that shit, you've been complaining about these motherfuckers for years. And then you do, you stab us in the goddamn butt, the back, and now you're best friends with them. If people can't see how fucking full of shit you are, they're fucking dishonest with themselves because it's fucking obvious. I help them because I have I've had a long standing relationship with them. I'm a Christian. I have a major fear of Matthew 25, where it talks about when Christ returns. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Sabella can explain this in one of her videos or whatever. But in Matthew 25, it talks about how when Christ returns, he's going to look at what we did and not what we said. If I see somebody hungry and I feed them, I'm doing it as unto Christ. If I see them thirsty and I give them some water, I'm doing it as unto Christ. What they did is they took advantage of that. That's what they did. And I just got an, I just had enough of it. I had enough of it. The dumbest thing I think I did with them was buying them all that Delta A. If by some miracle, <laughs> he's so hung up I on up that. Tomorrow, Look, I know why. You, I know why you're hung up on that, G Man. It's drugs. Because you, you didn't use code peasants at checkout. <laughs> exactly. You didn't get twenty percent off. Link so in the description. Much. Code peasants. P e a s a n t s, and you have no regrets. <laughs> and for me, that's for sure. Oh, that's that. Um, here is. Oh yeah, and I still can. Dude is fucking delusional. I got more. I got more money in this coin box right here than 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 than, than Rev will receive all next month. Oh, Why by is the my way, I got a crusty old Froyo cup. To, it calls it a coin box. I wanna. I wanna point out, like you can see. See, I was recording this while I was setting up the show, and you can see my Photoshop toolbar over on the left there. <laughs> Uh, and I was like, oh shit, that's over there. Cause I have a, a big screen that acts as if it's four screens. And, uh, yeah, yeah I ended up grabbing it eventually. Yeah. You are racist. You know, I think I accidentally missed the part where he called you out, but he was like, you're ready for round two. He was mad. He was like talking about how people always paid him. And then he talked about how DP laughed, how they said they'd never pay him for anything. And yeah. I typed in his chat. We will never pay him confirmed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, you just say that he feeds the hungry, but I thought there were no starving Christians. Was it no starving Christian children? Children. I, I think well, he said Christian. Oh. So clearly anybody he's feeding are just not Christians. You just happen to be like uh, the slave owners me. from back in the day. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can feed That's non-Christians, uh-huh. right? I ain't no fucking horse. Nowhere in the Bible is it says oh. only only Christians this. eat. This is where it gets juicy right here. Because she goes, I ain't no fucking horse. Okay. 
You just happen to be like uh, the slave owners from back in the day. Uh That's what you are. Uh Uh-huh. I ain't no fucking horse. But you are a whore, though. You are a whore. That is for sure. You are definitely a whore. And not a few whore. You're a sexual whore. Thank you for clarifying. (laughs) I wasn't sure. (laughs) This is a stupid... Jason, Jason. Jason, I know you're watching. Here we go. This is where it gets juicy. About to Pause call it out... if you want to comment because is, this is gets about, juicy. Is he about to call out the whore of Gobblon? <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn away yet. Keep watching. Don't let her take you away from the computer. Dude, when you was in jail, both your sons, if you want to call them that, I'm sorry. Let me not say it that way. Because they don't even look at you as a daddy. Both them kids were bat-mouthing you, hugging me, one of them was calling me daddy, and then Shani was asking me to stay the night. Okay? You are stupid. <laughs> okay? You are dumb. Now, I was smart. I went downstairs and I got out of Dodge. But uh, what, what I'm trying to tell you is... is <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I buy that. Why were you over there, G Man? Why were the kids calling you daddy and hugging on you? <laughs> why? 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 I, I think... I think, like, for one, you are definitely more of a man than Rev ever was or ever will be. Obviously. And you're obviously more of a caregiver as well. There's it's a reason exactly why a they... a high bar to clear. Of course fucking not. But it's it's the bar these kids have got to know over the last three, <coughs> four years of their life. Hey, G-Man, Rev's in jail. You want to come over and spend the night, baby? <laughs> you can lick my ass like an Oreo cookie. <laughs> like, at least G-Man keeps... Cat piss and dog shit out of their fucking toy box, like like I would hug the fuck out of G Man too if that was my other choice between Rev and Shane. <laughs> like, like, that's an easy choice to make, no matter if you're a kid or or a 500 pound man with with a megalomaniacal god complex. Your wife ordered with me right in front of you. You I'm remember not sure that time which of us you were I, talking about I, there, but yes, yes. <laughs> Magic is, we need to get you $40 more to this goal so you can have another drink. <laughs> and I want you to, this time I want you to do a bibbity bobbity boo bless with that wand, okay? Now now he's doing, your wife flirted with me right in front of you, is, is the next thing he's going into. Put that Delta 8 in her hand, and how she took it, right in front of you, dude. <laughs> right in front of you. You are so clueless. It's not even funny, dude. She flirts with other men on on, on the internet on a regular basis. I like how G-Man's over here like uh, the dope man. And he's like, when I put that Delta 8 in her hand, right yeah. in front of you, dog. She was on these nuts, dog, right in front of you, the dog. Dope man. The way she grabbed that pack, when she grabbed that pack, <laughs> I was in right in front of you, dog. No respect. Oh, Your God. woman is my woman now. I got that Delta 8, son. That Delta 8. Delta 8, that Keeps asshole. Keeps them coming back every time. She's flirting with other women, and I got video proof of you, you dim-witted moron, where 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 you are, um... Like, like the entire attack here against Rev, like, no matter what you could say, Rev got caught flirting with actual spam bots. You guys not remember this? Yeah, I remember that. Rev yeah. got outed flirting with fucking spam bots on Facebook Messenger. The two of them have infidelity that defies logic. Shan, <laughs> Shan, doing a little fucking rub and tug for the Delta 8 on G-Man, as we just heard. And Rev, literally being so fucking lonely, packaged against her crevices, that he turns to Facebook bots for an escape. <laughs> well, well, well. Sitting here saying I think it's pretty cool and a Christian thing for my woman to be flirting with another woman. While we're married. <laughs> Cut the nonsense out, dude. And I'm still convinced that you two was into some freaky things. Lowbrow Jester says those, those spam pause. bots are hot, though. I, I I got this thing. Whenever I get a message from a spam bot, I just respond, show tits. Show tits. Every time. Every time. They never do. That's how I know they're not real women. You gotta ask show bobs and vagine. That's nope. the way show to get real women always do. Show tats. If it's real women, boobs will be right in the inbox. I'm like, oh, 
This is a real one. My apologies, man. Everybody at home, try this method 100%. Next time a spam bot messages you. Works every time. Interviewing me. Every time I went over there asking to look at my abs, asking to look at my chest, and all this other stuff. Cut the nonsense. Cut the nonsense. Cut the nonsense. Shani knows it. I can go over there right now. Rev, let me tell you something, Rev. You telling me if I had three thousand dollars in my pocket and I went over there and I said, Shani, let's go get an apartment. <laughs> and she's gonna stay living with you. Check it out. I'll take it a step further. This is this, just to show you how embarrassing it is. Do you think if Dragnut showed up over there and, and, and Miss D allowed it or whatever, right? Think if Dragnut showed up over there and said, Shani, I got five grand. Let's go shopping and move together. She would drop you like a bag of potatoes. You want to know why, uh, Jason? Uh, I can tell you why. Because she's fucking spent all his money. Yep. He was miserable yeah. to begin with. He was the one that had three quarters of a million dollars and chose to shack up with the fucking moose knuckle. That's his <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> moose knuckle. He made the mistake. And now that his money's gone, the only thing that made him appealing to Shanny is gone as well. The problem is they have a dependency on each other because they have no one else to turn to. Because for some reason, G-Man was the only one that wanted to come in and and knight in shining armor this uh, this 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 whale of a woman, and uh, that didn't even last because Rev got butt hurt. Rev probably cock blocked Shanny's happiness. If if it wasn't for Rev, G-Man would be. Carrying her on his shoulders wherever she wanted to go because G-Man was full simp mode. And the fact that he couldn't do it within the sanctity of his lord and had to share her with Rev was the only thing holding him back from going all in on those sugar walls. <laughs> Listen to me very carefully, okay? You don't got anything. You don't want to work. You ain't got no money. And I know she's got to be sick and tired of struggling. You don't, I don't know. know. It's kind of all she knows at this point. No, she has, she's very strong. She had a year of not struggling, right? They, oh, they yeah. had a good year or two of living lavish. And it simply showed how little of that they deserved. And, and the squalor, the mess, the disgusting filth they left behind them was just a proof that they never really enjoyed it anyways. They just had a bunch of uh, Oscar Mayer... Milton fucking well, I don't know not Milton Bradley what are other food companies what's the General Mills all the all the high processed food trash that was littered around that house full of tiny little band-aids purchased to mend their inadequacies in each other the all the disgusting dog shit human shit but b- Human piss, animal piss all over the house. The it, blood on the walls. Yeah, there was a, a like there was a, a story being told in that apartment that even though they had three quarters of a million dollars, they had nothing. And now that they have nothing, at least they fit the part. Because you don't think, you don't understand the seriousness of your situation, or maybe you do, and you're just pretending. Which would be worse. Well, let's continue. I, I, You're awesome, Chris. And don't you worry. I got you back, girl. Got you back. Wait a minute. Somebody in my live chat is demanding my attention. Let's see something here real quick. I'll tell you what. If you want my attention so bad, give me a super chat and I'll read your super chat. Up oh, there goes the Photoshop bar. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all need to remember who y'all leaving these comments to, okay? Let's see something here. <laughs> this woman drives me crazy. She, she had all kinds of stupid, and I can't deal with her. You dealt with her for so fucking long. You were enamored with her. You literally made kissy faces to a cookie eating a cookie like it was a <laughs> vagina staring at her on our show in front of us like you you, you did this on our show live you lusted yeah. after her that's sick 
And now, now that you've got a little redemption, they gave you the house and you could tug away. Poop, poop. Thank you, Rat Lord Alcaraz. Cheers. Now you could tug away a little bit. You feel vindicated. You feel like a champion. My dude, you got first place in a race full of three fucking bottom of the barrel motherfuckers. No, this might be the first legitimate win he's had in his entire fucking nine years on YouTube. It's it's not it's not a win if your competition was like like, like okay you are the champion of poo poo and pee pee. It's you then it's pee pee and then it's poo poo. Look, I'm not saying the competition is great here. I'm just saying winning is winning. <laughs> winning is not winning. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the best win the best win you'll ever get in this world is a win win where nobody else loses and and just wait just wait till you start getting those win wins and you'll realize what a fucking rat race everything else was. You're so done. You asked for forty dollars today. Sexual harassment and saying I want to be with him and all this stupid sexual stuff. harassment. Shit. Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. I got video proof if you want in this chocolate, honey. Of course, it'll never happen. Ah, never happened. Even though you were dangling it in front of her face before, I think it happened, and I think you immediately regretted it. I think you two got intimate. You were starting to reach around, and you spent some time with your fingers inside of her and realized it was a belly button. I think I think you slid up inside of her, and you maybe made that love connection into her uh, drain ditch, into her irrigation ditch, and smells started postuling out of the, the open crevasse. And I think uh, you had your come-to-Jesus moment, and that's when you started to, to back away. That's what I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, G-Man, but I rarely am. <laughs> you really do know how to paint a picture with words, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Throws out dinner. Nobody's yeah. eating for the next 48 hours. Uh -uh. You're welcome. You're welcome. I hope you didn't have any dinner plans you tomorrow, guys. Thanksgiving for me, damn it. I hope you didn't have any dinner plans tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was great. <laughs> Now my only hope is to get blackout drunk. Fuck. Yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> you have two choices tomorrow. I've given you both of them. G-Man makes some of the best faces ever. Like when I came into the room, the face he was making when you had a pause was oh, yeah. great. <laughs> they got me broke forever because they keep spending their money on Delta 8. They don't save anything. Yeah, he hates the Delta 8. Forever. I want him to get high. Let's get. I I just want G Man to get high once, and it, he'll he'll forget about God and Jesus and all that. Maybe or we need to send him a pro, like a a sample of it, and then he can get him hooked on it. Yep. No order with that promo code, peasants. I love that. How Asterios was like, I ate all the gummies because I wanted candy. <laughs> and then we find out that he had is... just eaten like a whole giant thing of candy before I that. Know. He just had <laughs> all when those you cookies, call that right? out, when the, you, when you call that cookies out, are he, candy. Didn't, he didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a madman. I love He's... it. I like how he has to have the weed in the house locked up or else that he'll smoke it. That is just it. crazy. It's great. Like we, like. Weed is so benign compared to most drugs. People will eventually start boycotting them. Stop watching their yeah, stuff. And both of them agreed. That's... It's like, no, not doing the weed is just not an option. It has to be in the safe. <laughs> that, that... Yeah, she likes to have her weed and he'll, I guess, smoke it all. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, what's the word? I is is it is it that he'll just smoke it all or is he'll he'll do like a full relapse and start drinking and like doing whatever else he was into No idea we <laughs> couldn't have the gummies he, he goes, couldn't have the gummies. He ate too many. No, no, no. He ate way too many of those. Yeah, like, but if, <laughs> if I ate that many, I'd be freaking out too. But he couldn't. He couldn't leave them alone at one he or two. They were, but he thought that they were just like like gummy candy because she told them there was a misunderstanding there. She told them they were CBD. The Delta eight is not CBD. Delta eight will get you high. And if you take like eight edibles made out of Delta eight, yes, you're going to get super fucking high. If you're not normally taking that kind of shit. Yeah. So he freaked That's out when they're going to start understanding. Baby. The boys. Now boys. 
that's what y'all might need to do. Y'all might need y'all might need to boycott them to get them to get the points. So so G- <laughs> that's not how it works, G man. So Shani and Rev are gonna remain relevant because of their hate view base. That's that's your now na- that's now your audience, G man. Well, Christians didn't watch you. <laughs> like yeah, uh, you were a lull cow, and you got watched because of that, and now. You've attracted the anti Shani and Rev audience. Yeah. I even had. In that, I'm not even going to name the donate people. To talk shit money. I'm not going to name names, but I had YouTubers that with larger audiences than DP reach out to me to get a hold of G Man because he turned on Shani and Rev. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks, Chris. Uh, you're awesome. Thank you for the gifts of. Two gift subs. Gift sub to Grease Bunny. Awesome. Talking about some. You got a lot of nerve shit. No. Ungrateful looking. Ugh. Ungrateful looking. Ugh. I love it. I got some annoying women here on YouTube. <laughs> okay, okay. Now now he's slipping into real G Man. Y'all got some annoying women here on YouTube. It's like my fucking G Man. Yeah, your true colors are shining through, right? Yeah. It like Shani is not your typical woman on YouTube. Okay. I'll tell you something. None of them, none of them touch Shani. Mama Mia. That's I mean like it's not about her being a woman. It's about her being disgusting. It's interesting that as low down as Shani and Rev were, yeah. G-Man kept up with them for a long time. Mm-hmm. He was allied with them forever. And that's why when they actually met IRL, it was kind of weird. Like, I almost got goosebumps for a second. I'm like, I can't believe this is really happening because they were always allied for years. They were part of Brett Keen's Island of Misfit Toys back in the day. Yeah, and then they got together. Yeah. They had their their feast of uh, uh, racist soda food. And watermelon. Yeah, they were like, "Hey, we met G-Man, so we're gonna celebrate with watermelon, <laughs> fried, fried chicken, and, and and purple drink. Purple drink. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, this is how you show that you're uh, friends. You weird you have people buying your friendship. We don't have to watch this whole one, uh, th- but yeah, it, it goes on for a while. It was pretty detrimental to them like he goes on for a while a while you know what let's pull the chat if we keep watching let's give them a poll this is the first time we've ever done this uh i'm gonna do um i'm doing g man Sh- should we keep watching g man disgusting ben disgusting just that's <laughs> disgusting. Um, should we keep watching G Man? Yes, if you want to. No, if you don't want to. And I'm going to put a timer. I'm going to put a three minute timer on the screen. You have three minutes to vote, and the poll will close. Uh, disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. Yeah. Magicus. Are you fucking wasted or what? I mean, I definitely feel it a little bit. We there was pretty quick succession for those last couple shots. You having pee pee tingles? No, no, I just feel it in my stomach. Like, ugh. have you ever had the piss shivers? Is that the same <laughs> as the pee pee tingles? I don't know. It's when you piss and you like shiver a little bit from it. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah. Vaguely. Have vaguely. you ever noticed it's way easier to fart while you're taking a piss? Like, I always fart when I pee. <laughs> A lot of people, like, it's funny, like, when, when you're in public and you're using a urinal and there's, like, a, it's crowded and yeah. you'll hear people, like, rip an ass while they're peeing. I, tr- it's, it's the I, try to, I try to put a muffler in when I'm around people, but I always I always have, like, a little pop. By the way, there used to be a punk band called The Piss Shivers, if you mm. guys want to look them up. Magicus, I went and saw a movie last night about cannibalism. You never saw a movie. That's true. You lied. You don't even know what a movie <laughs> you is. You don't know about movies. You never talk about movies. I watched a love story about cannibalism last night, Magicus. Okay, I believe that. Does it turn you on? Uh, Do you like? Uh, you, have to, 
Get me into hey, it. Hey, oh, Magicus. Uh -oh. Magicus, full drink, screen. Oh, drink, drink, drunk. Thank you, the Star Spangled Luchador, who probably, Damn. who probably is not Magicus. There are so many actual Mania promos that we'll get to later on in the show. Time for Lord Magicus to drink some more of that poison there. <laughs> Can we get a Woo Doggies before you shoot it? Whoa, hold on. Hey, we're almost Whoa. to another one. If somebody else uh -oh. pops a 25, feel it a little more. that's Magicus. double dipping oh, on the God. magic sipping. All right, you almost, you almost got it. You were just behind that one, so, you know, very right, close. Ready? Another 25 bucks to get another aren't you gonna one. Aren't you going to do a magic spell on it with your wand? A magic spell? Uh, I thought, all right, I, you know what? I, I can cast a spell on this one. What, what should we cast on this? Do one? a chant or something. Do like a. Do you know any Gregorian or Latin? Body, body, body. Um. Yeah. What he said. All right. That'll work. <laughs> Woo, doggies! Woo, <laughs> doggies! <laughs> nice. Noise, noise. I like that my headphones just look like they're floating in midair because these things are green and they just disappear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Magicus, have you seen the movie uh, "Call Me by Your Name"? I have not seen it. No. "Call Me by Your Name" was an epic love story, forbidden love about a a gay boy and his gay teacher having a summer fling. The same director did Bone and All, which I went to see last night, and it's about forbidden love between cannibals. It's beautiful. It's heartfelt. I'm, I'm going to end the poll in just a moment uh -oh. here. It looks like yes is narrowly, well, yeah, narrowly winning. Uh, so yes wins. So we're going to watch the rest of this G-Man stuff. Democracy and, fails again. Um I, I want to give everyone a preview because I am taking on King Cobra JFS <laughs> in a title unification match at Survivor Situation on Monday. It's a pizza cook-off, and I'm going to give you a preview of my pre-cook pizza right here. Ooh. Pre is there a pizza there? I like that you have what do you cheese mean, is there a pizza the there? You got, you got All I see is cheese and a halo of sauce. Okay. Uh, the toppings are under the cheese, um, and there's dough. So, so do you know what frico is in in cooking? So all the cheese like around the edge, it it like it doesn't burn, but it like hardens. They they make uh, pasta bowls out of it in Italy, like frico, like hardened cheese. See, and so so it's it's like a stuffed crust pizza, but the cheese there's like a there's like a frico cheese ring around the outside. You tell me you're bringing this Frico method to Frico. King Cobra, but King Cobra tells me this is a Suave. sicko method. I don't know. Please King don't Cobra just... seems like the kind of person that could out-cheese you. Yeah, Cobes. <laughs> Frico. Cobes think this is less Frico and more sicko. It's going to cost a whole lot. Uh, somebody can give you some Delta 8 and you'll be, you'll be their friend tomorrow. 30 bucks. Roger Wilco, I tried to buy a King Cobra magic wand at one point, but he never fucking sells them on his Etsy page. He only like puts one up every few months when he needs pizza money. Brilliant. Okay, friendship, uh, I feel like Gary the, the Barbecue Chef could face off Ben in a cook-off in a future actual mania. Gary the Barbecue Chef? I don't know who the fuck that is. Send it to the, it, send it to the inbox. Wow. That's if $10. Ben could get past King Cobra. I don't know this Frico method. It's got it's got some problems. I just posted hey, the Wikipedia link uh, for Frico. I got something for you. I think a lot of people. I just the people posted the Wikipedia like link for Sicko. Two totally different things. <laughs> Sticky's pretty sure Cobes has plenty of dried, crusty cheese rings around his house. <laughs> Nasty man. I can't tell you listening to this woman talk. Her voice is annoying. She talks about the same stuff. I think she thinks she's some type of hippie. She ain't nothing but a, a crackhead. Sorry. <laughs> I crackhead. mean, I most of those criticisms apply to you too, G-Man, so I wouldn't be throwing too many rocks here. 
but he always throws rocks. <laughs> it's just funny now that there's like a small group of people that are willing to uh, endorse his rock throwing. Have you ever had those yeah. like keto chips? Yeah, oh, that yeah. are like cheese. No, I, I, That's freak. I hundred percent understood what it was for. Oh, okay, yeah. I was yeah. just teasing you because all you could see was cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah but yeah. that's that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. And by the way, Shani, by the way, Shani, do you have any any other games besides Stardew Valley? Ouch, oh, man! Why you say that? I'll tell you why in a minute. Number one, tell she me does now. Games, but she doesn't have the systems to play those games. So you want to know why? I have them. Well, <laughs> is he bragging Look about at this his pause, dude? His his games. I Someone? Stopped, what, did did he steal her consoles? What the fuck? I don't know. Maybe she was using his console. I need to... this posted in gallery. Someone, someone, post this in gallery for me because I need this. <laughs> Do you Some think that they abandoned fucking consoles with Demon? Roger oh, Wilco wants to know if Maple makes they good abandoned ones. In the other fucking house. I don't know, but he was. Yeah, yeah, he's been talking about that. Like he acquired a lot of their gadgets and shit. You know, do, I, do we know like what fucking happened with the old house? Then, like, did they burn it down or something? Was it the uncle's house or what? The the one where they just left all the fucking literal shit and trash and everything. That was in. the townhome, right? Yeah, like what happened? To that it? was in did Colorado. They, like, I'm just... sure. I'm sure they didn't own it. I'm sure they were renting, and the, <laughs> the people who owned it had to fucking irrigate that son bitch. God. It was a it was a fairly new townhome. It looked like they might have moved into it brand new, and within their year or whatever stay there, they just caked it in blood, piss, shit, and uh, Jeffrey Star makeup. <laughs> Try to make G Man's face. Rakakaka. I'd be curious to know how long it fucking took to clean that place out. <laughs> uh, they definitely spent uh, a lot of money on like a, a, a team to come in. There was so much shit and piss. and uh, other... It was those self-cleaning cat boxes yeah. that were pushing Ooh. the poop Boy, out on. If yeah. I was Shannon and Rev, I'd be writing a letter uh, ab about the self cleaning cat yeah, box. Yeah, like the self cleaning cat box doesn't mean it like vaporizes the shit. I'd be like, dear Petco, your self cleaning, <laughs> your self cleaning cat box did not work. It's full of forty eight pounds of feces. So <laughs> right. human. And then fucking. Like twelve months of cat shit. You spend oh. a lot of money on like an irrigation team to come in and do a deep, deep cleaning. You got people who come in; they're going to be garbage hauling first. Then you're going to probably be recarpeting the entire place. You're going to be repainting. You're going to be fumigating. It's a lot it, of work to make that re. re it it had to have cost more to clean that place than it did that than they made from them living for a year from the rent. I don't know if it would cost more, but it definitely. I, I think that I think the owner would have insurance on some of that, but it definitely they, they did not get a security deposit back. That's for sure. Did you see this new thing now where? If you get a music copyright ID on your video with a lot of shit, now you can buy a license to use it in your video. Huh, yeah. I know there's a buy a license and then a rev share split now they're doing, right? Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, some of them. I have a lot of them. Oh, and by the way, Shady, it's something I want to show you. I'll be right back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play uh, this video here, and I think some of you Imagine the next person that moves into that place, if they, like, ever see the video of what it looked like before they moved in there. I don't think I could fucking stay in, if they, in that if I knew that. <laughs> I actually have that trophy <laughs> with me here today. So let me turn my camera off real quick. I'm He's got the, the <laughs> lol cow trophy. Look at his profile picture. <laughs> 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 He's WWE right, champion. I think that's a New York Jets jersey, right? The yeah, original yeah, Cringerweight champion. I, I think Magicus isn't a sports fan, but he knows his jerseys. It's Philadelphia yeah. Eagles, right? Is it? Is it the Eagles? 
Is it the no, Eagles I or think, is it the Jets? I feel like that one was the Jets. Okay, I it could think be the it's Jets. The, and and he's from that that yeah. area. Like the Jets, yeah. even though they're a New York team, they their stadiums in New Jersey. I do yeah. not know uh, jerseys. I just immediately thought Eagles when I saw that. Eagles is green, also. Yeah, and the Eagles is like primarily green. Yes, and I think Jets is like primarily white, white with green. Yeah. 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 Can we can we take a look at it again, or is it oh, it's too late? Never mind, no big deal. I can go back. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. I'm looking at one uh, right there. I'm looking at one. This might be a throwback, though. There's like there's like it's almost true. <laughs> there's like seventy years of like jerseys now and shit. So yeah, there are older jersey designs might fit with the uh, striping there. I can see, but but I have to. I, I'm looking at the Eagles right now. I have to go look at the Jets next with the striping of the sleeve. I don't know if they all have that same striping. Yeah, yeah. There's so, so many throwback. alternate jerseys in football too. In baseball, there's two jerseys. There's your home and away jersey, and that's it. That's not true. There's like well, sometimes multiple there's like different special shit. They have lots of alternate jerseys that they wear sometimes. Like, do they? there are some teams that have like eight different color jerseys that they wear? I do have like one of the alternate that hardly gets worn for the Mariners. They're like they're like powder blue hmm. uh, jersey that I wear. They yeah. they don't normally wear that because they norm I Mariners used to have cool colors and now they have the weird green and shit. I like the old uh, yellow and blue, the old school like, Mariners what is it? colors. It's I, I like, think the rule is like if they play a game at home and it's a Sunday, then they'll wear an alternate color for it. That is but, like, so weird. It, it is really weird, but like a lot of the teams, like they do people are have saying multiple jets different alternates. in the chat, but I don't know jets. Yeah, it might it might be jets. I but that's where yep. like that's where he's from. He's from Jersey City, so like yeah, it makes sense. But he also lives in Philadelphia now, or Pennsylvania now, right? Pennsylvania, not yes. Philadelphia. Yeah. I don't yeah. think Pennsylvania East West is kind of like Ohio North South. The, the fact that the Jets oh, yeah. and the the same Eagles way. jerseys can look so similar lets me think that they're the same yeah. team, and different <laughs> cities argue over them. But they they just look if, if it's playing if if, if you're we watching know the a jersey members of the teams and their names. So are we no. sure about well, that? Yes, like we're absolutely sure. I think we might just put an overlay depending on which city is watching. I think there's a conspiracy of the NFL that a lot of these teams. Are the same team, and they just put an overlay on the screen. This is another reason why I'm mad at you and your man. You see, and this is why I know. uh, What is that guy's channel name? Gracie. uh, um, Hoist Gracie. The guy that I mentioned earlier. I can't. The listening fat says that the the team might actually be the uh, the who cares proof, and I'm not going to show everybody this because my my um information is on this. But this is proof. I'll show you the back of it. When you get one of these on your door, that means you owe a lot of back money for things. And this is all I've been doing since I've thrown them out. All of a sudden, the city of uh, of uh, the, the the little the, the little county of Lackawanna wants to let me know I owe this and I owe that and I owe this and I owe that. All of that money that I gave those two ungrateful pricks could have went to paying these bills. Now I have finally <laughs> caught up with a lot of this, but. $3,000, I'm sorry, $3,436.86 for this. $3, I found the jersey he was wearing, and it is a Jets jersey. $458 yeah. for this. 3000 and, and, and this is what I get stuck with. But yeah, you can, can we see it on screen? Yeah, you gave me your debt. I want, I want to see what that thing looks like. Was it a number 10 jersey, too? The one no, I found was a 12. Oh. Uh, he was wearing number 10, though. You could see on yeah, the I wonder who that player is. I wonder if he has a favorite player. Because he had the WWE it's, title, he had his jersey on. It's like this number 12 jersey right here. It's like that. Is it? I think so. Because I, I, I saw a Philly jersey that had, it was, it was the colors were inverse, but it had the exact same patterns on the sleeve, and those patterns looked slightly uh, different. Oh uh, no, no! It's it's exactly the same. Are, are we the, sure? Uh, the ring, like the rings around the sleeves with the numbers on the sleeves, and then the green uh, on See, the front and the three stripes. To to me, there's like a, <laughs> there's another green stripe down there on the bottom that's not showing up on his right. 
So I, I think it's, it's not the exact same jersey. I found one that had the exact same pattern, except the green was the white and the white was the green. Right, reversed. right, absolutely. With that the, was with that the, was for with Philly. the Eagles. Yeah. yeah, that was for Eagles. Yeah, yeah. It will be, like just like Magic has said. Yeah. It's it, they are predominantly green. We're we're trying to get to the bottom of this, guys. What we're gonna have to actually do is become friends with G Man again and ask him. Let's ask him. <laughs> Shannon, Shannon, this is another reason why I'm mad at you and your man. You see, and this is why I know um, he wore a Joe Namath jersey. What is that guy's channel name? That oh yeah, 12. yeah. Joe Namath was the f- famous quarterback for the Jets. Yeah. Gracie, was he number uh, 10? Um, I don't know. The guy that Hold I mentioned on. earlier. I can't think right now. They, but this is proof, and I'm not going to show everybody this because my my um information is on this. No, he was 12. This is, that was okay. a Joe Namath. That, okay. that jersey we were just looking at, I think. Jersey number 10. He might have he might have switched, though. Let me see. Project Mathisar saying that it's Pennington, number 10. Oh, okay. In the right. back of it. When you get one of these on your door... That means you owe a lot of back money for things. And this is all I've been doing since I've thrown them out. All of a sudden, the city of uh, of uh, the, the, the little the, the little county of Lackawanna wants to let me know I owe this and I owe that and I owe this. Yeah, yeah. Owe- he, like, absorbed their debt. There was all this debt on the house, like unpaid utilities and shit. Huh. That, all of that money that I gave those two ungrateful pricks could have went to paying these bills. Now I am finally. G Man doesn't stream from his job anymore. Now, <laughs> well, that's <laughs> like, probably for the best. Well, remember he got fired from his job. Yeah, but up with a lot of this. But three thousand dollars. I'm sorry, three thousand four hundred thirty-six dollars and eighty-six cents for this. Three thousand four hundred and fifty-eight dollars for this. Three thousand four. And then, and this is what I get stuck with. But yeah, you gave me something, Shan. You gave me your debt. That's what you gave me. Okay. Uh-huh. The reason why I won't Damn. turn it around is you didn't have to take it, but I guess a dollar for a house is real. Not yeah. an irresistible yeah, you know, deal. Um, <laughs> but I will do that. No matter what, he probably I got more equity my... in the house than he got debt from it. So most likely, he's done some work to it, right? Like if he sells that some bitch, he could probably he could probably get a a good. It's not like the housing market here, but a it's good still payoff, probably good. Yeah. Depending on where it is. I go to the lowest call of the year. He said, what did he say it was close to like a dollar general or something? That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better. It's it's like, better to know there's a community around it, right? Literally the house we're in right now is worth it, it's it's not even close to worth as much as the land that it's on. The land here is so insanely valuable. It's just crazy. Like, the house is only a fraction of the worth of, like, this land here. It's so weird. Um, Isn't that the weird? That It's not normally that way. Like, like in if you go far enough inland, it's more about, like, how nice the house is. And the land doesn't really matter that much. Um, but, like, coastal areas, especially around here where Amazon is, like filling like they're like building a new building downtown here well it's also closer to major cities it's going to be the case too yeah but like denver is different than seattle and san francisco sure sure you know like it's not the only factor it's about being inland too like inland makes it like less expensive also uh like any like big city where a lot of shit's going on that's like you know, a thousand miles inland is it's going to be less expensive than any other coastal city. It's a, it's an interesting thing. Now, I remember when when um, when when they showed me this. A little bit of the smell still on this. I think I wiped it down for the most part. <laughs> but if you fuck? smelled this right now, He's you wouldn't know that what I'm talking about. Is that, a, is, that a, is that a cow trophy? It was given to Shani. We played the video where he like did a fake acceptance speech oh, for yeah. it. It was when he was like buddies with them yeah. still for a little while. Why is he um, smelling it? A couple more wipe downs and it would be all right. But I have this Golden Lowell's Cow of the Year Award that, that, I was, that was given to me by Shani, in which you guys gave it to her. You'd be surprised what she did with some of the things that you guys gave her. But anyway, what, no, I did she shove them up her ass or yeah. something? Like, yeah, that wouldn't oh, surprise right. me. I want to know, G Man. It would still disgust me, but it wouldn't surprise me. Even this is a good right. G Man pause right here. 
This is uh, thumbnail worthy, where he's like, hey, uh, "Let's see something here." The montage. <laughs> Thank you, uh, the bottom me. Says, "Why are you smelling it?" It's it? a great question. He says, "Also, oh, okay, thank you for the final super chat, montage." He says, "Yeah, yeah, Monty was there. Me and him were kind of like talking in the chat while this also, was going on. Was this going on during his birthday?" No, no, this was today. Okay. Monty's birthday was yesterday. Yeah. Yep. I think he's doing a birthday stream like right Probably now. right now. Happy birthday. You know what? Monty. Let's do a raid. Monty. A happy birthday, birthday raid. Birthday. Let's uh give me a we'll second. Go celebrate We're all Monty gonna go together. And kiss him on his birthday. Kiss him? Yeah. We all need Incoming raid. Incoming raid. Incoming raid. No. Incoming raid! Lean Incoming raid! Is this Sargon of Akkad in the front here? Carne of Assad? Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Just go to the Hannibal and Monty channel. Here, I'll... Uh, yeah, we probably should have linked it. so Because now it's just you and Magicus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, 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 here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Now oh, this shit's going to blow up. All right. Uh, I'm going to say happy birthday, and then I'm going to you know, send a uh, picture of my boobs. Let's see what they say. He's not even here right now. Did he fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would track. What? You love uh, a few like years ago, in the here. Silicon like Valley there, area like burned there. down, house sold for I'm two million because shop. some tech bro wanted to build oh. in the lot. Oh yeah, easily. Uh, bullshit. This All depends on the land. I, I guess I should have checked shit. that Monty uh, was even there. He's not even there. It's all right. We'll give happy birthday. Hold on, hold on. I see some movement. We've taken over the stream. Yeah. 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 Taken over the stream. Just. He well, should have been I on our yeah, stream instead. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I haven't found a way to end the stream from here, but like, <laughs> I found a way to end the stream. X. Uh, uh, I, I, I saw him. Here he, there is. he is. There he is. Glare, what did you do to these people that hate you? Oh man. Shit, I have to it, know. It really depends. It depends on whose chat they're coming in here from. Glanderson Just Booper. Glanderson Booper. Channel. Glanderson. Uh oh. I haven't what even been looking at chat. I can look at chat. Uh, here. Watch Monty go and ban everybody peasants. thinking they're from a hate stream. Oh, Landers and Booper. Yep. A bunch of happy birthdays in the chat. Oh, thank you, DP. Yeah. Billy and Ben, they're sweet boys. I love you. Love you both. Yeah. Nice. Right, he got your name right. The fuck yeah, out He's already that better other than G Man. Yeah, the other guy. Yeah, there's the Landers and Boopers. Oh, I love it. I love it. Where the white women at? <laughs> yeah, where the white women at? Look, I hey, hate to hey. disappoint you. Oh, hey. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, look, look, look. Donald Duck's right there. That's a white lady. Patty Patty, I think, is white, too. I don't give a doll. Oh, don't, don't, man. There you Let's go. Make that clear. Videl, Videl, right there. Not white. Not white. Zoe, <laughs> Zoe, show, show the DP fans some D-Roy. Uh-oh. Just let, let's, let's, D-Roy's about to tell us about women, y'all. Let's go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's crazy. I love this guy. Why, whenever you're talking about your life, <laughs> you talk about everything? Thank you. The, Thank is you. the audio piss poor because of... No, it's him. What? D-Roy? Yeah, what? it's him. What? Yes. Not every woman has now, a husband, D-Roy. this news anchor here is Faulkner. All right. Um, she's a Republican. All right. So you can watch for free. Oh, okay, Montaraj. All right, I got you. All right. But me and you got to sort out our differences first before I show up on your channel. Oh, wow. I, I have to talk about that first. All right. But uh, let me see something. But then again, thank you for the $5 uh, super chat. I'm going to leave that there to somebody else give another one. Thank you. I appreciate that. But, uh, Shani, I didn't sell off for money. These ain't my new friends. As Sabella said, we are tolerating each other. They could turn on me like that. <laughs> I can make will. a video on one of them like that. It'll happen And we'll still be tolerating each other. But that's neither here and it's neither there, Shani. You are the most untrustworthy black widow I have ever seen in my life. You mate and then you kill. You wasn't gonna be mate. You mate no, no, and no, then no, you no, kill. No, no, no. You can't. You can't put this sort okay, of every pause. Every pause. You can't right put back. this sort of predator tag on Shani for Christ. She's a bedridden fucking consumer, dude. 
She is not this vile apex predator. You wanted to have sex with her. You simped around under the guise of a good Christian when you excused all of her racism, and then you got burnt, burnt by the fact that there's no loyalty amongst thieves. You're part of the scum and villainy. And now you want to point out that she's a black widow? She's barely a baked potato. She's whatever <laughs> toppings you put on her, dude. She's nothing other than that. You put the fucking toppings on her. You try to eat that fucking baked potato, papa. And now you realize you don't like the flavor. That's on you. Should have got more fucking bacon yeah, and you butter are to your... put on that bitch. <laughs> I don't think bacon and butter is going to cover the fact that that's not a potato. <laughs> no, probably not. Yeah. And I don't go that route. Um, even though. And by the way, Jason. By the way, Jason. I try to do the right by, thing. By the way, Jason. If you're wondering why I called you a pimp, because I know what you're saying. I really don't want to be bothered with none of this. Why does she keep putting me on YouTube? Why don't you be a man and just cut the computer off and tell her that you don't want to be bothered no more so she can show you her true colors after you get a black eye and a broken nose for not being obedient to the man of the house? Because you ain't the man. You've never been the man, Rev. Pretty Shannon's sure he's the man already of that done house. that. <laughs> yeah, she's... I, I like how he's uh, equating uh, masculinity with with domestic abuse. <laughs> welcome <laughs> welcome to the Christian family lifestyle. What was the line you from will. my song, The Blood on the Walls, is an indication of the obvious domestic violence situation? <laughs> as icky. As icky. <laughs> Do what you're told. Dave, it's not executed the right way, but I still try to do... The right thing always. Um, bleed my ears when I first heard a lot of this. But no, she didn't. Because I'm truly not a hater. I can't hate people. But I will keep people away who I know who just want to. No, you won't. No, you won't. Have, no, you like, won't. You're constantly that. begging them for money on a regular basis, you liar. <laughs> Please. Not to let people in like that anymore. Yeah. Uh -huh. to her right Until tomorrow. You know. Or until until tomorrow until you need a smoke. Prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. I'm just going through shit. You know. And I'm oh, talking that. this shit out. It's funny how it's hard to tell if it's Rev or Shanny talking. I just wanna Yeah. Well, what's funny yeah. is him over here calling her a prostitute when we know he fucking tricked out for her. You were the trick, Papa. You can't you can't hate the game when you were playing it. Just just because you're not no longer a buying doesn't mean you weren't at one point working for that fucking affection, dude. We all know Shani is the man of the house. It's true. We all know Shani's the man of the house. <laughs> Until I walked in here. I gotta tell you guys I gotta tell you guys the funny there's something funny about like 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 how things would be, be there. But what Rev told me, uh before I got there, if Shady told Rev to do something, he had to do it, or they would argue and fight. Kids had to, but the moment I walked in there, and and it wasn't something opinionated or whatever, and I wanted something clean, I didn't give a crap what she said. I didn't give a crap what he had to say. I ain't care what the, I ain't care what nobody in the house had to say. Everybody had to stop doing what they were doing. This is what she doesn't like about me, and they had to start doing what I asked them to do. Because if they didn't, the Rev or, or automatically knew what was the next thing out my mouth is get out. And a lot of you, a lot of you never saw that. You'd have been laughing your behinds off. You see how many times I went off on these guys. So you wait, basically G-Man's like, yeah, I had to be the dad in the house because nobody yep. else would be. Yes. Um, But I was a good friend to Rev. I was a real good friend to him. Real good friend to him. Now stop being friendly to these people because they were using me. Period. Hey, Rev, let me say this again to you, dude. I stopped being friendly to you because you... And your woman was using me. I stopped being friendly because you and your woman was using me. Sabella gave a $2 super chat. Thank you for the $2 super chat. It says, Miss. <laughs> He's picking up. <laughs> I'm like, G Man did not get super chats before. Of course. Not at all. No. 
He just figured out donate to talk shit. Nope. Well, uh, they're in support of him to talk shit about Shanny. Yeah, well, you know, it works. <laughs> um, you know what I did? I, we had that Emo Hollingworth video that was gold, but it was over. It, it was just shy of an hour long. And it was a, a big portion of it was dead air. So I went in and edited out all the dead air. Oh, that's fantastic. All the like long stretch. Like there might be a l- like little moments of it here and there, but it's mostly. The like, Emo I, Howling Wolf video? Yes. The one we watched before? We watched like a couple minutes of we, it. We watched that for a while the other day, didn't we? We went through like most of it. No, we didn't. We skipped most of it. We skipped most of it because it was dead air. I mean, I can do it later if we run out of time. But yeah. I, I love listening to him just like pop off. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like, no, we skipped most of it. Like, you wanted to skip most of it because it was dead air. So we, we spent a good time watching it, though, right? So there must <laughs> no, have been so not much really. more. Oh, dude, there's. It was like, no, we did not spend a good time watching it. We like probably maybe like ten minutes, hmm. but most of it was just skipping through like dead air and shit like that because there is a lot there's like a, a an unbelievable amount of dead air i was able to clip so much out of it like like over 30 minutes of dead air out of like a 50 minute video is what i did so um yeah i, I i'm sorry i had to reboot the stream again i'm sorry <laughs> I don't, I don't get do why he keeps doing this. Yeah, so they n- <laughs> they get into his stream, they troll him, and then he freaks and, out. Yeah, I had, to, I had to restart over the panel for security reasons. If somebody was sitting in the back room that I didn't want in the back room, so... And I told him to get out, and he refused to get out, so... I had I had a, a reason. I don't know if he's working for the other side now. I don't know if he's sitting in there to restream me, but I'm not gonna have him sitting down there in the bottom. Eventually, what they do just because the, the context isn't here, like someone probably should have put this on the screen to explain what's happening. Eventually, Gary, I guess R R I P Gary, um, Snow Gary Snowflake was doing a live stream with someone pretending to be Emo's husband. And there's a minute there where, like, they're like, why is Gary such a rape? Or, uh, no, why is Gary such a racist? And they're like, because he was raped as a kid. <laughs> it's so fucked up. And he, he's, like, rebroadcasting it on his stream. I'm just not. It's so messed up. But until somebody get the fuck out, I mean get the fuck out. <laughs> So anyway, hopefully this will be the last time I got to reboot the stream tonight because I'm probably running out of notifications. It is what it is. Yeah, I rebooted it. Mm, he does this a lot too. Mm. No, I I ended it. I rebooted it. I started it over. For reasons I don't want, like I said, for other reasons that I don't want to get into. Yeah, Jay wants to come in the back room of the other StreamYard account, sit there off, off camera, not come up on the fucking panel. Because they're restreaming him, that's why. And bounce all of you guys, but he's too much of a fucking pussy to come up on the panel. That's why I switched StreamYard accounts just now. Because I'm not going to have Jay in there being a fucking pussy, hanging out in the back room, but he's too much of a fucking coward to come up on the fucking panel. So, like, there were huge gaps in, like, literally every statement he just made, and I cut all of them out. So You can slowly hear, like, the anger building in the oh, fucking meter as oh he's my going. God. I had, <laughs> there were parts where I had to increase the gain and parts I had to lower it uh, during this. Cause it, it and got, when he's doing that, to me, he's, he, to me, that's shady behavior. So it makes me wonder if he's working for the other side now. So <laughs> the other side. Now we can't come in this one. So but he just say, kicked. He just kicked someone out of his panel. Come to the panels, and he continues to come to the panels. That just pisses me off. You can always tell one streamyard account to the other. Hua. Oh, wow. She's a hua. 
<laughs> because I don't I'm know how to spell the word up. lounge. And on the other panel, it's uh, the other. Ten more bucks, by the way, for the next shot. He's eating pizza. He's trying to get through this. The is called the, trying. the Howling Wolf, uh, the Outcast Lounge. Do your well, worst. Uh, when it, when it says Den at the top, you can always tell I'm on my other StreamYards account. Because, yes, I have two of them. <laughs> so, I just switched over to the other one to get rid of Jay snooping in the back room. I tried leaving YouTube. I went to Twitch. I had a good time. I, I, I do not remember Emo going to Twitch. That would have been hilarious. I'm on Twitch. And to one of you maggot faggot trolls had to follow me over there. Yeah. <clears throat> they thought it was funny to get me thrown off of Twitch. <laughs> yeah. So I had you no place that? to come back. He just stepped up a level. He's like yeah, getting yeah. real close. <laughs> but YouTube. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. Of course he is. <laughs> nope, my husband doesn't have a channel, so any, so any faggot that's supporting a fake Mike channel, you're an idiot. Yeah. And you're then an, he goes and listens to it. <laughs> an idiot. So you ridiculous. Played. You're an idiot. Just saying. <laughs> no, they're not to. They're not supposed to, John. And they know they're not supposed to restream me. Because it's faggoty. <laughs> means faggots can't come up with their own content. That's what it means. Faggots can't come up with their own content. They gotta steal mine. They don't steal it. They Magicus take it. should have gotten some cheap mead. Yeah, Magic is. I have cheap mead. Do you want me to drink some? No, I can no. grab it out of my fridge. Okay, if you want to drink cheap mead, you can drink cheap mead. But you're drinking Malibu shots. We are so I, yeah, close. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I am. I don't want you right. messing up the Malibu Magicus. No, no, we're not going to mess it up. Well, I'm going to grab my bottle of mead. It's important, all right, Magicus. All right. Oh, there it is. There's but, the five bucks. Magicus, you might as well take a shot on the way to that mead, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full yeah. Right, let's do this yep. first. Magicus, Magicus, got a shot of Malibu. Here we go. Yeah. Magicky Malady Boo. Look at that. Look at that man. He's a fucking machine. That's what it means. So we got on YouTube tonight. A bunch of faggots. <clears throat> At the end, he shows his you husband. His husband looks like fucking, I don't know, Jerry Garcia a or something like that. Content. But did you picture that? So you should know better than I, that, I, John. I know what Emo Howling Wolf looks like. Yeah, they kind of look alike. Yeah. Or he, maybe his husband looks older. I like I like this one a lot. This is Chaucer's. This I've is had really that. Good. Chaucer. I've had that before. Chaucer's that, me. Well, you should know better they than that. They sell that at Trader Joe's or something. Yep, that's what I said. Uh, I buy it at the liquor store by my house. So. I wonder if Trader Joe's has a good. What meat I say? I'm going to start. They, sh they I, should be the I type of store that carries me. Other people, myself, because everybody. I used to get it from these stores in Ohio called the Andersons, which I guess all closed down. But they had the best like craft beer and like obscure. It's funny to do it to me. I should start doing it to Rick Crude and Golden Eyes and a few other people because they think it's funny to do it to me. Why not? It builds. Maybe I should. He's, so he started at level one, like it almost sounded like he was asleep. Now he's probably at three, f going on Stop four. By everybody. the All Father's name, how drunk are you, Magicus? Uh, I feel it, all right? Like, uh, I'm like halfway to nauseous. Right? Are you going <laughs> to Ralph? Halfway to nauseous. Are you going to Ralph? Yeah. No, not yet. Not Are you going to eat by Ralph? the end here? Now, Magicus, if you were going to Ralph, would it be Ralph S. Mouse or Ralph Wiggum? I, I think Super it would probably Nintendo be Ralph Chalmers? Wiggum. Because like, my stomach is going to be like, I am in danger. <laughs> I dress myself. <laughs> the leprechaun told me to burn things. <laughs> my favorite is High Super Nintendo Chalmers. Um, <laughs> I, love, yeah, I, saw, what, I was really considering buying a shirt because I saw it with that on it. It was fucking great. I'm probably <laughs> eating and getting gas, and the other one's offloading somewhere. Burn the house out wrong. It's We're gonna skip like a little bit. I, I, from what I heard from other people that went to his live stream, it sounded like he was re really getting ready to cut corners on that stove. Oh, so he's okay then. All right. 
Chat, if you've not had it. mead, you should drink it. It's a really sweet honey wine. It's yeah, delicious. Is this the one that ends with him so challenging the guy to go to the... Yes. We listened to this whole thing it. last... It Saturday. wasn't the whole thing. Because was, we got to the, the going to the... the we the, didn't listen to the whole thing. We, we got we got to the part where he it was It was like, like over an hour long. We did not listen to the whole we, thing. We spent like 30 minutes on it. No. Well, no. No, there's no way. Look, we, we, I know I we definitely got to, to the resolution of it. at the top of his lungs, okay? That's just... Yeah. I need that to get there. Yeah. Who would be doing that? The, yeah, we didn't even listen to the part where they were restreaming him and asked him why he was uh, racist and like, yeah, we Gary shit stain. That's who would be doing that. That's exactly who would be doing that. So now we're gonna do this. Exactly who would be doing that. Fuck yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, this yeah, is where yeah, he tries yeah, to like, because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're in the call like restreaming him, so he does this <laughs> to kind of throw them <laughs> off. This is when it starts to heat up a lot. I cut most of the ear. Uh, Somebody needs to turn that into a beat. You, 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 you. It has a good rhythm. Let's <laughs> quiet him down a little bit. He's Here we a little go. set right now. He's going <laughs> to be okay. So. <laughs> this person is posing as Emo's husband. I know, I no, know. You it's, think it's you're funny, tough. Gary? You think <laughs> you're fucking funny, Gary? You're, 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 you're a lie, God's son, Gary! You're a lie, God's son, Gary! You're a shit man, 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 Gary! you with Emo's husband <laughs> and Emo's hearing it and freaking the fuck out. It's so great. I come in after my fucking <laughs> drunken nap and there he is all fucking stinking it up. Flies everywhere. No, I don't. All fucking stinking it up. You see how he yells that he's out of fucking control? This is what I deal with day and night. You fucking people have no fucking idea. And by the way, I don't work at a fucking ski lift because, you know, well, it's a secret between all of us. Um, I can't be trusted <laughs> with money and stuff. So, oh, look. Oh, my stars. It's that dreamboat, Raging Star. Capricorn. Uh, Mike, Mike, I have a couple of questions for you. Sure, shoot, go, sure. Why is Emo so racist? Well, it's funny that you ask. You know, when he was in the uh, care facility as a young man, he was raped time and time again from the other boys. <laughs> and some of those boys were black and some of the counselors were black. Yeah, but so, why does he hate Somalians and Mexicans? and a guy who and... similar to emo <laughs> howling wolves, except he's a wannabe celebrity. He's called something like Perry Caravello. Yeah, I remember you seeing that guy. Look at him. Was, it, was his thing kayfabe? It was great, though. In everything. Oh, okay. Well, because when he'd go into a restroom, he'd be raped all the time. And it was it was <laughs> black people and Somalians and Spanish people. They just all raped the shit out of him. That's what he says anyway. Well, but what it is it about said? emo that, I mean, I've gone into a million bathrooms and I've never been raped. What is it about emo that he keeps getting raped in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking faggot. Chip is a faggot. Faggot. <laughs> People were sending this to me, and they were like, this is the best emo meltdown. And there was so much space between everything. Fuck it! You fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! fuck it! I have a message from Emo Diaper Wolf. No, I don't flag it. Fuck you, 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 you. Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what my neighbors would think if I started screaming this shit at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Do it. 
<laughs> I think I'd rather not. No, yeah. no, it's time. <laughs> See what happens. Test the character of your neighbors. I'm not quite let's, that let's far see if your again. neighbors. Let's see if your neighbors are good people or if they're going to allow for this hatred to exist in your neighborhood. And then then afterwards, if they call you out on it, be like, oh, I'm so sorry. It was just a, it was a social test, okay? I was doing a social experiment. But if they don't say anything, you march over there with a pitchfork and you fuck them up, okay? Because we can't have the type of person in our neighborhood, Magicus, that would allow such hatred to exist. That I'm going to fucking kill them and, like, I'm going to beat them up in a park. (laughs) You could just say, leave me alone. I'm autistic. (laughs) Hmm, That wouldn't even be a lie. No, (laughs) you're not. You're going to bust you, Gary. And I'm going to kill you, Gary. I'm going to fucking kill you. It's great because it just keeps going. <laughs> My mouth hurts because I'm smiling yeah, too much. Yeah, it's so great. <laughs> That's not my husband. I'm coming Wednesday for you, Gary. Government Center, five o'clock Wednesday night. Be there. I'm gonna tell you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking tell you. <laughs> I want to uh, take another drink, but I'm afraid to at this point. You're gonna have to in twenty dollars, Magic Eye. Twenty. That's true. Someone said he sounds like my ex. Really? I uh, hope not. Are you? Are you I'm Gary? So... Well, I'm Gary! glad it's your ex. <laughs> I mean, obviously, people's exes uh, are all emo howling wolf. If they weren't emo howling wolf, you'd still be with them. And I'm gonna kill him. (laughs) Government Santa, Boston, Massachusetts, five o'clock. You better be there Wednesday, fuckface. There's a part where uh... this is crossing the fucking line. No, 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 there's no talking me out of it this time. I'm gonna kill him! I'm gonna fucking kill him! I'll be bringing a Louisville slugger! A Louisville slugger! Only it's gonna be the Garyville slugger! Oh, damn. That's what it's gonna be! <laughs> it's gonna be the Garyville slugger! But I know my fucking faggot! <laughs> You're a faggot, Gary! You're a faggot! <laughs> what the fuck? There's a part where people come on and try to talk to him about it. This is my husband's name. Then I'll, and you fucking faggot trolls, leave me alone. Then I'll stop using racist slurs. You fucking faggot. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, he starts using the N word a lot. Yes, it's not alone on my blog because you're a fucking faggot. So you think it's funny? Oh you my god! You make fun of my husband. Do you faggot? Do you I think do it's think it's funny, funny actually. You make fun of my husband. You fucking faggot! I'm gonna judge you and fucking kill you. Do you understand? I hey, don't mom. care. What the? <laughs> If you have guns, you're a dead man, Ranger Scorpion. If I ever find out where you are, you're fucking dead. Michael wants to know if you'll come over and go on his panel. That ain't the real <laughs> <laughs> Come on his panel. 
That's amazing. <laughs> it's the trolls. It's the people trolling him. You know it, faggot. <laughs> yeah, he he wants to know if you'll come over and talk to him on his panel. <laughs> 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 fucking faggot! You're a low-life fucking piece of shit! You love me. No, you're a faggot! That's why you know love if me. I've ever been that angry at anything. No. <laughs> yeah, you guys think this is all funny, but I don't think it's funny! <laughs> Yeah, oh, there he is. There's the real Michael. There's the real Mike. Handsome man. All right. Not the Mike all you fucking trolls are listening to. That's the man that loves Emo Howling Wolf. Yep. There you go. How many of you people out there watching right now are lonely and have zero emotion? You wish you could be as passionate as Emo Howling Wolf. There is a lot of passion there. Pathetic. Uh, So we're done with this segment? Yeah. I'm going to bring up now the Kanye and Milo Yamalopoulos with Nick Fuentes story. Okay. So we all saw Kanye and and Milo Yamalopoulos going through the sweatshop last episode, right? Mm -hmm. During that, Nick Fuentes begged Milo to come, and he was there during everything. Milo's like, okay, yeah, you can come. Nick was just like waiting to photo bomb with Kanye. There's one photo, it's a very shit photo. Kanye and Nick are both wearing like blue, so it looks like they're matching. Nick's got his glasses on, and Nick is trying hard to make it look like he's there with Kanye. This clip Nick Nick posted because he wanted to meme that he was hanging out with Kanye, right? He posted to his page immediately. Milo starts getting clip back from like Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens because they fucking do not like Nick Fuentes, and they're like they're the people that hooked Milo up with Kanye, so he like fucked with their trust huh. by bringing Nick there, and so it's already falling apart. The, the the glass house is already in shambles. The house of cards. Already in shambles because fucking Milo couldn't say no to Nick. Nick Fuentes had to do the fucking meme photo bomb. They've been put it up and now sucking each other. Yeah, well, it's something like that. Yeah, there's definitely that connection, right? And uh, and Candace Owens is not happy. She's she's allowed Milo the meeting with Kanye, and Milo has overstepped his boundary. Look, like Milo <laughs> might not be the vice president now. It's already falling apart. Thanks to Nick Fuentes' need to photobomb Kanye West for the meme after he begged Milo. Wow. So that's the good stuff right there. This just came out or what? Uh, I just saw the, the picture earlier today of, of Nick and, and, uh, and Kanye together and then the commentary that, that they're not, like, people are not happy with Milo for inviting him there. The Candace Owens, Charlie Kirk specifically. The alt-right is in shambles. <laughs> Kanye might have to go back to fucking Balenciaga. What is that? The company that let him go oh. and lost him some of his uh, okay. $1.5 billion. I will be right back, everybody. Balenciaga and Lady Gaga. I wonder if Lady Gaga will take Kanye back. Who's going to be the first mainstream artist to bring Kanye back into the fold, right? I don't know. I, w- I don't know that I would want to take that risk right now. Oh, everybody. Ev- people are going to people are gonna definitely bring him back at some point. I just got to know who the, who's going to be the one to open that door. Mm, it's going to be interesting. Shane Dawson. Oh, my God. Shane Dawson. <laughs> A Jeffrey Star and Kanye West with the new palette. The new Kanye, the Yay palette. Yay gonna be exiled to YouTube. Ah, Yay's back on Twitter now, right? Did I think Elon's pushing the video length of Twitter up considerably? Was it something like forty-five minutes of video? But I also heard that YouTube, they recently had everybody implement their at 
for uh, like the, you all have to have an at on YouTube now. Yeah, yeah. And I think they might be making a play for Twitter's uh, business model. They might be trying well, to integrate a Twitter into YouTube directly. There's a few different sites like what Mastodon and Hive are also going after it. Yeah, but they aren't shit, right? They're nothing. No. And if you're lucky, you get people to park a domain over there. Nobody's actually using Hive. Uh, I think the biggest platform we had was, wasn't it, was it Rumble or was it, which one was it that was big? And it was only because furries used it. And then the uh, alt-right co-opted it. Oh, and I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but I was, I was going to say, I think Hive, like somebody posted that the person who created Hive, like used some very, uh, not sweet boy words in some posts that he made. So not sure how much uh, popularity that site's going to end up Yeah, with. I don't know how old Hive is, but I'm pretty sure anybody who made an alternate site only made it because they got disavowed from the, the main timeline. And now that Twitter is full-on disavowed, oh, Telegram, yeah, Telegram was the, mm -hmm. uh, the furry safe haven until the alt-right came in. It was like, all right, thank you for making camp. You foxes can go back into the forest. We're taking over. I keep but, waiting for the day that Trump is going to fuck over Truth Social by just coming back to Twitter. I mean, is, is Truth Social even doing anything? I mean, it, Trump has a lot of money sunk into it, so it wouldn't surprise me that he would fuck up the thing and just um, screw everybody over that invested into it by I mean, just yeah, that's, going that's to Twitter because he's an idiot. That's what he's yeah, been exactly. doing in business for 30, 40 years, right? Pretty much. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get wild. He is, as of this point, unbanned on Twitter, so he could just log in whenever the fuck he feels like. Not just could, he should. <laughs> I think it'd be fucking hilarious. Trump should go back to Twitter right now <laughs> and just be a complete shit poster. Trump, Trump should do what Ethan Klein did. He should do the H3H3. He should go on and change his name to Elon Musk. And just troll. That's what Trump should do. And then use Melania's account and get it banned. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Everybody was asking Elon Musk if he would bring Alex Jones back. He said he wouldn't. He was like, I, I saw can't. That. He's like, anybody that would use children in a vile way gets no sympathy from me. And yep. everybody's like, wait a second. He was like, I hold my child. I, I held my first child in my arms while he died. Or yeah. Something. <laughs> everybody's like, uh, like, yeah, uh, Elon, we get that uh, that's terrible and sad and heartbreaking. And, and it's, it's, it's a horrible thing for you to go through and we're sorry to hear that but also that's a personal experience that you're using to dictate whether or not people get free speech like that's what you kind of came in and sold yourself against i saw shoe on head <laughs> yeah and i listen to everything shoe on head says and i'll tell you why because she's got boobs i have boobs that's why you should listen to everything i say oh my god you got delicious nom noms Mm. We are fifteen dollars um, away from Magic is taking another shot. Are you ready to drink more Magic Eye? Oh hell yeah, I am. We got T Bob calling more people in Ohio. <laughs> Just amazing. Hello? Is that a box of Mac Hello, is Harmon uh, Aaron? It is. That's good to know. My name's uh Bob Jones. I live in uh, Palmhurst, Texas. Yes, sir. I used to go by Trumpster Bob. I go by T Bob now. Like T Bob Love. <laughs> this person has no fucking clue. T Bob Love. <laughs> I like how you, you know, change your fucking screen name. T Bob and you Love. You act like it's an alias throughout the world for people who have no idea who you are. You're having to write your own Wikipedia page to explain shit that people wouldn't care about if they cared about you. He's calling some what? random person. Yeah, no even clue. if this guy cared about T-Bob, he wouldn't care to know all the fucking aliases he's used online. No, but seriously, is that a fucking box of macaroni and cheese yes. stapled to his flag? Yes. What the fuck? Maybe he's uh, colluding with the manatee. I don't know. There's a lot of left-wing <laughs> liberal cooks and whatnot. And I go on a live sometimes, so... I've been being stopped by this guy that, that went by the name of Rob DeHaven for two years. Well, over two years. Wouldn't like that be me. great if that box stapled to the flag was a box of Kraft Dinner? 
That is my uh, 79 cent box of macaroni <laughs> of choice. The craft dinner, <laughs> the Canadian fucking craft dinner was made mm-hmm. in Canada, somehow smuggled down to Texas. Many years, technically. But really bad over the past two years. One nation under Mac and Chi. Years. Now, this guy, I want to tell you, he's committed a lot of felonies. Oh, my God. Okay? Stigmati says it's an Eagles jersey. The Jets have only had two players ever to wear the 10, whereas the Eagles have had loads. Also, the green of G-Man's is the dark green of the Eagles, not the light green of the Jets. Stigmati, I'm, I'm only calling this out one, well, two reasons. One, you're confirming what I said to be true. And two, that was like a half an hour ago. You're a madman. You're a madman for bringing that up now. <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead and jerk Philly off a little harder, why don't you? I love it. You literally... Like this, this was long forgotten. <laughs> this is like the central fucking the theme of the show is we have to figure out the mystery of this jersey. Like nothing no. else matters here. That's why I love the fan base, right? Like you guys won't <laughs> let us forget anything ever. I love it. <laughs> You're sicker I'm, than we are. <laughs> I'm sticking with the premise that it's a Jets jersey. I'm really Stigmati just told you. It's Eagles yeah, Green. We also had, somebody else said that it definitely was a Jets jersey. Who? So. The guy who was a fan of Pennington? The guy who's a fan of the only other guy to wear the 10, Pennington? Typical Billy only listening to the evidence that proves him right. I'm only listening to the evidence that withstood a half an hour of time. This evidence has withstood time. In the moment, everybody had their opinion. It's a Jets jersey so I can fucking throw it at Billy. They Over here, it's a, it's, it's a Browns jersey, says Tokyo Gringo. <laughs> Browns jersey, that, that's like orange and brown. Well, got owned by facts and logic. For reporting, for posting child pornography. I, I could not imagine being this person getting this call, not knowing what the fuck Wait, is going who, on. Like, okay, what? Who the fuck did he call here? Is it just some random Some person? random person he found online that he thinks is related to the person he's, like, feuding with online. Okay. He did the same thing with Elisa. He, like, called... He found I- info on her and, like, called her, like, old college professor. I, I don't know. <laughs> and for sending yeah, child pornography onto people's cell phones, <laughs> and a lot worse. This is a bad person who ever got in your family doing this. Well, this guy went and got a 17-year-old guy to get his girlfriend that when she turned 18 to call my channel, and I verified that she was 18 because she called me I can't year believe these people stay on the night. phone. I would have hung up so long ago. Now, are they working a I day don't... job, or are they, like, randoms at home? I have no idea. Like, I know that, I don't like... know. I kind of get it because, like, at some point, if you get a photo, or, I mean, if you get a phone call that's, like, this insane, like, you don't actually know what to do. Your brain just shuts down, and you're like... What the fuck is happening in I've, my life right now? I've done with it. I've dealt with enough weirdos to know I should have hung <laughs> up a long time ago. I banned her from my live stream until she turned eighteen. So because she was asking me an innocent sexual question, so, sir, nothing sir, serious. Sir, I, sir, I have I have no idea who you're talking about. Right, right, right. Well, I'll tell you, if I see you a picture, would you be willing to identify this guy to me? Because. I, tomorrow, I got to go down and have a meeting with the local police department over this shit. And I got to give them my name. So either I'm going to give them the Aaron Brothers name or I'm going to give them the name of this particular individual. By the way, I never thought uh, Chuck, like if you're familiar with the cuts of beef, Chuck is usually like the cheap beef. But man, I just ate some wag, Wagyu Chuck like uh slow cooked it was unbelievable the way because like the fat marbles into the meat and when you cook it Mm. it like turns to butter basically it's like butter infused beef is how it is and it's so good and it was so cheap i was in i was at costco today and i saw like a three pound slab of it was like like 26 bucks i was like holy shit that's that's not bad yeah yeah a three pound slab of of American Wagyu for twenty six dollars. It was it was like three and and a and one third. It was uh it was three point three pounds. So it was like three and a third pounds. 
So tonight, I'm trying to call everybody in your family, find out who the hell this guy is. That way, when they show up at the property, they're just wanting to talk to that one particular individual. Uh, he keeps sure saying I, particular individual, and it situation. makes me think of a different person. Yeah. Well, and then there's the the dog whistle in the background, <laughs> the the mac and cheese. Yeah. I'm like, who's fuck? who's he working for? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. He's a ball headed guy. Oh. He owns a Harley. <laughs> yeah, I, I I am not familiar with with anything that, that you're talking about, I, and I I don't know anybody that owns a Harley, so. So you you um, you're not associated with that address. Like I also can't get over the no. fact that every time I see Trumpster Bob, he just reminds me of a fucking Final Fantasy IV character. Is he just looks like the Lunarian dude who's like a hundred years old or some shit? There's Billy Ass. You see not that? at all. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know what you're getting, but cakes. But, uh... I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my kids to bed right now, so I'm, I'm sorry. You know what's uh, funny is you live at that address. Okay. Okay, now uh, wait a minute. I, I'm, wait a minute, sir. You live at that address. Someone said a good trick to make hamburgers is mix ground beef with chuck. Well, I mean, usually ground beef is ground chuck. Like, most of the, like, yeah. reasonably priced ground beef that you'll get is ground chuck. So it's... I'll tell you what, like the slow cooked uh, American Wagyu Chuck roast was insane. It was really good. Yeah, slow cooking shit meat usually makes it a lot better. I can only imagine when you do something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you slow cook meat the, like correctly, then it just literally falls off the bone and is fucking amazing. I watched a YouTube video where a guy took a Wagyu Chuck roast and turned it into several steaks and cooked it, and they looked They'd probably be better than a good. sirloin. Uh, like yeah, a, uh, like a normal sirloin. sirloin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And imagine. The FBI Sirloin's not very be... fatty at all, so I think the, the a Wagyu chuck would still have that some marbling to it, right? Yeah, oh, there, there was a considerable amount. Actually, I only cooked like half of it, so. He's showing up at this rest. address over multiple felonies. Your name is fixing to be mentioned. And to my report to the local police department over somebody who committed multiple felonies. Multiple so, felonies. So am I to take it that you and your family are responsible for... I'd be like, if you think someone's guilty of felonies, uh, call the cops by... Like, uh, I'm not the cops. If, if you think someone's guilty of felonies, then call the police. Like, uh, the police have called Bob about these calls, so people have been calling the cops. Being like, this weirdo called me. Yeah. And, yeah. And <laughs> you have to recognize most people, especially in Ohio, you know, they're only used to getting calls from, like, polling companies This is, like, really small town of 3,000 yeah, th th people. This person is probably not used to a call like this. And right. They're probably a little w worried that something serious is happening. Yeah. Like, like I, I don't know. We take this for granted because we're superstars on the internet. <laughs> people are constantly fucking with us, but the the, the people here, they're like they're they're people's like moms and dads and grandmothers. I know my grandmother used to talk on the phone with telemarketers for a long time, just because she didn't have much else to do. She was just a conversation. When I worked, when I worked at a call center, I would get old people calling yeah. to like, try to keep me on the phone. And you get so many scammers. You go to a Walmart, and when you're trying to get your money order at Walmart so you can pay your prostitute with a cashier's check and not a fucking one check. of your own checks when you don't want to give her cash because <laughs> you want to make sure that you know she, she don't get robbed, you can cancel the cashier check. So you get your cashier check to buy your prostitute. And on the wall there, it's like, do not get Nigerian money orders. Do not scam. It's like all up on the wall. How many people prey on the the decency of humanity? I'm flossing on camera. Uh oh. What do you got there, Magic Eye? Uh, Dratini's gonna help me get drunk. <laughs> Some of that Dratini mead. Yep. All there right. Uh, how far away are we? Not We're too far. Seventy nine point three eight percent of the way to our goal. If you guys. We're thankful for you. If you want to be thankful for us, let us go home and sleep before Thanksgiving. Are you please. thankful for DP please. in your life? Last thing yes. we want to do is spend all night here being not all night. We're, unthankful. We're doing good, though. <laughs> like We're not yeah. even at a normal show length yet. We're like 15 minutes away. So we're, we're, we're doing good, and we're like almost at 80%. And I... I 
I am thankful for all of you. We got all this actual mania stuff that we'll show after the Bob video. We'll we'll play that even if we still need more time. Good. We, we've had some Can good we... actual mania promos the last I am... few shows. So yeah, our your your uh, your commentary team will be Ben Billy and Lord Jamarcus. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to round it out great. Actually, I I think we needed a, a third on the commentary team. I feel biased because I'm also a competitor, but you know, um, I'll try to remain objective. Getting multiple felonies against me, or do you want me to just report that ball-headed fucker that's been doing it? I'll tell you what, you can hang up, and I'll call you back 500 times. You can, I, I, you can block How people. Many? You can block people on your actual device to where your device just ignores their calls. You know what I mean? How many Pokemon do I have? I have a lot. All right. Most of them are Dragonites, but like I have like a Charizard, a fucking Aerodactyl, like a Dragonair. Like your a bunch shot of other glass ones. has a Pokemon on it. Yeah, no, I, I literally like yeah. I, I, I am a dragon fucking Magicus. Guy, so. Magicus, I, I want I want to ask you this. And I don't want you to take any offense to it, okay? Yeah, I, I, I want you to anus on. I, I want you to answer honest. I want anus. I want, anus on I want you to like... anus on it onto me. <laughs> I want you to anus onto me, okay? Answer honestly. What's the most masculine item you own, like in, in your room, like a display item? What's the most masculine? Yes, the Infinity item? Gauntlet is that masculine? I, no, uh, that's a comic book a toy. Knife. How's that not masculine though? Comic books can be masculine. No, Wait, comic I, books. I, are... I have a rusty crowbar. Does that count? <laughs> yes. Let's see the rusty crowbar. All right, I'll fucking show you the rusty crowbar. <laughs> yeah. I knew his... I'd find a good fucking relic of masculinity in this. Hovel? Uh, uh, yeah. Is that his beater? Is transgender or transgender? <laughs> He's full ginger, dude. Look. All right. Here we go. Okay. There you go. That's masculinity incarnate right there. What do you use that for? You got victims? I mean, I can't confirm or deny this. All right? <laughs> what, what do you even use that for? You got to pry <laughs> apart your sticky porno mags with that thing? What's going on? <laughs> I, I can't confirm or deny whether the crowbar <laughs> has taken human life or not. Nice. And, and I will dox your whole goddamn family, you cop. Oh, well, fuck it. Thank you. Fuck he it. said he'll dox <laughs> their <laughs> whole family. He's going to dox completely innocent people that have nothing to do with this shit at all. Which he has been doing, right? That one there. Gotta call this fucking Daniel uh, cocksucker oh, back. Sorry. The one that's talking, but he's a real dickhead. Now you don't want to answer the Magic, phone? Magic, I want you to anus on to me, okay? Okay, I'll it's try. Available. I'll do my best. Oh, he don't want to answer the phone. It's going to be hard because I'm below you right now. I need to be above you for that. Now he's going to leave a voicemail. I know you're involved in on stalking me, and now you don't want to pick up the phone, you little fucking bitch. I tell you, if the cops don't arrest all of you, I'm going to fuck <laughs> you up, bitch. So you can Whoa, okay, this is a threat. He can, I mean, eventually he can be arrested. He's if been there's arrested a, for, for phone bullshit. The weird thing is, is like. Well, he already has been like once, right? More than once, I think. And report me right now. I think at this point, since it's like crossing state lines, the feds would have to arrest him. I don't know. I think I, I, I'm not a, an expert on the law. I wonder if they can file charges against him. Because he's calling them, regardless of where he is when he does it. I don't know. Call the FBI, matter of fact. Matter of fact, call the goddamn Interpol. Call the goddamn Interpol? Isn't that in, like, the UK or something? National Security Agency. When I get done with your family, you're going to be known worldwide as a bunch of goddamn fucking bitches. You're I don't think that's what Interpol does. Motherfucker's name. Before I go talk to the police tomorrow, even if the, even if these people were the family of this person, they wouldn't be liable for what <laughs> one member of their family is doing. It's so dumb. He's so fucking dumb. It's unbelievable. Or, or I'm gonna fuck every one of you in your asses with my fucking <laughs> dick. Well, you Whoa! Just got, you just got called out, Magicus. I said I didn't want no comic book bullshit. And in our chat, M Minato Namikaze says that was just a replica of the crowbar used in the She-Hulk television series. Holy shit.
I cannot believe you're over here pulling comic book bullshit in the guise of masculinity and then playing it off like you murder prostitutes with it. Bitch, I will fucking cut you, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you hold that knife like you'd have trouble cutting Brie. <laughs> Jade Cargill did a She-Hulk cosplay at one of the AEW pay-per-views. She could she probably, she probably she, look pretty good as She-Hulk. Yeah, she couldn't wear like <laughs> the like really thick green paint because that would have like come off everywhere. So she has like a light. She had like a light green like dusting. You know, you know what I, I saw? Mean? That looks pretty good. Uh, the light green looks almost Lou Ferrigno style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably the same kind. I of like shit how she's brave hearted it too and left half of her face regular. She's the uh, she's the TBS champion. She's all, honestly like one of the biggest talents they have and she will probably become like an actress of well she might suck at acting i how are her know, promos you know they're good but that's that's different from acting in a movie you know well if she has the linguistic capability to carry a, a promo she can tell a story and with actors telling a story is important but when you're built like that yeah you can be a bad actor and still be a great movie star well, like uh, let's be honest, Arnold, he had like an awkward accent and wasn't yeah, the greatest was, actor, but he, he had the look. Because he was a movie star. It wasn't just the look. He had the confidence. and well, he she did, has that too. For and, sure. and he knew exactly, uh, he, he knew a way to say things where they become memorable. Yeah. And that's important. Like you don't have to, you don't have to be much more than memorable. And Arnold, if anything, is memorable. I heard something, I'm not sure if it's true. I heard that he was like, he took like speech classes to keep his accent because he's been living in America for so long. Oh, that's funny. But I don't know if that's true or not. Might be. Yeah. I mean, he also have like physical presence on his side too, because it's like really easy to believe that like he's this intimidating figure. Well, that's like, well, that's that's what we started off the concept yeah. of him being a movie star as. Yeah, yeah. Like like the the, the, the the look the look that was the the, the build of the conversation. Jade, Magicus. Jade Cargill says her her two influences. You're drinking. I'm sorry. I'm not talking about the look. I'm talking about the feel. Like when you're in his presence, <laughs> like you're just like damn. Yeah, that would that would then be the, the the what we we followed up on after the look it was the 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 way you carry yourself, the presence. That was we 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 went through all this magicus, and it's okay. You've been drinking. We love you. We appreciate the alcohol. Someone give ten bucks so we can cut magicus's please. screen into a, another drinking session, please. <laughs> she also I did. Think this uh, is where I'm supposed to follow the Billy rule and just did a Mortal Kombat keep thing. Arguing. You could, yeah, but you're going against Billy, so it'd be drink more. Yeah, there we go. those. Cheers. All right, you. Sit, you're saved by the bell this one time. Yeah, Billy. I feel so lucky. This is uh, <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Was that what that was? Yeah, yeah. I was. Um, yeah, she did a Mortal Kombat thing too. All right, let's fucking go. Yeah, she says uh, like her inspirations for her wrestling character are China and Storm from the X Men. China and Storm. Yeah. Do you understand that, you fucking faggot? Throw the screen back on her. It looks like yeah. Magicus is just being no, homophobic. you understand? Just, I should be on the main screen. I'm great. <laughs> so you want to be responsible for everything Trump's your Bob's saying? I'm sorry, guys. But this no, absolutely is not. <laughs> See, I'm just covering your ass. <laughs> it's good that one of us is looking out for me. I always um, will, Magicus. All right. So... Just a reminder, everybody, this is the Go Home Show, and we're going to go through it one more time for all of you. On Monday, coming up, we have the Survivor Situation. We're going to have a 10-man tag team match. Kyle has picked five. Jeff Holiday has picked five. Kyle's team, Star Spangled Lutro, will be the captain. Big Diesel will be the captain of Jeff's. We're adding Shabisky. We're adding Honest Red, Court of Owls, Dr. Piss, Aunt Jesse, Jess Bro, Flock of Possum, Rat Lord. They will all be vying. And then on top of that, Ben and Cobra. Title unification put, match. Put the belts on the line, and Eggheads and Smarty will have their blow off grudge match. The grudge match that has been. Months in the making. Yeah. Like four months in the making. And, and 
Uh, for those of you that don't know, there were some people that did not make it into the, the Survivor Situation matchup. And we were trying to get a tag team uh, match built with the leftovers. But, but we didn't get enough people that wanted to be in the main event to be in the tag team event. So now the leftover people are going to pick their own tag team partner out of any person or character available on YouTube. Like right here, right now, Ruby Jules is saying his tag team partner is going to be the Crypt Keeper. The Crypt Keeper. This could go anywhere. The teams I don't you think I know pick. who that is. The Crypt really? Keeper? The host of Tales, uh, Tales from the from Crypt? The Crypt? No, from I don't HBO's think I know that. Tales from the Crypt? And before that, the comic books, Tales from the Crypt. Honestly, if you knew about Tales from the Crypt, whatever product you own from Tales from the Crypt would be the manliest thing in your room, I think. <laughs> it's possible. Ah. Yeah, like, uh, the, the series Tales from the Crypt was based on the comic book. Uh, Hell's only, you missed the Nick Fuentes and Kanye story. I told that earlier. I told I told it earlier. So, yeah, so the, the, the tag team, this will be for the tag team championship, uh, which is currently up for grabs. Yes. So if, if Ruby Jules shows up with the Crypt Keeper and nobody else shows up, Ruby Jules and the Crypt Keeper were just going to be crowned champions. We got, we got uh, John from Finland who could choose anybody to be his tag partner. He might choose that girl's butt to yeah. be his tag partner. Yeah. We have might vote for that. Choice. Yeah. We have Simple Country. Simple Country's been doing some investigation. Who knows who he might uncover as a tag team partner? It's it's completely up to our competitors to find somebody they would like to team with, some found footage, and make it a whole team, a whole ass team. I'm excited to see it. It should be a lot of fun. Yes. Okay. <sighs> but let's get started on these promos. Here's Honest Red's right. two promos. Wow, Honest Red. Putting in like nine minutes of promo here. Oh, I wonder if we'll get two good minutes or not. <laughs> so I just finished watching the latest episode of Drunken Peasants, and I couldn't be happier. Two out of the four promos were about me. Ben and Billy were talking about the impact of my draft promo. Seems like the face of actual mania is Honest Red. And Team Jeff? Team Jeff is coming along nicely, Tubes. And I see a couple of people have their feathers ruffled because I took advantage of the draft promo more effectively than anybody else. And to those people, I say, welcome to actual mania. And you're welcome. You're welcome for saving Survivor Situation, Regal Riot, an actual mania itself. Do you know how many actual mania competitors competitors would be immediately defeated by a high definition camera? Because of <laughs> Shabisky's last pearl clutching promo, I don't need to explain to you guys that Ben and I had a little argument over how to handle rule confusion. And I was basically nagged by Ben into make I said you're like the guy in the D&D game who wants to debate the rules rather than having fun playing the game. I like that are. guy. He's the reason I don't waste my time playing D&D. Well, there you go. <laughs> Keep shit up as, as I my go along. And uh, when problems come up, we'll argue rules on the spot. And I may have consented to being drafted, but it's a two-way street, and I didn't twist anybody's arm into drafting me. And so <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Like, when you when you join the draft, we you, there's the expectation that you're going to cooperate with the rules of it. <laughs> Not like, I get this one special exception that no one else gets. Some people want to say it's, Honest That's Red is, so annoying. Honest Red is literally the girl that revokes consent the morning after via text. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of like how cringe it is because it's like actual fucking like pro wrestling storyline drama. So it, I think it kind of works. Politics. But politics would have been if I'd actually discussed anything with Jeff. But I didn't. I just said I did to force Ben Pye's hand and it 100 percent worked. What I did was the right move. I used. All right, he's taking credit for me changing shit, but I had already been thinking uh... about changing it. Um, because I didn't, cause normally 
you have two smaller shows and then you have a major show, you know? And I forgot that the way WWE has it, just because they want to have Survivor Series in November, they only do two shows between that and Royal Rumble instead of the normal three. By so. small amount of bargaining power to shed light on an unjust system. And by yeah, negotiating right, big, right, I was well, able to get Brad, a... You shouldn't be bragging about, like, you know, this because... Ben still probably has the ability to fuck up your actual mania career if he wants to. So I would not <laughs> Why are we be saying you know, poking career? that there. Why are we saying I career? Like because it, it's fun and people are are like people. It's this, it is it is fun. It's the it weird fun. idea that you had that's become bigger than ever. It's, it's yeah. It's be it's it's become bigger than ever, and yeah. we love it. We love it. But but I we don't have to make it something that it's there not. shouldn't be a but there should be no but <laughs> we don't have to make it something settlement that it's not. out of Ben don't don't let that your ego take over man for everybody I personally got everybody into the royal riot your it's called the regal <laughs> the regal you? tussle it's called the regal tussle <laughs> but that's fine welcome I know some of you are very ass hurt because I'm playing chess and you're playing checkers. But still, you're playing Chinese checkers. You're my welcome. And I heard some of you dummies trying to say that the way that I negotiated means I don't have faith in myself or faith in my teammates. And I'm here to shut that down right now. I don't have faith in a system that strung me along for three months promising me a match that I earned. And I've made that very clear in my last several he earn promo. A, a match for the Cringer Way title? Shibi no, he wants the match oh. against Shabisky. Oh, well. Which is like, do you not understand how like building something works? I don't want to just give you and Shabisky a match out of nowhere. <laughs> like, I want to build it. Jeff Holiday doesn't want to give you a match out of nowhere, dude. Kalo, yeah, Kalo Jeff might. Holiday. Kalo might. <laughs> You know, I, I like how Honest Red is out here he claiming. Might. He's claiming he's playing chess when everybody else is playing checkers. You're playing yep. 3D chess with a pair of fucking A cups, dude. This is this yep. is actual mania. It's not actually competition. <laughs> this this is sports entertainment without the sports. Remember that. Yeah. Fuck. Just because you're playing chess does not mean that you're not the pigeon just shitting all over the board. Mm, this is cute. I love all this. <sighs> Hell's, uh, if, if it was taking on a life of its own, I wouldn't complain. It's taking on a life that's mimicking pro wrestling <laughs> to the T. That's what I love about it, though. Like but, That's why I actually like, kind of like what he's doing. We're formulating it to be a carbon copy of WWE with the, <laughs> the, com the careers, the competitors. It could be so much more than that, but we're pigeonholing ourselves into copying something, and that's that's where I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to mock I'm going to mock it because I'm the Bobby Heenan, obviously, yeah. comparing myself to wrestling. I'm the Bobby fucking Heenan, and all you egotistical motherfuckers are calling me out for supporting Egghead. I'm simply being a voice of reason. Everybody else is pig piling on Egghead to the point where you yourselves are out here like, oh, not everybody go after Egghead. That's my job. That's my job. <laughs> I like I, I as much as y'all want to play, as much as y'all want to play actual mania, I play with actual crazy people, okay? There's a reason I have a long list of friends that have been on the verge of cancellation. I'm fucked <laughs> in the head, dude. This isn't this isn't a game to me. You're playing chess. They're playing checkers. I'm playing with my feces on the wall of the bathroom. Actual mania. If you just with the shut gum your gum mouth. <laughs> the gum wall. Exactly. <laughs> the gum wall. Exactly. I'm sick. I'm I'm another level. And don't ever, ever forget that. I'm sick. He did. I'm, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's gum chewed by people from all over the world at that wall. <laughs> twice chewed gum. Twice baked potato. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm a gourmet talking and open your ears and it sounds like desperate projecting to me because i obviously made that promo before i was drafted to any team 
It's really just people trying to make facts fit with their narrative. Now, I'm just a man with honest in his name, but I don't think that Team Jeff has anything to worry about from Team Kyle. I mean, the choice seems Team rather- Kyle seems very strong. I honestly, if I really had to bet money on it, I'm really not sure who's going to win. Yeah, like I, I think I, it's I would not. really 50-50 here. I would not be overvaluing your chances It's all right about now. who's more creative and who's more like, entertaining. No, no bias. Like, these, uh, somehow, against all odds, these teams ended up pretty fucking balanced against each other. That's why the draft was the best idea. Instead of just, like, assigning teams, letting them pick um, it was a good Obvious move. Obvious to me. Do people want... Chad's Luchador's mad at you, by the way. Your your uh, your former opponent that defeated you um, a few months ago is saying 50 50. What's up, bro? Look, that fucking that bird is a menace. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet boy Jeff to be the commissioner or do they want shameful, awkward mask wearing sex pest Kyle? I mean, do people even sex pest? Hmm. Uh, did he I, just? Did I he just make a? Did make he a, just use a descriptor uh, about Kyle for every member on Kyle's team? There was mask wearing. There was shameful. There was sex pest. You have to figure out which ones are which. We know the mask luchador is the mask wearer. I don't. I. I are these allegations? Do they need to be investigated. What Kyle was like in actual mania? Because I do. I remember Kyle, and I told you in my promo, Kyle, not to fuck with my match with Shabisky. Now you've objectively delayed it for a month, which means you were going to get a match with Shabisky this month. I needed people for the survivor situation. If you perform very well, just like calm down, buddy. Calm down. It'll fucking happen. Just like let it go. It'll just keep. You got to build my list, and I'll be seeing you soon. And Kyle really exemplified. Oh, I guess Flock of Possums is sex piss because he's sending dicks to people. <laughs> I guess that's what As he his means. Team. I get Each it. Each member in Kyle's I, team. I, is I honestly less don't think. I don't think uh, Honest Red was as bright as I was there, but he'll claim he was. I think he was just calling Kyle all those names, and I attributed that's what I thought to first. the team members. Well, right. I think that's exactly what Honest Red meant. No, I think he's going right. to say he's well. He's going to say I'm right because I'm genius. He's going to attribute my genius to his thought process. We'll we'll see this, of course. Creative than the last. We got a couple of them throwing around slurs, calling me a faggot and an apple, which is a Native American Uncle Tom. Is it? I've never heard. A couple that of them life. are yeah, too broke. This, this. this is when was this when Aunt Jessie did the the apple promo about the the red delicious. And how, 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 that was not I have never that heard was this not in my a, life. A, a, a racist thing. That was a, a brilliant story of telling how someone's wow. thick skin, Honest how Red, someone's thick I'm skin can ruin them. I'm surprised even for you that calling was a out fable. racism. That was a brilliantly told fable. Mania. Wow. If that's what if that's what Honest Red's talking about, kudos for the mental gymnastics on that one. Gold medal on the mental you gymnastics. You like that? You like that? Okay. Maybe I'm just like a basic bitch, but I. I thought that Red Delicious was just a really, really transparent way of trying to say Red's name. <laughs> no, if you want to watch the promo, she gave us a history on the Red's Delicious rise to popularity and it becoming right. its own undoing because as popular as it was, the growers had to increase the growing uh, exponentially so they made a thicker skin around the apple, decreasing from its taste and how someone's thick skin might not be what makes them great, but it might be their own downfall. It was yeah, an Aesop's I, I, fable I brilliantly told. I'm no, you like... barely get it because Marvel didn't put a a fucking toy out for it has to even show their faces <laughs> and one of them is too embarrassed to even use his own voice and that one considers themselves the funny sex pest throwing around unsolicited dick pics like the second coming of anime uh -oh. yeah, yeah, wow. i think it's kind of uh -oh. funny that he doesn't use his own okay. voice uh -oh. like, that's funny that uh -oh. one's funny timing so bad that you're like fuck it I'll just let text-to-speech do the job. But at least they're bringing memes from funny. 20... Yeah, that, that part was 16. hilarious. But one thing I do like about Flocka is that he was the perfect pawn to get all riled up about my draft promo. It's not easy being the king of actual mania. 
I had to put myself out there and put a target on my is back the king still. to change the system for my people. But I led my people to the promised land of Regal Riot. I'm like another kind of king. <laughs> it's not, no, I, 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 you know, I didn't make it that clear. So I'm it's basically fine. the Jesus titty fucking Christ of actual mania. And Flocka is my Judas. His crying about how I'm making the system win-win was betrayal allowed me to make the system better for everybody. And ironically now, there's nothing you can do. You've already made me a martyr. <laughs> so the question yeah. on this red is if your team loses do we do we still count you as undefeated so like you'll be undefeated in singles competition but then there's going to be an asterisk not actually undefeated Ooh, god oh, hold on here's here's the other half of uh honest red's promo Go on, blow the oh, for wow. five minutes well that certainly was something i mean really though nursery rhymes What's next? This is this is his response to Shabisky, by the way. That, Shabisky's that Shabisky. rap that he's yep. calling nursery rhymes. Yep. Shabisky, you're going to beat me in a thumb war? <laughs> For real, though, I think you should leave the uh, cringe rapping to Auntie Jess. See, it's so much better to have you versus Shabisky now team to team, dude. You have to understand, like, it's the taster of it. It's like when... When Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan fought each other uh, mm -hmm. in the Royal Rumble, you know, it's like that. At least she has personality. It's not a singles match. I do think match. it's funny, though. You said your microphone was your weapon of choice, when really it's more like your shine box, Shabisky. So in my last promo, I broke down your playbook in its entirety. It's only four things. And so far... So, by the way, uh, all members of the losing team, aside from members of the losing team who are at the top of the stack rank, if if one of them even gets it, uh, will be sitting out one month. You will not be at the next event. Uh, and that will be Cringecade. And we are accepting uh, an open casting call for Cringecade if anyone wants to apply to participate in that. Uh, so wait, how, do, how does this work? Are we taking like the top two overall regardless of team or is it like the top one from each team that's exempt? So it's it's a stack rank. Um, do you want me to show you the scale? I know I, I I had to create the rules for it, and I'll and I've I I know I'll be able to add it together at the end and like make the decision really quick. But I'll show you how this works. So it, it's like a it's like a curve. It's like grading on a curve. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna look at the overall score. The 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 final. Uh, the final voting is going to be voting on everyone, and, and you get multiple votes, okay? Mm-hmm. So let's say someone on, on – let's say Honest Red gets first place, okay? Let's say he gets the most votes, but he's tied with someone from the other team. That doesn't count. Now, if another person from Honest Red's team also gets that, and no one else from the other team gets it, then they score 25 points. But for every member on their team they stack above that without the other team answering, they get an additional five. All right, I'm going to have to trust you on this because I think I've been drinking too much to follow this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it just trust Ben's got it all worked out. I do. I like, sit down. Ex explaining it to the audience is a waste of time. I think. Yeah, it really is. Like I had to figure because it's multiple votes. I had to think of every possible tie and how it wouldn't just like turn everything upside down. I'm like, if one team, uh, if one team gets two people in first place. They win no matter what, like almost no matter what. Yeah. So I, I needed to make two people tying for first from the same team only equal a, like a small bonus. But then if the other team gets up in the first place, like if, if enough people tie for first, they'll like negate each other, basically. Seth looks says, I love that they're so bored with red that we're talking about math now. Well, Thank you. have done nothing but confirm that <laughs> I was totally right. And you've got nothing. Seth looks like but a box you're kind of on the sidelines talking shit about red. You could join actual mania if you want. You could jump yeah, in the fucking should. game. Like, I'm going to defend red yeah. here. At least red's on the fucking show. 
of the same four dog shit arguments. Hey, but at least you shined them but up real nice. Never with mind, that never mind. You do donate more to us than Honest Red does. <laughs> so I'm uh, set, your, 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 your opinion's good right. here. Your opinion's good yeah, here, Seth. you get a pass. Right. <laughs> Microphone, Shabisky. What a solid start. The classic troll BS of projecting how upset you are onto me. But I'm not the one throwing out homophobic slurs and racist narratives because let's you be honest. You literally used the F word in your last promo. <laughs> Bisky, that's all you've really got. Your rap starts with self filating BS. Honest Red, happy Thanksgiving, buddy. <laughs> Wait, Ben, is that a racism that you just did? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Tactic number one moves on to you calling me a bitch. I mean, let's be honest, that's tactic number three. Nobody takes what? that shit seriously. Some dumb shit about you taking my crown or taking my belt. Well, that was never a thing. Tactic two. And a whole lot of desperate tactic four. The bigotry. You a straight I like, white man. I like how uh, Honest Red's Fun Police is making everybody in the chat scream out A cab. <laughs> Just straight calling me a queer native man a faggot. And, uh, oh, excuse me. Not respecting my boundaries is extremely rapey. And <laughs> Whoa! This is exactly why you're a dick rider. Because you're spreading this false victim narrative for your pal, which you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Just that, oh, Pippi told me it's true, so uh, let me ride that dick a little harder. The reality is your pal did a racism on his channel and wanted to quietly apologize. At I like I like it when you accuse somebody of being racist using did a racism. Honest Red, there's a reason why you're here. You're you're good. You're good. I like it. After I was critical of him and started crying like a victim after I told him he should use his uh platform to do a retraction. I didn't demand any apology. I made simple criticisms, and an apology was offered, but uh, it was a two-faced apology that was quickly retracted. One of the things Red does in his promos and his videos is he almost makes us feel like we're watching like someone on the level of a Trumpster Bob or a Gale, because yeah. there is this level of like belief in Honest Red that doesn't quite match <laughs> up with reality. Like, it's very, very well done. I like it. I, I feel like I need one of those boards with the fucking red string going everywhere to, like, follow this <laughs> promo because it's, like, all over the place. I like it. And it was clear I wasn't simply going all to I'm saying is I just allow him to back in my car if that was a promo, all right? He's got, an, he's got an antagonist style What's going. he going to use for the main show is what I'm wondering. Oh, he, we, we saw him do the Egghead uh, video. It was very well done. The wine drinking deliver. was my favorite video of he's, his. He's, he's got a ton of uh, options. Yeah. I would not be surprised. He is undefeated. I'm, I'm not taking anything away from him. I would not be surprised if Honest Red's team loses and Honest Red wins the overall vote and 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 leaves himself technically undefeated the number one like you add 25 percent to your team's score if you get first place overall and no one from the opposite team ties you that being said that's not that's not me talking about the rest of the team in any sort of negative way it would just be interesting if it came out that way not that it would i very I, well i'm not I don't know that I believe necessarily that Honest Red has got the shit in the bag to win overall. Oh, I, I, I There's didn't a mean lot that of strong just, competition for that. That would slot. be that would be a very interesting scenario if it played out that way. Honest Red obviously would have to deliver a high quality video, which I'm saying he's capable he of. Could. I, he could. He definitely capable has of the it. potential, but he's not. It's not guaranteed by any means. <laughs> Add mouth me on his platform and not take personal responsibility for it. But you would know that if you did your own research and didn't just believe whatever Daddy Pipmunk tells you. And you've Oof. been spreading that bullshit for years without even bothering to look into it. And now you're out here looking like a jackass, spreading a bunch of bullshit that's not true. All because you wanted to ride that dick a little harder, Shabisky. Yep, Shabisky, Pitmunk did ask you to be on the wood. And how did that happen? What happened to the last guy? Oh, that's right. 
I outed that sex pest and made room for you to even take up that position. He started talking only fancy because badger. you happened to be... I thought he was talking about the guy that passed away that was part of the show. No, no, no. That was, I was like, holy fuck. It was a nice guy. Yeah, I, I thought he was about to say what happened to the other no, guy. He was, I, I can only remember Bulinator. So no. I'm like, holy fuck, is he about to... Is he threatening Shabisky's life? No. Fancy Auntie Badger Boo. used to be on the show at one point around last time jared self-destructed let's see what else did you do oh you made a video upset because i pointed out how dumb and lazy you are how like it wasn't going it's a promo it's no it's, it's not, not a promo as doug, as doug in the fan a chat document. says this isn't a promo it's a documentary <laughs> what the fuck you're supposed to just gas people up for the show, not, like, do the show this seven is honest times at before it and He wants to make sure everybody goes to sleep good tonight. Like, I thought that was common knowledge. Like, at the time, I was right to be critical of you because the only submissions were done by your fans. And the way that you respond to this is to prove me right by showing that the submission that uh, I was talking about was done by your fans. Good going, Shabisky. The context went completely over your head. Ben <laughs> Hawkeye, I'm sorry I referred to pleb chat as fan chat. Everybody right now who's in the, the pleb chat, in the pleb chat, that's stolen valor. Fan chat is on the screen. They pay good it's money, true. $1 and above. Patrons there. get access to the fan chat. There. You there guys, you guys could way. be there with them if you, if you paid the price, if you paid the cost. It's just a dollar. The superior we chat. We don't even get the whole dollar, too, by the way. When you pledge one dollar, we get like a <laughs> fraction of that dollar. But that being said, uh, pleb chat. Uh, I, <laughs> there's a reason why I read you guys more than them. Okay? I love you more. I'll tell you what, though. If you donate to the stream labs, then then it's okay that you're in the pleb chat. <laughs> Yes, you get, so a, we're at, you get a pass that way. We're at six fifty right now, and you did that shot, right? I, I yeah, I think so. Did he not give whatever. us that shot? I'm pretty sure I did. What the oh, fuck? Whatever. I'll do another one. <laughs> fuck it. Why what the not? fuck? Ma yeah, Magic is doing another shot. Everybody else, <laughs> All right. chuck another fifty onto the train. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> like All right, whatever. How fuck easy it. Wants to talk him into it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Magicus right. is not a scammer. Let's get through this together. We're all in this together. He said there was no way for him to <laughs> prove that your that uh, submissions were how, fan made. How is the in my response, how is the honest red promo really right now being akin to like a mass tragedy? We're like we're all in this together. We'll get through this. We'll get through this promo. I said it was nine minutes we're, before we started. We're honest, strong. We'll get through this promo. <laughs> now I will because he'll probably mention this. He gave me half of this yesterday and sent me to play. Told me to play the other half. Of course he will. He's, today. he's not. He's not wrong. He. Well, I mean, he's he's not. It's still slow. two five minute promos. He's not slow. He will. He will come come at you. He'll come at you till the very end. He like creates all these weird conspiracy theories that don't exist, and then it's like I was right about that. It's like what? What are you talking about? That's what I respect about him. <laughs> yeah, it's because he learned it by watching you. <laughs> it's called mental alchemy, okay? We make something <laughs> out of nothing. It's, it's it's nigh impossible in this world to make something out of nothing. Guys like Honest Red and Truthful the Fridge, we know how to Truthful do it. Truthful the Fridge. <laughs> was to, to say that you were too dumb to think about re-uploading the submission before sending it in. And here you are dry snitching on yourself doing exactly that. I never said that you asked your fans to make it. Quite frankly, I'm surprised you have any fans at all. Oh Honestly, my God. I'm glad it upset you so much and that it lit a fire under your ass and that you're trying your very best with your slam poetry. I got to pause real quick. Slam poetry. I got to pause. Sorry to deviate from Honest Red. <laughs> I really uh, want to get through this. I, I, I got to pause. Magicus has multiple times now like went to burp off of camera and these wretched yeah. Ralphs, I, I, don't, I don't know how loud they are if you would have just done them regularly. He's burping. Yeah, but the, these wretched Ralphs are, are, are loud. They're bellowing. I just want to point them out. <laughs> He's Preci burping. I appreciate you trying to. How many chunks are in that verb? You try. You there, try there was one where like a he little burped. Bit. Yeah, you're but. trying to tase on day your way away from the mic, <laughs> but we're still getting a little bit of that chocolate rain, yeah. my dude. 
Hey, Flock yeah. of Awesome has a good point. If I don't finish it, Honest Red will cry. Please, let's get through this. And I don't know who you're trying to fool, Shabisky. You're not active in the DP Discord, and you're not that articulate. True. You just happen to have screenshots of fair, me yeah. and Ben arguing over shit that you don't even understand. Like, we could all see Ben's hand up your ass manipulating your mouth, you little puppet. I but I guess not. that's just what coattail riding gets you. And I guess that's the yeah, kind his of hand, hand Your hand does not need to go up his ass. ass. He has a little polstering that you can just use instead. So. If Ben's hand was up Shavisky's ass, it would be for pleasure, not for politics. You get a three minute and 15 second promo in the draft when everybody else only got two minutes flat. I knew it. I knew you were sitting there timing it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you would do that. <laughs> what a crybaby. You are such a fucking crybaby. Nothing more honest than holding people to their time constraints. That's what I mean by <laughs> special access, extra protection. Perks of It'll be like, Ben knew it because he so did it on purpose. I was like, oh no, like, when I played it, I think there were other ones that were longer than that, though, too. We played more of Honest Red's promo because he had Egghead at the end. Right. The Egghead thing. Yep. We gave yeah. him an attempt at a buffer, but we'd already seen that video. I was like, okay, we, we've seen the video before. We're going to watch a clip, a second of it here. But we went over two minutes with Red himself. Yeah. But but I understand, Red, your people, your people, oh my God. okay, your people. People only show when other people get advantages, and not when you do. Your that's bigotry. why. That's why I appreciate liberals. And a dick to ride. He's not even liberal. He would. He's what not the liberal. Fuck does that even mean? He's not even liberal. I said your people. I was talking about him being a liberal. Uh, he's not a liberal. He's a liberal. No, no. He's like a leftist. He's like le far further left than liberal. Oh. I'm pretty sure he's like a communist. How See, far left is he of me? Because I'm like pretty sure left than you. I'm pretty sure I'm a progressive. Is he a progressive? He's I, a further I think left he's than still that. more left than you are. Yes, mm. I think he is. Mm. Absolutely. Now all the hand holding will fall away when I crush you in an Indian death match because that's what you deserve, Shabisky. I just don't know how we're going to do an Indian death match. I, honestly, I don't know how we're going to set I, that I, up. I want to know. Are you guys really going to kill each other? I, I, like, well, are we going to fly both you guys out to Seattle to like murder each other? Is that we? what's going on? <laughs> I get, we? You know what? We get to say the word Indian, and he won't get offended because he called it that, Indian Is, death are match. Are we just going to send bottles of like the hottest curry we can find to their house, and they got to chug them in a video? Well, is, it that kind, is it that kind of Indian? Yeah, we could make it a another like weapon match. Double no, the weapons. Let's figure out what on his yeah. red hat in mind first, because this is obviously coming from a place right. of knowledge. And so, we have to talk to our our chat. Our, I, I, I want to tell you, my body right now is sending me the I'm in danger message. So uh please I don't know if we if we uh I have to do three more shots if we hit the goal. So. Time for a tip train, everybody. Tip train, <laughs> tip train. Let's make them drink all three of them in a row. I we're, oh, God, we're getting no, through I these promos yeah. no matter what. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to pull out and spray one on the tips um so it's getting <laughs> heated between the ladies uh oh yeah yeah it is hi it's just bro looking like trash but hey you know what we roll with it and here is my handsome squidward <laughs> anyway i just wanted to tell everybody hey and vote for the right team vote for jeff holiday's team you know you know it's your girl she's here you got rat lord you got honest red you got buff daddy diesel you got you got dr piss come on with a name like that you gotta vote for it is jeff. a good name you know you know and you're gonna get you're going to get a luchador who's too much of a pussy to show his face. You got Shabisky, who's just Ben's, Ben's piss holder. You got <laughs> Flock of Awesome, who doesn't show his face. He uses um, a voice modif modifier to uh, hide his face. Uh, let's see. Uh, you have Grandma, I mean, Auntie. Jesse. Whoa! Oh. Hold on. Gr did she say Grandma Jesse? It seemed so. like she made a mistake because she corrected herself. Afterwards. Oh! Oh my God! Holy shit! Um. I don't... Who else? 
I can't remember. I think that's all. But anyway, the most important is me. So, hi! <laughs> and just have a wonderful day, okay? I don't need to say anything else. All right. Vote for the right team. Vote for Jeff team. Vote for Jeff Holiday's team. Because we're fucking amazing. There you go. Uh, and I think... Oh, here we go. You know, Jess, bro, I feel like bitches be slipping a little bit too much motherfucking tongue around here right now. Talking about fucking... I told you it was getting heated between them. And calling me Grandma Jesse, Bitch, I embrace my crone, all right? <laughs> also, if I okay. was a grandma, I would be Mima Jesse. so get it fucking right, all right? Time to cut the Holy crap. shit. Those are some big skizzers. Why would you have scissors that big? Why? For cutting like Dude. fabric or something? I I, Those I don't are know. Some fucking Mima scissors if I ever saw yeah. any. Um Oh shit. <laughs> it it escalated. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm a cocktail kind of girl. <laughs> what do you think that means? If you could interpret like uh -huh. a I'm assuming that that's <laughs> a malt liquor in a bottle. Yeah, so it's the Jack Daniels malt yeah. like flavored beverage. I've so had a couple of those. She's suggesting in my day. that she's not as impressed. She's a cocktail kind because of because she's a prefer a cocktail yeah. over this malt beverage. That could be what she's saying. If someone told you that, what well, how would you take that? Or or, the, or that's that's what you mean? Literally, you take it quite literally and no interpretation. I, whatsoever. I would never interpret anything uh, without consent. <laughs> and then once I had consent, I would be in charge of the fucking drinks. All right. So, Aunt Jessie, thank you so much for that song. I fucking love Sublime. I love the little thing you were playing. So, so central, so nice. Thank you for, for uh, <laughs> hollering out at my OnlyFans, you know. She does, she does some foot some foot magic over on OnlyFans, oh. I guess. You know, you saw some oh. like she gave us a preview. So see this, you know, everybody does. Everybody wants to see my little feet. People want to lick my feet. But and just we have something in common. Surprisingly, not just our names, but I am actually. A tarot card reader myself. How funny. How funny that is. I don't I don't do it professionally like you, you know, doing your little live shows and, you know, charging three dollars, you know, for little Whoa, uh, okay. <laughs> I hope everyone can be cool and friends. Like it it, it it it's entertaining when it gets dirty, but I hope everyone can be cool after it's over. That, nope. that's the one thing I ask. I want enemies. No, no, we don't yeah. want that. I we want, want everyone bitter, to... hardcore enemies. No, well, you can you can mediate it then. I want, when it gets I want all this weird server. And... I want this server split down the middle. How about your server? Uh, no, my server is for Pokemon and Magic uh, cards. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> you don't get to I choose. Say, after my match with the Luchador, I'll say like that. Our fucking uh, beef is over for the sure, time being. I'm going to be impartial be. here. And you so, move on um, to the next one. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah you have to be turn it on and off, you, right? Yeah, That's yeah. It. Reader. But, you know, these cards just resonated to me. So I hope that you take, you know, you know, the advice of these cards. So uh, you know, you know, maybe maybe not this time. Maybe Is this the Morgan Greer tarot? Anyone who's familiar with tarot, is this the Morgan Greer tarot deck right here? You know, I think it's the uh, David uh, Allen you Greer can, tarot uh, deck. <laughs> beg for forgiveness when I uh, Men on film your uh, your beliefs and uh, don't get so sad about it. You know, I know I'm a heartbreaker. I've had a lot of exes in my life. You know, they they know oh, no. I'm a bitch. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, it's a bad it's a bad rider. Wait, okay, it's a bad round of tic tac toe when you've had. Uh, so many X's and not enough O's. Maybe try harder with uh, the readings, and and uh, maybe maybe you'll get more money. Um, you know your foundation of belief is really crumbling, thinking that your team's going to win. Wow! It's you know, I with this card, I I wouldn't count on it. You know, try a little harder. Don't stay up thinking about me too much. You know, 
I know it's hard with this face. You want to just look at it and talk about it all day, but... So this is actual tarot reading right here that she's is doing. It? This is, uh, people pay big money for this. We're just getting it for free. Impressive. Honey, I belong to another. I can't be with you. And, uh, you know, when I steal this victory and just, you know, I'm picking up, you know, I'm picking up everything you got and I'm taking it. <laughs> Smarty says this you know, is I'm the Russell Greer like Tarot. That. And it's Jesse, <laughs> Jesse Pearl says uh, it's uh, the the Smith writer, uh, Walter, Walter uh, Smith, Smith. Smith writer Walt Wait Smith writer Wait is that it? Smith is the artist. Yeah, there's I don't know. There's like several early day tarot decks, um, and then there's there's the original one that's out there still too. Hmm. Roger Wilco says it's the Helen Keller deck, and I'm huh, really she drew it. Of that. It's just like a squiggly line. Yes. <laughs> anyway, Grandma, Mama, you have a good day. Have a happy Thanksgiving. You know, get yourself a drink. Is that bottle chipping against her teeth? <laughs> that sounds dangerous. I chipped my tooth on a beer bottle back in the day. I chipped my tooth on a fucking gun. And fuck it. <laughs> Why did you have a gun <laughs> in your mouth? Battle cam. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That, what you know, a weird what? thing. To, you know what? Uh, as an aside, the, the, the people in our audience that are interested in tarot, um, I went to the world's largest bookstore in Portland, Oregon, a few days after I witnessed the murder that I was talking about. <laughs> and you and bought a tarot deck, and the death card was right in the front. I didn't buy and it. And you were like, a little late. <laughs> no, I, 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 I just noticed that they had, they had a giant cabinet. It's like literally this bookstore is insane. I think it's called Powell. Powell's Books. Yeah, Powell's. Or something. Jesse Pearl LeBray is saying Powell. Yeah, yeah. I went there. You know, it's like four floors. It's gigantic. Oh, Jesse. And even Powell. like lower floors. And they had like a giant cabinet of tarot cards. Like a, it, it, you have to get it unlocked. Probably because people steal shit. Um, yeah. It's crazy. Giant cabinet. Hold on. Is this? Oh, hold on. I think this is something else. Yeah. Uh oh, there we go. The only sitting Damn. down is you after I break your hip and put you in the retirement home. Whoa, yeah, yeah. It was getting dirty in the chat for and a little then while. Then Auntie Jesse says, "Have I got news for you, dude? I'm actually an ambulatory wheelchair user with severe spine issues, so you don't need to break my hip or anything. It's cool. Okay, let me finish your little video here." Damn. And Je and and Jess Bro says, "Well, makes it easier then." <laughs> It's dirty. It's dirty. I didn't think it would get so like personal. Hi. There's a cute puppy. DP audience. Aww. I'm Auntie Jessie. And this is my lovely little attack dog, Zelda. Why don't you go and run along and play now, Zelda, huh? Good girl. Now, uh, yesterday, you know, I put out that cute you know, video, cause I'm out here making promos and shit every day, cause I put in effort for my uh, winning team. But anyways, uh, so um, you know, I made that little song about Jess Bro, and I'm like, bro, you know, it hurt. It, it hurts my heart to have to come at you, bro, cause you know, you did get one thing wrong though in your response to me. Um, you know. We have something in common, our names. Not really, because my full name is Jesse, not Jessica. So I think your name is a little more heavy on the Ika. Now I want to. I want to also, you know, just say straight up, like I don't know anything about you, so I had to go after you for the fucking egg popping and stuff. You know, sorry, like you know you. you you put out a lot of videos with your feet in them. I gotta do, I gotta do something, right? You know, it's kind of like you're, you know, picking on my age and stuff, which, you know, okay, that's fuck, bro. Like I said, I embrace my Chrome, but here's here's the thing, bro. Is uh, I think it's a little uh, well, you threatened to break my hip over there in the discord and like i know that you know we're supposed to be like you know uh 
throwing down the gauntlets and shit. You know what I mean? That's, We're that's a gauntlet. To, you know, out here okay. doing kayfabe and all that shit. But talking about putting me in a fucking nursing home and talking about, <laughs> you know. You have a matching set. I'm going to break my hip. Uh, I just, I just want to to mention that. By the way, you, you know, because I I had mentioned this to you in response last night when you when you threatened violence against me, I said. Um, <laughs> so those weren't just gauntlets; a- those were brakes for the wheelchair she was putting on her head. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that your song, Billy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Queen. That was also the one that Kyle did the video of. Unfortunately, it? yes. Should we play that? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I'm already sitting down in my wheelchair. <laughs> You're not the only one with fancy footwork. wheelchair user i have some severe spine problems i'm actually getting surgery very soon to help some things so that i can walk and stand a little longer than i do but um so 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 let me get this straight you're you you want to you know break my hip what is this? I didn't think we were like actually threatening violence on people. You know, I, I thought this was like a, you know, polite, this was a threat on America. Uh, you know, cheeky banter. But now I realize that you know maybe you get a little drunk and violent. You might need some. You help can't that prove bit. that um, in a court of law. Wait, no, she's not talking just about me. Suggest to you <laughs> that. Um, I put a I put a question in in a poll in the chat and there's an undecided uh option and it's almost it's so close between the three. It's so amazing. <laughs> Team Holiday is slightly winning over the other two, but you it's know, I'm from San Bernardino. I will kick your ass from my fucking wheelchair. Who was the cat woman in there? At the... Yeah, there was like a cat woman. That's the cat woman of yeah, San Bernardino. Anyway. I'll go in a nursing home as long as you go under some sort of conservatorship. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, Things I liked about this promo. I like the gauntlets. I like the I'll kick your ass from my wheelchair. Things I didn't like. The Christmas tree is up before fucking Thanksgiving. That's that's a sin. <laughs> well, I think it's kind of unfair that the, the women have kind of been pit against each other. Like they could be going after I anybody. Would, that was not my intention. But but now because of because of the way things got picked in the draft, because Jeff picked a woman after a woman was picked, right? Yep. So he it, was, did. He, he, it was just with the picks, it was in the level. Now now it's turned into Betty White versus Betty Ford. Um. Oh shit! I get diarrhea every time I watch a Rat Lord video. I love it. Team Jeffistan. Damn. Uh, oh shit. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, yes. It is precisely as I anticipated. Oh, I didn't hear you come in. Hit your boy, the Star Spangled Luchador, and I'm back here in my garage <laughs> analyzing the data, facts, and, uh, Various informations that I acquired from acting actual mania 
Commissioner Jeffra Hollandaise's computer database mainframe. And I analyzed all the information he had on the members of the competing team. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's fucking JJ and Shabisky, isn't he? Honest Red. No, that's not Shabisky. Oh, who is it? Who is it? It's, no, yeah, Shabisky's on the other team. Yeah. We got we got Dr. Piss, we got Big Diesel, we got Honest Red, we got Jess Bro, and, and that's Rat Lord? I get yeah, I guess so. As Rat Lord? Yeah. Okay. And I found something quite in common. The one thing virtually all of them share, and that's talking trash about each other. Let's take a look at what I found. We'll start with Team Captain Big D, the Diesel Man. What did he have to say about Honest Red? He is the Goku. I happen to be the Vegeta, and you are Yamcha. So just accept it, okay? I agree with one thing. <laughs> Honest Red may or may not be a Yamcha, but Big D, the Diesel Man, you are truly a Vegeta. And by that I mean, every time Vegeta thinks he got strong enough to win a fight, he ultimately gets his ass kicked. It's, it's a real shame. They should uh, treat that character better in that uh, cartoon show. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna take a look at Rat Lord and what he had to say about his teammate, Jess Bro. This can't be Shani for Christ. Who dog is? That's pretty harsh. I wouldn't want to be likened to nobody like no. Shanity. Who else? Who else in the history of the Earth has brought up Shanny for Christ and then pulled their pants down? It's G-Man and Rev. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's the whole list. <laughs> I don't know what happened there with Rat Lord. I hope he's okay. <laughs> but. Jess bro struck back. While you're sitting there looking like an anorexic Mexican Hitler. Me she <laughs> Me Mexican? Me Mexican Hitler. And then I swear to God, she just did a bong rip out of that cat's ass. <laughs> Mexican? That's why she can't pronounce Mexican. <laughs> She's off of duty. hard sometimes. I love it. Cut her some slack. It's I love it. <laughs> No, Especially she, if you she, drink Jack Daniels, it gets harder. She's an actual <laughs> mania participant. We she's, cut zero slack. Okay, that's true. That is fair. Yeah, I right. shit on everybody equally and some people unequally because this is actual <laughs> mania. That's that's fair. Revoke all the slack. All right. <laughs> I don't know if that's racist or not. Your boy, the Star Spangled Luchador, doesn't see color. He's so devoid of racism. Uh, I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> uh, moving along. We got Honest Red himself. Now, Honest Red, he ain't never talked too much about the other folks he ended up on a team with. Fuck off, fucking cunt! Because he doesn't really talk too much about any other folks. Oh, Honest Red here only cares about one. No kayfabe here, just pure genuine hate. Yeah, yeah, the actual mania part of the Discord is the most entertaining part of the Discord. It's insane. And Egghead gets in the... It's, it's constant battles. The battles never end in there. It's crazy. <laughs> it's the thing, it seems. Antagonizing Egghead. On and on. On and on he goes. Like a wear-worn trail. You've walked a million times before. Up and down, back and forth, on and on, and says it's never gonna end. He says he's moving on, but come on, we all know the truth. <laughs> Last and definitely least, the final member of Jeffra Hollandaise's team, <coughs> Doctor Piss. I like Doctor Piss. Okay? Yeah, he's great. Sing on. Uh, I, don't, I, don't even, uh, I don't think he's really a doctor. <laughs> so I don't think he's a doctor either, but I'm not going to question uh, him. Doesn't stop him from taking my money every month. Uh, <laughs> he's something. For some reason, my insurance does cover him, so... I'm just here to let you know. 
Well, that's all I got to say about them for now. So remember, boys and girls out there in drunken peasants land, say your prayers, take your vitamins, and always remember to drink your vinegar. <laughs> oh, Lord, doggies! Why is he drinking vinegar? <laughs> Look at this. Greetings, Big Diesel here, actual main egghead. Egghead Zabisky, 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 Egghead. Damn, dude. Damn. Do not fuck with Dusty the Cockatiel, okay? That guy is a fucking just ridiculous challenge. Why is he drinking vinegar again? Is this? Am I missing something, or is this? Is this just? I don't know. It's probably a bird thing. <laughs> Team Holiday is very slightly favored to win in the public poll. Unfortunately, for most of you who are not patrons, you will not get to vote unless you are patrons. So you should sign up. Patreon.com slash DP. Have you ever taken a swig of vinegar? Monday. You're taking a swig of vinegar? Yeah. I've never I done that. Yep. It's impossible to take a swig of vinegar and then not say, Woo, doggies! Woo, doggies! Every time. I do believe that, yeah. Every time. And here we are, folks. The go home episode of Actual Mania. Chat, it's been entirely too long since I took a shot. Help a brother out. Help him out. Tip train. Hmm. Here's Egghead. Smarty. I think I believe I figured it out on why you need Brett Keane's assistance. Why you need the manatee's assistance. I was so damn wondering <laughs> why exactly do you need the manatee? What? Egghead just added so damn into I was wondering for, <laughs> for no reason. I was so damn wondering. <laughs> He's a he talks like a cowboy. He grew up listening to a guy who owns a like cowboy museum. How to, like that's how he learned how to talk. Yeah. And he's like a fucking millennial talking like this. And he literally blows up like Yosemite Sam at, at any cartoon in character. What? In tarnation. <laughs> any cartoon character he comes in contact with, he's a fucking Yosemite Sam blow up. Yep. I love it, Egghead. Why exactly do you need Brett Keane's assistant? Because for some reason, for me, none of the pieces were coming together true here. But I don't think he me. needs his assistant. I think he just wants it. Hit it me like it's funny. Mjolnir hitting me upside the head and smashing my fucking brains in. You need the assistance of Brett Keane to bring down actual mania from the inside out. It's not really about defeating me. You're already one zero and one against me. It's not about really bringing down me. It's about bringing down DP. Whoa. And the show. really is a shame when you think of it. But besides all that, my video's already uploaded. My video's already submitted. You want to play revisionist history? You want to sit there and act like you know me? You Thank don't you. know shit about me. But I, oh, I know some shit about you because I, oh, I did some research. And oh, I found something that's kind of interesting about little old you, John. And hey, remember, back in your original promo against me, back when you first started making promos against me, you said I could name you whatever the fuck I wanted to. So guess what? That's what I'm going to do. Come actual mania survivor situation on Cyber Monday. I'm going to name you exactly what I want to. You fucking bitch. Oh my god! Whoa. That's the best egghead promo Whoa. ever! Whoa. I gotta say, this is definitely up there for egghead. That's the best uh, promo egghead's ever done. Did egghead threaten to reveal something a little interesting? Yeah. That's right. I like yeah, yeah! yeah. 
I like the subtle detail that his eyes are very red right now. Are they red? They look kind of, yeah. I can't I can't not see those beautiful blues in the in, in the eye there. Look at those beautiful blue eyes. Egghead's eyes are gorgeous. I'll have them one day. You say that a lot. I'll have them one day. It's kind of crazy. They'll be mine. Hello, Egghead, actual this is mania the energy fan. you need to keep short, sweet, and to the fucking point. Hello, actual mania fans. King Sicko here. The end is near, and I yeah, promise to make Billy's video. Boys. Y'all like the small well, zoom there, boys? Well, that, was, that was a good zoom, yeah. I, I don't know. We want wide shots. That's what Smarty and I are calling for. Who's this sweet boy? Has come true. Prepare yourself for the dick section occurring Monday. No. There will be dicks. So no. many dicks you will have no choice but to pleasure yourself ferociously no. causing a worldwide DP bukake. Please non sickos no. beware. <laughs> non sickos beware. Yeah, he said. Flag no. opossum. Flag opossum. Fuck sickos. I'm Did you catch that cut to the cum bucket? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a good detail. Uh oh, here's the court of owls. Whoa, what? Hello, drunken peasants. Ben, Billy, our soon-to-be former commissioner, Jeff Holliday, and our soon-to-be new commissioner, Mr. Kyle. The Court of Owls has a new person on trial today. It is Mr. Diesel. Ah, uh, Mr. Diesel, we've had an eye on you for quite some time now. Quite some time indeed, Mr. Diesel. And what are you on trial for from the Court of Owls? Quite simply, for forsaking your duty of being a fat. Much like our gracious host, Mr. William B the Fridgeberry, we have a preference, or should I say a bias, towards the fats. Is he, yeah! calling, is he calling Diesel a fat trader? I, I don't... I think he's calling Diesel a fat. I think that's what he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah, I think Look, so. He's won my heart as a fellow fat, okay? <laughs> and since you have forsaken your fatdom, the Court of Owls has put you on trial. And now, what is your punishment when you lose, when we kick your asses in survival situation? You must gain all that fat back. And then twerk <laughs> that fat ass on camera <laughs> you hear him laugh for a second there. <laughs> so says the court of owls damn the the gauntlet trial adjourned <laughs> today on trial is mr honest red mm. mr honest red has been a friend of the court yes he has however he is on trial today and what is he on trial for well that is for harassing and slandering a mr shabisky who this court has ruled is indeed the greatest. Not only that, but making stipulations and committing conspiracy against actual mania. Mr. Honest Red, you are found guilty of doing such a heinous crime, of rigging the match so even if you lose, which you will, you still win in some way. So, yes, for this right. slander, libel, for this harassment, and for committing conspiracy, what has the court ruled as your punishment? Your punishment is death. Wait, <laughs> wow, that's harsh. Yep, it's... <laughs> sorry, it's, it's wrong a lot worse That's for Mr. Headsley. No, no. Your punishment, Mr. Red, is far, far worse. Worse than death? Your punishment is to sit on your bed, filming yourself in a wife beater, eating a ten-piece bucket of KSC, and posting <laughs> it for all to see. So says the Court of Owls. Can I get the death penalty too then? Can I get the extra get, he's gonna get manateed. Can I get the extra crispy death, please? Mr. Dr. Piss. <laughs> it has come to the awareness of the court that Mr. Piss's medical degree of pissology <laughs> is a lie. Yes, indeed, but... Mr. Dr. Piss is not a doctor. Surprising, I know. He seems so qualified. Wait, why is he holding an so, owl wrench? What is his punishment That's for an committing owl and wrench. I get it. That's the court can just put his glasses on. Let's see now. On my notes. Yeah, that's not going to work. 
<clears throat> in my little book, it looks like his punishment is taking a bath in his own piss. And he can no longer practice the study of pissology. I'm so sorry, Dr. Piss, but that's what happens when you commit a fraud. I'm not sure Try he hasn't already done that. <laughs> my mom just texted me. And while we're explaining this Dr. Piss situation and the piss punishment, <laughs> she just texted me and she said this matchup is a matchup of piss and vinegar. Yeah. I didn't. I it didn't, was a vinegar shot. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that at all. Damn. I really, I, I get the feeling that Dr. Piss has already done his punishment as part of his undergrad. <laughs> Could happen. Notice the rat in the owl's mouth? Yeah. Ooh. That's true. It's a good detail. Just then, police uh, officers in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, were asking people to be on the lookout for a man who robbed a store. And I think, yeah, I think we do we do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. pumpkin spice makes everything nice. Yeah, they made uh, pumpkin spice tampons. <laughs> Tampax has come out with pumpkin spice tampons. I got two slogans for it. You can't okay. Go, uh, this is the guy that uh, they wanted, is they wanted people in Pennsylvania to be out on the lookout for. for his dog. <laughs> I, I don't know who made that, but that was in there too. Holy crap. And that's I all of keep, that. I'll keep a vigilant eye out for this person. A, a, a vigilant eye out, even? Yeah, a vigilant. Do you remember Jim Ass coming on to the vigilant I, Christian Mario? And he's like, hi, I want to talk to the vigilant Christian. <laughs> Yes, that's what I love, Jim Ass. He's yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was a uh, there was a Jim Ass compilation. There's there's two there's a two parter Jim Ass compilation dropped on the um, Best of DP channel. If you guys, I'm pretty sure. I think I watched most of it because I, I usually watch them whenever they get dropped. Yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, Best of DP out. channel is great. You Best should subscribe of DP. to it. Absolutely. We are gonna um, we're gonna move into something uh, a little more fun. Let's do a tip train. Go Come on, guys, uh, send mm. us a Thanksgiving miracle. It's true. It's already Thanksgiving for some of you right now. Those you yeah, it is for me. are balls deep in turkey and cranberry right now. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving with the segment we're most thankful for. Yo, safe please. Let's go find the skater, put a bullet in this fucking head. Oh, you like me now? I'm the only critter with the good kind of good, yeah, That's because Jesus. Right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Send All us right. some Fireball Z. <laughs> Fireball Z. <laughs> Judas Priest. <laughs> yeah, arthritis. That's real painful stuff and makes doing activities pretty dang tough. I feel it in my wrists, I feel it in my knees. Arthritis is a systematic inflammatory disease. There's two main types that you just can't avoid, osteoarthritis <laughs> and rheumatoid. So let's start with the most common one. But don't get it twisted, neither are any fun. Osteoarthritis will wear and tear at your joints. This is proof that like people are like, oh, I'll just make a wrap, that's easy. Cartilage. This can cause pain and stiffness, but that's only part of it. Happy Increased Thanksgiving, friction. sweet boys. Thank you, Drunken Thank Mechanic Raymond. We appreciate I, it. Thank you. Whoever uh, does something like this, like, karma's going to get you. <laughs> Don't think you just get away with this shit. And we are $6.66 away from $666.66. Should it be illegal? Cents. This shouldn't be illegal. It should be... Comp this, this should be, like, hated as much as we hate child predators. Really? Cringe rap should be right up there with child predators. Yeah, that, that's fair. We should be like, boo, fuck you. Quit this boo, shit. Boo, run for... Wait a minute. Hold on a sec. I think I've done cringe rap before. I don't know if it's in my best interest to agree with you right now. Well, as long as you haven't done the other one, it's Wasn't not that Wasn't that part bad. of, like, an actual mania thing, though? It was part of multiple actual manias, That's actually. That's the good part of it, because you were like... It was like a callback <laughs> to the show. ...of the joint is the main manifestation. Bone grinding on bone causing local degeneration. It's caused by overuse of a joint and possibly genetic. It can really make your life hectic. Symptoms include pain, tenderness, and her. smelling. All She's of like, which are going to leave you yelling. You might think you hear people munching. No, nope, that's this. This uh, video um, ho in the background Aww. played Mark on Step by Step. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever watched 
TGIF back in the day. Oh. Just your bones crunching. My neck, my back, my joints are whack. My neck, my back, my joints are whack. My neck, my back. What a solid my joints hook. are whack. Now let's discuss rheumatoid and get back to the point. Rheumatoid arthritis is inflammation at the joint. Symptoms include fatigue, weight loss, stiffness, <laughs> weakness, and general point joint pain. I would pain. just like to so point out, treatment. I did if you not pain, have the headache until I started listening to may rupture. Erosion of the bones at the joint could occur. At the joint could occur. The, uh... This guy is, is bringing on alcohol symptoms in me that did not exist before. <laughs> The, the amount of spoons I have for this <laughs> right now are, uh, are are not enough to share a jar of peanut butter. It's the second so, most uh, time. Somebody's going to have to go doggy style on this gif with me if we're going to get form through of this. Right, it's known as man. The risk factors are age. And if you're a woman, so now that you know a little bit more about this horrible man. disease, you're going to get to the study, so pay attention. Keep quiet, please. <laughs> Let's get it. My neck, my back, my joints <laughs> are whack. My neck. My back, my joints are whack. My neck, my back. Uh, you should do a uh, a Kurt Cobain performance this next. This is a war crime. This is, this is worse than a war crime. This is the type of thing I would do a war crime for <laughs> to stop. Okay? Yeah. You would be justified in starting a war to stop this. Thank you. My joints are whack. Thank you. Okay, so check this out. This is interesting. Um, we'll see. Do you feel like with the right editing, this could be better? Could anything be better with the proper editing? I, I you could, you could, <laughs> you could paint a turd to look like a fucking nice cool rock, like hmm, kind of like Wappy. <laughs> I, I, I like Remember there's Wappy? there's only so much you can do to something. Yeah, I mean you can improve stuff with editing, but yeah, like you, there, at some point it's still gonna be a turd. Because someone sent me this behind it, and se- it's. See it? I don't know. It might be awful. Let's see. I feel like she's going to kill me. I appreciate the shame she's brought upon her family. <laughs> what is going on? Is this a death threat? I don't get it. This is a lo fi eulogy. Is it weird that I kind of want her to murder me, though? Oh no, my man, God, this, that this sounds. Is, uh... This is your. <laughs> this is your issues. You need some testosterone in your diet. <laughs> oh no, no, it's awful. Okay, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going through it again. Um. Right, boys. No fighting, just words. Shake hands. Give it your best. Let's go. I went to McDonald's and I got a Big Mac. Why? It was for his mum because she was too fat. <laughs> Science, geography, history. Your mum is a mystery. Piss off. So he's... It's weird because he's playing like multiple characters in it. Yeah, this is TikTok. Your mum's favorite book. Chapter one. How to cook. <laughs> Right, that's sexist. What? What the? Yeah, that, that's sexist. You can't say that. He said, Joe, what the fuck? Don't judge women and how they. Oh. oh! This punch made him very frightened. That's why his mom calls me Mike Tyson. Okay, that was fucking awful. All right, let's. That was pretty bad. Be dick, suck balls. <laughs> I already know. Psych. Are you vagina? <laughs> This is refreshing after the last one. It kind of, it kind of has good rhythm. I eat vagina. I eat vagina. 
John. Now, I think this is definitely a step up from the previous video. And it's a little kid. Of course. <laughs> My guy in the school bathroom doing things cool kids do now. They don't smoke cigarettes in the school bathroom. They eat vagina. They don't do drugs. They, they fucking rap about eating vajayjay. <laughs> My guy. I'm just waiting for like a teacher to walk into this bathroom and hear this shit and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Eating vagina? <laughs> <laughs> It's a cycling team? Oh, fuck. This is Astana, Kazakhstan. It's the Kazakhstan cycling team. team. Okay. Yeah. Looking fresh. We are ready to win. We are rolling pedals for the gold medals. Our job is to win. Astana is my team. We are riding to win. And well, I don't know where they're down. from, but Astana I thought... I'm not sure where this is from. Like this Kazakhstan on the we fucking shirt, right? Does it? For the gold yeah. Medals. Our job is to win. Astana is my team. We are riding to win, and it will be done. Astana is my team from Kazakhstan. Oh yeah, this yeah, yeah. This is my challenge. This my way, my passion, my message, my power, my game, my back on the road, my heart with my team, my goals moving forward. I follow my dream. It's wild, crazy that Borat got so big they made a country named Kazakhstan, and they've already entered the Olympics since that fucking movie came out that's kind of impressive cringe rap sucks but it's totally fucking cool you should be part of the soviet union uh, i didn't exist before uh it was like a it was a myth uh, no it wasn't it became real after uh borat came out what a weird solipsistic uh, uh view of the world it's, uh, my bike my it's a fact I love it's you not so you look so high fashion. i knew some I'm people from kazakhstan I when i went to college bike just to feel that all is still fine there's a psyop Okay. Scrolling my Twitter, I'm using a my everything. bike, I'm gator, I'm the shaving my legs, we are riding together, discovering the track, and nothing can stop us cause Venus is back. We build this empire with Lopez come back, Lutsenko's on fire and the shark can attack. Tutte giorni strada, ore su ore, lottando per la fama, tra fatica e sudore. We are rolling pedals for the gold medals, our job is to win, Astana is my team, we are riding. Okay, yeah, it's, you know. It's not yeah. horrible, horrible. Like it's not teacher rap, right? It's it's cycling it's, rap. It's unnecessary. It's almost worse. <laughs> it's very fucking unnecessary. Because they're like Eastern Europe. Kind of wish Borat never would have existed. COVID rap. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, yo, Mark, tell us something. Holler at him. Hey, I have one question for you. How are you not thinking about infection prevention and control? You know what to do. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, we can end this one because it will, it, will, it will cause the show to get tagged and flagged if we listen to it. Yeah. So... Yeah. He's got bluffing, got Ben. Here. Call his bluff. <laughs> you want to be responsible for the clip video when we have to re-upload this tomorrow? <laughs> you want to? You want to play? You want to play that game, Magicus? I mean, like ten percent of me does. Of course, ten percent of you does. The other ninety percent of you needs another shot, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get Magicus that thirty three dollars and thirty four cents. Put us up to the seven hundred mark. And Magicus will have to chug a lug. You know who that is? Borat? No. I've seen this. This is the... It's a Kazakh man. Like This was a, like a, a Borat, short film made before Borat. Borat was like a... World building film. Borat was like a like a Russian, like a mostly Russian Kazakh Stan resident. In, like, like he was portraying one. But the actual Kazakh people are like tribal people. Um, it's really interesting. They're almost like part russian part mongolian like they're like part like central asian it's really interesting this is highly interesting it is 
I want everybody at home to know that we are teaching you in the form of a cringe rap about Kazakhstan. Ben, go! First verse. I, no. Because <laughs> it would be it would be too cringe. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving and I know it. Yeah, remember if you got swag. I think we've already seen this, right? This is Minnesota State. Yeah. Th- these yeah, these guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Much love to the fans. Is this copyrighted? Much music? love to the women. I think it's quiet enough where it all. wouldn't matter anyways. With okay. It's muffled enough. The world ends. With them thangs. I never stop. For but real, I still though. Gotta do what I gotta do. As punks. As punks. With them thangs. <laughs> as I don't stop. Doing it raw. With thangs. As I keep doing it well. Fuck. Three, six. Mafia. I don't think you're supposed to say no. fucking your friend. Yeah, but don't stop. Why doing not? Raw, you keep doing it dope. Like, at what point in time did we decide cussing was ungodly, right? Um, like, G-Man who, who, says that you're not supposed to cuss. Yeah, but G-Man's Ooh. a fucking dipshit. <laughs> if, if G-Man says, if G-Man says something is wrong, I'm akin to think it's right. G-Man's never lost an argument, so like, how do you argue with success? By not arguing at all. Fuck <laughs> Tommy. A punk bitch work at the group home at the lows. Do it so dope. Rip microphone. He do it so well. Be rip well. Ask Tommy. So lame. Is he like, like, what do you think's going on with him? He just like medicated really heavily, or I think he probably got hit in the head really hard a few times. I think there's a lot going on. The fact. Maybe some degenerative brain disease, brain damage, (laughs) how guy says. How late did we start today? We started pretty late today, right? We're almost four hours in. Hmm. Hmm. We start, we started like three hours in late. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Our, our boy Big Diesel says he has another promo for us. Well, we'll we'll get to that in a minute here. With some fangs. I saw this today and I thought it was funny and I might uh, use the green screen part of it someday. Whoa. Hey guys, you might already know me as the popular online film reviewer YMS or Your Movie Sucks. As many of you already know, I love to joke around a lot, but what isn't funny is improper gun training. What also isn't funny is violence against women. Stay strong, stay safe, stay educated, and stay cool just like your buddy Cool Cat. Beautiful. I guess I guess he filmed this uh, a while back, like uh, several years ago, because he wanted it to be in the Cool Cat movie, the like gun defense yeah. movie. Yeah, but it never got used. Whoa! A bunch Isn't of- there like Whoa. a scene in the movie where like the kids get actually shot with a gun? Whoa! Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. They should like like edit that behind him. Hey guys, you might know me as popular film reviewer YMS or Your Movie Sucks. As many of you already know, I love to joke around, but something that isn't funny is improper gun training. And something else that isn't funny is violence against (laughs) women. Stay strong, stay safe, stay educated, and stay cool, just like your buddy Cool Cat. (laughs) Someone was laughing in the background. Hey Whoa. guys, you might know me as popular film reviewer YMS or Your Movie Sucks. As many of you already know, I love to joke around, but something that isn't funny is improper gun training. And something else that isn't funny <laughs> is violence against women. Stay strong, stay safe, stay educated, and stay cool, just like your buddy Cool Cat. 
Beautiful. Yeah. This definitely has high meme potential to it. I want to show you guys the thumbnail to this next video just so to, to get your expectations right. All right. How to get your woman to lick your ass. Better sex <laughs> okay. series. And look at this guy. So Step one. This is who tell her to. This is who we're dealing with. <laughs> Have you ever had a woman lick your ass? <laughs> well, I have, and it feels pretty damn good. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to get your lady to not only lick your ass, but also love doing it and wanna do it for you on a regular basis. And then you get to make out with her afterwards. I wouldn't be, Does uh, it? I, I, I wouldn't respect the type of woman that would lick my ass. So yeah, I probably Does would make out with her afterwards. Wait, wait. <laughs> Does this involve using a bell and treats? <laughs> the Bachelor's Life with Rob Siragusa. I thought this video already had a title. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Welcome to- Hold on, didn't you already say what's up and like introduce yourself? A new episode yeah. of a Bachelor's There was already Life. an intro to, and a title to this video. Why are we doing it again? Because YouTube 94. is all about repetition and filling out the 18 minutes so you can have four ad rolls. <laughs> episode 94. Ass. If this is our first time meeting, <laughs> hi, I'm Rob. Welcome to the show. Today we're gonna to be talking about a very adult issue. If you're under oh, the yeah. age of 18, you might want to skip this show. All right. So if you haven't figured it out yet, we don't shy away from sensitive or taboo topics on this show. Before we can talk about how to have your woman lick your ass and love it, we have to talk about what you need to do first to prepare yourself. Let's put up some talking points. How to get your woman to lick your ass. One. <laughs> Prepare yourself. So prepare yourself. I like how prepare yourself and then clean your asshole, shave it, and keep it clean are not all within prepare yourself. Like I, I'm pretty sure prepare yourself means make your asshole presentable for human consumption. That would include cleaning it, shaving it, and keeping it clean. Am I wrong? No. I thought the whole point of having a woman lick your asshole is so to clean it in the first place. That's not magic. That's no. gonna get clipped. That's not. Oh, <laughs> that's the exact opposite reason of why a woman licks your asshole. That's it's not get clipped. It's that, not. Put that in the archives, by the way. It's not something that has anything to do with the cleansing process. Okay, it's all pleasure. If you're out here thinking you're supposed to get women to lick your ass clean. You are not a feminist. <laughs> Confirmed sicko. Not Lord Magicus. I'm starting to really wonder what the fuck that crowbar is there for. He just, he's got the goddamn hook end wrapped around her neck. He's like, you clean me. I save on toilet paper and donate to the drunken peasants. Clean me now with your tongue. I want to be able to eat off that asshole when you're done. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't realize how dark you were, Magicus. All right, I'm going to donate some more money and get me, some, get me drunker yeah, and yeah. you'll find tip out. Tip train, please, please, tip train. Let's do it. Clean your asshole. <laughs> what I'm talking about here is when you're in the shower, take a little bit of time and make sure that you clean <laughs> this area. Wait a second. Oh, it's on prepare yourself. We haven't addressed prepare yourself. I think. Oh, wait, wait. It's, it's a category. Okay, okay. Fuck me. I'm the dumb, dumb one. It's a category. Go That's on. why it's yellow. Go on. Go You're on, good sir. Already. Teach me what I need to know. Definitely Obviously, start. the student is learning from the master. <laughs> now, next up would be shave it. Have you ever spread a woman's legs apart to eat her pussy? Then notice that she's really hairy. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, Seth Lutz. Hey, thank you, Seth That's all I got for tonight. All right. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right, Magicus. Our actual Mania audience member, all-time audience member, Seth Looks, has done giving you that sippy sip. This one's for you. Dylan Fuliter says, anyone else waiting for Billy to realize it? It took me a while to get there, okay? I told you. I'm out of spoons tonight. 
I'm fucking done, dude. <laughs> it's not Dratini. This is Dragonite. Ah. Here, dr- this this one's Dratini. Ah. But if she doesn't keep that area neat, then there's there no go. way. Let's put the uh, guy back on. So we're just looking, we're looking at a yeah. fucking nerd aquarium. It's the same way with your asshole. If I'm a merfolk master, okay? You and you're really hairy. She's not going to want to do this for you. I will tell you from experience that it's not it easy to shave. Yeah, 7-Eleven. Like, and, and here's we'll the thing, here's the thing. The idea that you have to clean your asshole and shave your asshole to get a woman to lick it, like, obviously, this is not gospel. A good girl will do whatever the fuck you tell her to, and she'll like it because you've become the type of person that could command anything. Like, even magic is sick. A twisted lifestyle could work under the right circumstances. You'd probably have to be like Justin Bieber magic in his prime. Magic over here and lick my Asian asshole boy. Mm. <laughs> hmm. How about that, Magicus? Is it go good with Malibu rum? Malibu rum. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I'm going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> But if you if you have to if you have to work it to get it, I understand these guys' fucking pressure points. Clean your asshole, shave it, la la la. But you got to work it. But if you really have to work it, you barely deserve it, anyways. It would be to put a mirror between your legs as you're standing, then squat down like a catcher in baseball and see what you can do. A better suggestion is to have her do it for you. That is definitely My face easy. is numb. That's not a good sign. Shame my asshole, bitch. All right, the next uh, suggestion is to keep it clean. There's a couple of products that I'm going to suggest to keep You know, no, this, this is a good point, though. Like, it is a better suggestion to have her shave your asshole for you. Be like, look, look, I bought the fucking salmon. You got to debone it and cook it, you know? That's, that's what you're Black doing. Black Opossum already clipped me being a not sweet boy. Fuck. A, a Nazi boy? That's a not sweet boy. Are they not sweets? Is this yeah. The... I'm, the... Damn it. I'm over. I'm canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Clean throughout the day between showers. One product are these flushable wet wipes. All right. Here's what they look like. You can get these from the supermarket and the toilet paper section. You don't have to turn your asshole into a fucking megaphone to use these either. These are quite comfortable if you're not having someone lick your ass. They're fun and fresh. Yes. They're moist wipes that work really well, and they don't cost a lot. The one disadvantage to this product is that they are not individually wrapped, so it's kind of tough to conceal these. You can get individually... Why conceal them? You can get individually wrapped flushable wipes. They sell them. This guy might be cheap and not as smart as he wants you to think. So here, yeah, fuck this guy and his opinion. We're going to go through it anyways. Look, but he doesn't even know about individually wrapped flushers. Lip. It's all about being in the shower and let her go to town. Let her stick a pinky or two. Ah! Let her be the dom for a few I'll minutes. Right Anything else after that might make a super freak. Let her be the dom for a few minutes? Just, Aren't these like wipes the thing that caused that like fatberg problem in England? I think. It, am I the only one that doesn't equate having somebody's tongue in the, in your ass as being submissive? Like you're literally making somebody put their tongue in your fucking pipeline, dude. How was that dommy for them? That's not a dom nom nom. It's not a dom thing to eat ass. Is it a dom thing to eat ass? If you convince them that it is, then yes. Like, oh no. Uh, don't put the tongue in my ass, daddy. Like, what the fuck oh, is going on? No! <laughs> I'd, I'd never equated somebody <laughs> licking a butt as a dominating move. Uh, that seems like the ultra submissive move to me. Like, yeah, put that tongue in my ass, Mr. Postman. Like, that's that's pure submission in my mind. I guess this is where my fucking mind is at. Christ. This is a good I mean, product for women. It's kind of hard to force sl- someone to eat your ass. Like, Is it? It's, I feel like it probably would I, I be. I don't think so. I don't think so, Papa. On your knees, like, think about on your knees, you have to on be your in knees. To force someone to do it. Smile, smile like a prolapse. Go. I don't know. I want your tongue to look prolapsed on an X-ray inside me. Done. 
this into their I don't think you're the one in control in that situation. Like, how are you? Like, how control? How are you control not is the one that's control like is not about the fucking the the control is like I I could be in control with a fucking shotgun in my mouth, right? Like, like it's, it's, I, it's, it's, it's not a, there's no give or take here on any straight rule. It's just the idea that, that, that a, a butt lick is it, like someone like your butt is giving them dominance over you. It's, it's, it's doesn't compute to me. That could just be me. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I weirdly, I see it from both angles and I don't know if I have a clear answer on it. You see it from both angles because you got to up your T levels, Magicus. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> teasing you. Yeah, oh, there we go. Right here. If I hold the crowbar, maybe it'll help. Yeah, that's the T bar now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look like a fucked up remake of uh, Clockwork Orange. No, like it is like all rusty and fucking shit too. You're about like... to go ultra violent on somebody, aren't you? <laughs> it'll be a little bit tougher for men to use this product outside of the home. For example, your ass is sacred. Only a chosen few may even smell your asshole, but it does depend the position you're in. You know, being bent over sideway while she licks and chips you is being done. Oh my god! Top G things, you know. So <laughs> honestly, he was like, "It'd be tough to conceal it." When you buy the big pack of wet wipes from Costco, they include some little like travel packs of them too. So you can get travel pack wipes all the time they yeah. exist you could do uh dude wipes makes travel wipes in the individually wrapped packages you can keep them in your pocket yeah they have them everywhere you can get them um i just want to i just want can we can we take the top g moniker and and start using that for submissive sexual positions make you a top g i fucking love that top yeah g. yeah she's gonna she's gonna push my ankles up over my fucking head and lick my ass yeah i'm a top it's top g it's you top g what? baby jigger maybe that's the defining factor if they if they lick your asshole and then they fucking like put their tongue in your mouth maybe that's how they use that as a dominant position at work. Any position can be submissive or dominant, but the idea that, that licking ass is, is puts the person dominant to me just blew my mind. There is all it just blew my mind that someone would think that that was a, 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 putting your tongue at someone's ass is, is is inherently dominant. I don't know. Maybe, maybe though, but putting your tongue in someone's ass and then in their mouth—that's the dominant thing. Ass to mouth. That was uh, yeah. the staple of a Kevin Smith film. <laughs> yeah, Another product is something called Dude Wipes. Sometimes I'm sorry I don't have any to show you because I ran out. Nistia says Dude Wipes are weak for men. Well, what if your mom bought you the Dude Wipes? Then what, okay? It was a gift from my mom. Okay? Fuck. What? Fuck. Recently. You can get these on Amazon. Uh, these are handy because they come individually wrapped. You can put a couple didn't he just say these didn't exist? No, he was talking about the other brand. Now he's always. now he's here. I use both of these products. Not a sponsor. I like one better than the other. They're both. I take it. Okay, this guy's obviously a fucking professional. Okay, he's literally just. I, I'm I'm jumping the gun on everything. He's ass looking world I'm try, champion. <laughs> I'm trying yeah, to he, outdo him, and then he goes like seconds later. Like by the way, if you had a little patience, you'd know your tongue is already in my ass, Bill Fridge. What? <laughs> Bill Fridge. <laughs> what? Great. If you ask He's a bachelor. What do you expect? Around magicus. My asshole is dry. Ain't gonna lick itself. I'll give you an ear mint black lotus. Otherwise, I'll give it to Billy. Goose, just all lick that ass first, please. Like, He's got a black lotus. No, He's got a black I'll lotus. <laughs> He's got. I have a black lotus. Black Let lotus. me in that butt. No. Dips, I'm a whore for magic dips. cards. I'm a, I'm a slut for magic cards. You're Let me in that ass. ass. Fuck it around, fucking crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> All we need is seven bucks. Magic is drinks again. <laughs> Final <laughs> countdown. Next suggestion, excuse me, is to work this out. This so says bidets can hurt people with fissures or hemorrhoids. No, no. Well, there's <laughs> normal bidets like you'll find in Europe where it's just like a bath that you dip your ass in. And then there's like the Japanese style pressurized drink magic toilets. Well, Nistia, if you're having Fisher problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bidet ain't one. Right. I but have but like a, a traditional bidet like you'd find in mostly in Italy. In Italy, there's a bidet in like every bathroom. Also in Italy, it's a law that they have to have these emergency strings in every shower. 
So if you fall, there's all you have to do is pull a string to call for help. Every fucking shower has those. It's so weird. There we go. There and we a go. bidet right next here. to every toilet. You basically give your ass a, a warm bath in a in like a traditional bidet. Like there's no pressure. It just like fills a little like bath for, <sighs> bathtub for your ass. I'm used to always having a concubine with me to feed me grapes and pour warm sake across my open genital region after I wipe. Sake. Sake. Your butt looks good. Every now and then I'll see a woman with a really nice ass. I'll say to myself, every damn, now and then, if she ever, I say to myself, damn, asked me to lick it for her. I definitely damn. would. That feeling goes both ways. When you're at the gym, and do this guy looks a little bit like Bruce Buffer. He's got like, he's got Bruce Bugger swag going here. Okay. Wait, does this guy have any advice if you have like Hank Hill ass? Yeah, it's time. It's literally, the it's literally at the bottom of the fucking list. Magic is. <laughs> <laughs> we figured out this this figured out this this list was all under prepare yourself right there at the <laughs> bottom if you got a fucking Hank Hiller work your glutes <laughs> this guy's a genius he knows his shit goblet squats or whatever you have to do to get your ass looking as good as possible you'll know that you're doing a good job when the next day your ass muscles are sore <laughs> now that you're prepared let's talk about what you can do to have her do this for you Let's put up more talking points. How to get her to do it. Oh, my God. My first idea is to ask her if she's submissive. When you meet a new woman, sooner or later, you're going to have a sex-related conversation. Have get these answers without asking. Stop asking. You're, you're doing yourself a disservice. Stop asking. Stop asking if she's submissive. Do things that will reveal to you that she is. It's very simple. I won't tell you what they are. It's behind Court a paywall. Of vowels. I'm just letting you know you just did the equivalent of dropping this open prison Whoa. and I'm the big black buff guy behind you about to rail you so I do have your promo. Your prostate. Whoa. That's an act yeah. of dominance. This is troubling. This is where you ask her general questions like, are you bisexual? How important is sex to you? What's your favorite position? I'm just going to say this. If she eats your ass and doesn't let you shit on her chest German style, she doesn't <laughs> love you. We're at Not 95%. You got to be a top G. Like, this is just <laughs> top G things. I love co-oping the fucking Andrew Tate top G things for weird sex shit. Big fan. Week, would you like to have sex? Do you swallow? <laughs> they all swallow. Look at his little smirk that he has. They're like, every woman swallows. They just don't swallow for every man. I've had these types of conversations. Sometimes the first time I've talked to a woman. Other That's times it's the not third the or fourth time or fifth. Have that conversation. I've never had these conversations. I get the answers naturally. It's fucking. <laughs> This is weird shit to me, okay? I understand it probably works. You guys are all fucking over here buttering bread and making biscuits like everybody else does. I know I'm on a higher level, but it's weird for me to have this conversation. Oh, I mean, I talk. agree that it's good to like know the answer to that question, but maybe not like the first time you meet that person. I, I, I know the answer to that question the second after it comes to fruition. And, and I never questioned it beforehand. That's how you get the answer. Top G shit. Top G. Top G lick my ass. Dumb style. <laughs> I'm not good at the top G thing. I don't I don't get it fully yet. I'll figure it out. Whenever the time is right and you're having this type of conversation, I want you to ask her, are you submissive? Many women are submissive. If this is the case, then you've already won half the battle. Women who are submissive have a strong desire to please their men. They often want to please their men more than they want to receive pleasure from them. Submissive women get pleasure from giving pleasure. Whether or not she's submissive, ask her if she's ever licked a guy's ass before, then <laughs> ask her if she'll do it for you sometime. <laughs> Just be bold and put the question out there and see what she says. I like his pink golf shirt. 
You know, I like how that's... casual he's being about this whole topic. Yeah, like he's we done should it be like if times. you're gonna if you're gonna. Well, I mean, for how one, many, do you think he's I'm sure he's done it hundreds of times? You think he's had the ass licked hundreds? Of I'm, times. I'm sure he's had the conversation towards it. Whether he's probably been successful, I would say. I'm sure he has. The way been. he's talking, I, he's definitely had dozens of times. Okay, this guy looks but, like a person who's lived his entire fucking life for the sole purpose of having his ass licked. See, I don't know. If, I don't. I don't believe that's true. But I feel like he's the guy. Like you know how there's artists, right? You know how there's like a, a Da Vinci and there's like a Bob Ross and these these people. <laughs> they can they can create from nothing. This guy is the paint by numbers artist. Like he gets similar outcomes, but he's got a very detailed one by one process to get there. You know, he's not the chef that comes in with some ingredients and makes a meal. He follows the recipe, you know? And that's that's a different type of guy, but you get the same results. So who's who's to complain? Next suggestion, give her the best sex she's ever had. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> give her best mediocre. Give necessary. her give her give her the best fucking man she's ever been with mentally be a fucking king in her eyes and then give her bottom tier sex give her fucking day old donuts when she's starving that's what you do fuck this guy and his ability to please women <laughs> if you're not good in bed if you're not giving her orgasms if you're not doing your job as a man, then getting her to do this very intimate act is going to be an uphill battle. You're I'm not going thing. to get into how to give her. Nistia says this guy is still better than those alpha dudes who use manipulation to go, no, like 100%. I'm not saying, I'm, not, I'm being more of an asshole than this guy is. Like, if this is how you want to go through it, this will probably benefit you and the girl you get to lick your ass. Like, this is a better partner for ass licking than some asshole who's just going to, like, stuff your fucking nose in between his cheeks, back it up into your face while he's plowing you because you didn't quite know how to socially deny him until it was too late. That That's just fact. This guy is good for men and women. A little weird, because we don't usually talk this way. Right. Yeah. This isn't something I normally hear a lot of you people You admire discuss, his candor. But like, I, don't I don't feel like his, his information is inaccurate. I don't so. admire his candor. I appreciate it. And I do feel like this 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 level of education, it's like you, we had the uh, Dr. Ruth, right? And all these, all these women who told women how to like take cucumbers and turn them into orgasms. And that was great. But you really don't have a lot of men to, out here telling men how to do something because for the longest time, uh, men's biggest education was just apply pressure. That's been how men went to the dating world. Apply pressure. Apply pressure. Show her who's boss. Show her who's the man. Apply pressure. It's fucking weird. It's, it's creepy. So this is 100% necessary. Matter of fact, hire this fucking guy to do a Mr. Beast video and teach a generation of kids how to get it in a mutually beneficial way. That's what we need. For good sex because I've already done shows on this topic. At the end of this video, I'll put up a playlist called Better Sex Training that contains five shows on how to fuck better. <laughs> also, you're not going to be able to give her orgasms if you have a below average sized dick. Lies. If your dick is not at least five and a half inches erect, then you are below average. If that's your situation, it is possible to make your dick bigger. In case you don't know, I have a playlist called Bigger Dick Training. It contains five <laughs> shows, and yes, I'll put up those also at the end of this video. The idea behind giving a woman good sex is that you'll... This increase your dick shit has been one of the biggest fucking... Uh, like history of of internet like spam there used to be like fake pills and shit well, yeah, like yeah. That. it's like there's such a huge industry on growing your dick and for the longest time it'd be like uh send me twenty dollars right now and i'll increase your girth by three inches dick size by three inches and it's all stuff like diet and fucking stroke your penis in a certain way it's it's, it's like it's 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 but it's like if you follow this shit it's it's the same as like 
I don't know. I posted some shorts of Gary the Barbecue Chef in the clips page so you can see what he brings to the table. Just in case Ben wins on Monday. Just in case. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, uh, it's, it's this little fucking sheet. I swear everybody ships it around and then these guys get it. And none of these motherfuckers apply themselves anyways. If you applied yourself the same way you'd add those three inches, you, in the same amount of time you could apply yourself to be somebody worth fucking. There's also the bonus cummies uh, supplement. Was like, it more cum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like, uh, I don't know if that actually works or not. I mean, everything probably works to a certain extent, but just good diet, a uh, good healthy diet, some nice healthy proteins and fucking exercise will get your schwans back in order as well. Being fully operative is, is good for you. Be giving her a lot of It's pressure. not just that, but like losing weight will fucking take away some of that fat in the pelvic region so Cheech, it just looks bigger. Cheech Wizard says Billy has tried it all. Nothing works. Nothing's needed. I've actually tried to lose cock mass recently because I'm sick in the fucking head. She'll start to look forward to, depend on, and eventually get addicted to this type of pleasure from you. Great sex and pleasure can be very intoxicating for a woman. You want her to become intoxicated on you. You want her to get addicted to your dick. You want your relationship with her to be not unlike the relationship between a drug ah, dealer yes. and a drug addict. The drug <laughs> addict is... A little weird. A little weird here. But, but, uh, this, this is definitely something that's true when it comes to sex. Desire is a huge part of it. And she needs to desire you if you want to be in a position to give her what she desires, right? ...upon the drug dealer to make him or her feel good. Did when he a woman just compare you like the guy to a drug dealer? Yes. But you're dealing in oxytocin, right? Isn't that the, the gimmick here? Is that is that ethical to like do that? Well, is it know. ethical to sell drugs when drugs mean orgasms? I'd say fuck yeah, it is. It's like like he's obviously talking about dealing in pleasure and having someone addicted to the pleasure you give them, which is what a sexual desire should be at its base. He's just comparing it to, to something a little more illicit because that's the closest thing we have to a, a sexual desire is is an addiction to drugs. Like what else are we uh, like? I guess we can compare there, it to. I mean, there are sex addictions, and the feeling you get from orgasm it, it does release endorphins that are akin to being high on something. It's like a quick uh, kind of thing, you know. Uh, so yeah. Zoe says, "Okay, now he is sp <laughs> spitting bad advice. This would never work. Strong desires for a specific man." A strong desire for a specific manhood reduces over time as it becomes normal, no matter how fantastic it is. No, Zoe, that's you dealing with fucking duds you know, who convinced you they were better than they were. When you when you when you actually when you actually get with an amazing fucking human being, the the high only gets higher. That's the problem. No, no. It's got to be a full package. Obviously, this guy's teaching you how to get through the hump. He's trying to get, See, but, but Billy, you gotta, you gotta it sounds be... like you've never done heroin before because you don't really understand how addiction works. Like, I understand how once... addiction works. In my life, I'm the heroin. Yeah, once once you get like you know used to that certain level of dick, like that level of dick is not gonna do it for you anymore. You're gonna need more and better dick you're... over and no, over. No, but... no, no, Magicus, <laughs> your, your your desire and devotion only wanes. If, if the man no longer lives up to what he sold you in the beginning, but we're human beings and we can consistently grow, we can consistently develop, and the depth of, of who your lover is can only grow over time if they're capable of growing together. And your the dick problem is, is not going to grow more fantastic is, over the course of your 100%. Relationship. It is 100%. not going to happen. Wrong, 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 wrong. Team wrong, Holiday. Wrong, wrong, by wrong. the way, Team Holiday won the uh, open poll 40%. 40%. That's pretty good. 30% are undecided. And they could be undecided because they're Jeff Holiday fans well, and they don't want to, but they're not fans of the team. Well, we they also know. haven't seen the promos or like like the final we entries. Don't know. Yeah. So, look, 
Billy, my advice is don't get high in your own supply. All right. Don't like you're taking your own dick for granted. You're just looking at it and be like, damn, that's fucking amazing. But like Sorry. somebody will eventually get used to it. And then it's like, so, how do you go back to like, no, Magicus, down Magicus, I'm, I'm sorry. Beef? I'm sorry. You don't understand what it's like <laughs> to be filet mignon. Okay. <laughs> I, I understand. You understand what it's like to be a top tier porterhouse. How about a yeah, Wagyu? You, uh, you you're a fucking, a fucking filet mignon. You're That's a fucking stadium weenie, dude. I understand. Oh, no. I understand. You, are you part of the 10 cent hot dog day at the Columbus Clippers minor league baseball games? Uh, uh, on your best day, on your best day, motherfuckers are putting ketchup and mustard on you. I understand that. I understand that. I'm a goddamn clear cut bone in tomahawk cock bay bay there's but if that's all they're used to over time like you know tomahawk cock is not going to cut it after a while you say the... this because you yourself don't understand what no, it's like to grow i say that beyond. because i know how addiction you don't works. know shit i'm telling you i got that new drug papa i want a new drug <laughs> i'm addicted to cardboard crack okay and i know how expensive that gets over time i am the drug <laughs> <laughs> I know what it's like to be the cardboard crack. You know what it's, it's always, like. You it's know what it's like to be feeling. addicted. You always need more and bigger. It's, it's only fleeting if your dealer can't hook you up. That's what. We, that's what I'm saying. You're gonna eventually run no, out of No, 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 no. Don't put. Don't put anything on me. <laughs> this is your experience. I'm not living your experience. I'm living mine. <laughs> I, I looked it up just to see if it still exists because it's the craziest deal in, like, gluttony in the world, especially if you have no standards for food at all. They do. They still, <laughs> till this day, once a year, do the dime a dog night at this minor league baseball stadium in Columbus for the Columbus Clippers. Unlimited hot dogs, 10 cents a piece. I went there with TJ when we lived in Col when we lived in Columbus and we ate. I, I felt like I was going to die because I was drinking beer, too. And I ate. They're like the cheapest, like most subpar, you know, boiled hot dogs in the shittiest buns you can imagine. Sounds terrible. Two, Two bites and they're done. You know what I mean? Like, bow, bow, like yeah, ten cents but, is ten cents, man. Like fucking take it. We gotta go to the Nordic Lodge with all you can eat lobster. Well, that's king crab. That's something that's, on a different level. That's, that's not the money ten cent right hot there. dogs. That's the money right there. Zoe says even perfection becomes dull over time. That's assuming perfection itself doesn't ramp up. Like you're, you're giving yourself these limitations. We as humans have the ability to adapt and grow, but most of us don't. Because we don't strive for a higher purpose, a higher level of achievement. That's that's the difference. Your mind is is set on a level of limitation. DP limitless up. limitless minds only get better with age. You got you got wine in a bottle and you got milk in a carton. Y'all are two percent, okay? That's the difference. You'll curdle. And that's I mean, okay. I do have wine in a bottle, so uh <laughs> DP meetup at ten cent hot dog night. DP meetup at ten cent hot dog night. Um, you know, Art Van Gro, uh, shared our thumbnail on her Instagram and was like, "DP always makes me look cute in thumbnails." Are we gonna become her managers now? I don't know. You guys, one in the chat, if you would uh, watch the Art Van Gro show, a new split off of Drunken Peasants podcast. We're going to do thumbnails for her. That. We're going to get her guests that are equally as crazy. All the people we talk shit on, we're going to hire to be uh, on her panel. Instead of drunken peasants, it's going to be uh, vegan. Vegan gains? <laughs> vegan <laughs> grow. Vegan grow. I remember when he was like, I'm going to stab Repsy on. Zoe says, well, if you're so confident, Billy, prove it. I mean, maybe I am. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you have no idea. I don't have to prove it to you, right? I have to prove it to anybody I choose to share it with, right? Like, like I don't mind you living in the mystery. <laughs> it really doesn't bother me. <laughs> oh, I just got some more stuff. Uh, by the way, guys, we're 30 bucks away. Help so us out. So close. And we hope you all have a happy holiday, whatever 
you celebrate a jolly holiday with you hello buddy. everybody Ooh. it's your boy big diesel here and i had a feeling you guys did not like my promo last night low I didn't say that said hey i was stuck I on a that. naruto kick for about 24 hours what do you think i was gonna do but i've been doing research and making tea but while i was making my tea and doing my research i was studying Mayan and Aztec culture. Hmm, interesting. You know they used to paint their faces and represent different animals or gods, and two captains of rival tribes would get together and fight. The indigenous peoples of modern-day Mexico. In some type of situation where they had to, With like, individuals? survive. But... You got to understand something. When you're going against the luchador, you got to make sure you hit right. Because if you're going to come at the king, you bet not miss. So, I started looking into the history of... Gobble, gobble, the choo, 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 poop, poop, poop. Woo, 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 poop, 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 poop. 97%. That is, a, that is a quality dono. I approve. The history of just lucha libre in general. And it really got me fascinated. And really actually showed me the true power of a luchador. Not only that, but the power that is within the star spangled luchador. Oh, so, I thought to myself, <laughs> Nice touch. Diesel, how do you defeat a luchador? Simple. Get ready. Did he just do an attack on Titan? Here we go! Listen, Luchador, I'll see you at Survivor Situation. Is that Mystico's, uh... Whoa, whoa, I think it's Mystico. Is it Sinkai? Not the only one with the power of the Luchador. Yeah. Team Jeff. Well, man! Damn. Star Spangled Luchador is suggesting this is stolen valor. And this is the Big Diesel's not even the real Sin Cara. It's Sin Cara Azul. We right? Don't, we there don't, was Sin Cara Rojo. We don't also. know who this is. We don't know what 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 I don't know. It's a mystery. What version of Big Diesel this is. All right. This could be con con gasolina right here. We don't know. It, Maybe this is Dusty's owner. What a what a shocking turn that would be. This could be Gasolina Grande. Imagine if it was Dusty the Cockatiel versus Dusty's owner. Get ready for Egghead to spurg out. Uh, here we go. <laughs> spurg out! You know, I wrote a lyric once, and that lyric for one of my songs that I released is, there's a moment of peace, and then it tears you away. And I'm starting to realize that it's kind of applying to this feud right now. Because, Egghead, you will not let me have any fucking peace, will you? God damn, dude. Like, every every single moment you gotta have the last <laughs> fucking word in and you're probably gonna make something after this. But, I'm just gonna keep this short and sweet. You couldn't be more wrong in terms of why I needed Brett to be. Not even needed. Wanted. It's a want, not a need. Anyway, Called it. I was trying to hold off on this, and it's. I, I, I mentioned it in the chat. It kind of was glossed over. But I it. saw it. I, I'm uh, there. I took a trip buddy. recently. One blood. Uh, to Festus, Missouri. And it was harrowing, to say the least. But needless to say, um,. One thing led to another. Brett will be making an appearance on the next Actual Mania. <laughs> right before my fucking promo. Tune in. I th When he said one thing led to another, I thought he was about to tell us he banged Dorn or something like that. <laughs> or no, one I, thing I, led I, to I another situation. Brett. I cucked Brett. I gotta pee. I, if we hit the goal, if we hit the goal, Magic is don't drink until I come back. All right. I couldn't get up off the mattress situation, so I needed someone to step in for me. 
<laughs> I still have this queued up. I love this. Uh, shit. Why is it? it oh, here we go. Hello, you gotta send and me this my name is video. Some asshole. Is Make sure you check out my gaming channel. You wouldn't game. believe how much shit I have. I have like Dude, a whole archive of all this. Send me everything you have because I love this. I'm like more than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> <laughs> if you love, then after you guys do that, and before that, check out my new movies you love, where I of course talk about guess what movies. movies. When you get an opportunity, check out my brother's dance, and I think that you'll enjoy it. My beautiful wife, she made me a fantastic, fantastic bowl of chowder. It's terrible. I timestamped this on fucking one 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 one. It's terrible. Uh, <clears throat> well, somebody, <clears throat> somebody ended up fucking me. <laughs> the reason why I prefer raping your wife and children and insult the living hell out of them is a fantastic way to be able to communicate with people. And you can actually get up on video and attempt to take on the particular Brett Keen situation. I love how they use that bad audio situation. It's so yeah. funny how they just use the same one and it doesn't fit with everything else. Situation. I can't as an individual. That is the work of a individual, master. Individual. Who is famous. <laughs> as an individual. Who is a celebrity. I can't post pictures of my fan. I... I pointed out the individual thing, and Paul pointed out the situation thing. The individual thing, I noticed when, in the early days, the first few times we were watching Brett videos way, way back in the day, mm -hmm. when we started doing the show from, like, my small apartment. I had, like, a little apartment that we started doing the show from, and... uh I remember like going through it was in my living room. We used to do the show literally from the living room uh there. And I remember like listening to these Brett videos and he'd call out these are individuals. Individual. <laughs> yeah. Family. Love it. I can't upload. Yeah, the what video. was it? The first pro or the first episode you did for him or it was like twenty three situations? And they just played the fucking, like, dong every time. <laughs> it was amazing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> rang a bell every time it happened. Every time there was a keenism. <laughs> Bing! Like that. And he'd get all pissed every time. By the way, uh, if you go to the DP On Demand link, all of our old shows are now available for individual, sa individual sale. I need to make, a like, a commercial where it's there like, it is. it's start. Yeah, yeah, I have one of those, too. Um, yeah, uh, I I made just the individual videos on DP On Demand available. So if you don't want to pay the 10 bucks a month to, to get, like, unlimited viewing and you just want to watch one video, I think it's available for, like, three bucks. You can watch each video on, a, on like, a pay-per-view basis. You get it for 48 hours. Uh, you can pay three your, bucks for like the do old. Do yourself a favor, though. You there's like four of these, and all of them are fucking worth watching. They're fucking fantastic. Yeah, I have seen every one of them, and I've rewatched them multiple times. Uh, I see a question about who said the manatee. It definitely wasn't me. I didn't come up with the manatee thing at all. Those of my wife and children and people I care about, because there are fucking monkeys out there who will grab. A naked man who was being gang banged by a bunch of <laughs> monkeys and they were literally spewing all over me. <clears throat> I will make the money. And it's that simple. Just like if you were to... I still have all of the entries from the Draw Ben contest where people didn't know what I look like and they all tried to draw me. I still have all of that. I have the... We had, we had a contest of TJ and Tim Black having sex. A drawing contest back in the day. And we have all there, of those, too. I still have all of that shit. You ran a uh, contest to, like, draw bread as a manatee, too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a bunch of, like, art contests back in the Go day. Go over and grab my brother's ass. My brother's uh. ass. I support people who are cyber bullies, cyber stalkers, trolls. And oh, wow. Yeah, I remember the golem thing. And That's amazing. I rule over them all. I rule over the stupid bastards. 
What's funny yes, about this true, edit I... is that he's more honest in this edit than he is in any of his actual videos. Yeah, this is great. Put my phone number out there, and I allow people to call me a nigger or a faggot. Ah! I don't fucking care. I've not had one single <laughs> individual ever You're call me up all. and say that they're a fan of Brett Keen. <laughs> so if you are claiming to be an individual, and then you enjoy watching Brett Keen destroy or hurt people, then there must be something wrong with you, and I don't want you in my fucking ass. And I don't give a fuck about fag, nigger. Ah! If you're too fucking <laughs> stupid to know the difference between whores and cunts, then there's something wrong with you. Did you know that the particular... Oh, John, when will you learn? <laughs> atheist Sam Harris, he claims that there's over three million whores and cunts. Fuck that shit. It gets worse, ladies and gentlemen. Let's say the drunken peasants decided to grab my brother's ass. There are predators out there, and they need to be dealt with. This is why I support extreme child fucking... If you really want to <laughs> crammed up your ass? No, you don't. Because that can be quite painful. I have recently and violently and aggressively whoop up on my wife and make fun of the way she looks and the way she sounds by wearing He's women's clothing. He's done that multiple times. He's had <laughs> fucking domestic violence charges. <laughs> what I do. Been doing it for years. The reason why I prefer calling her names and treating her like shit, the woman <laughs> knows, hey, this is a guy that's not going to put up with any bullshit. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do because I've already been told by the lawyer that I've got a great ass. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this is what he was threatening to sue us back in the day. <laughs> I've already been told by the lawyer they got a great case. I have to be honest with you. I go out and seek out young kids, black kids. I had to <laughs> mess around with underage girls, teenagers, and, and kids of elementary I don't know if many of you know this, although I refer to myself as homosexual. If you want to serve God, then you're going to have to enjoy butt sex with another man. Or you're going to die. It's that simple. I think you'll enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you've had sex with a woman, such as my grandmother, and then after <laughs> harass, anally rape their family... Something inside of me always felt like I needed to be having sex with lesbians, transgenders, homosexuals. Oh, yeah. Here's uh, this thing Billy sent me while he was on the shitter. So have you followed any of this uh, Colorado no. club shooter? No, no. So this guy that shot the club. I heard a little club, bit about it. His, uh, I wanna get his grandfather. You can scroll down by president. His grandfather is a Republican assemblyman, like a a, a, a lawman or a, 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 whatever assemblyman is. Like a yeah, I'm not sure. Thing. It's like a, a politician, I believe. Is he like part of like the state government or the federal government? I, I think it's the state government. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, for state California. Assembly. So he's he's this yeah. kid's grandfather. That this guy's gone out uh, like supporting the january 6 riots and everything oh my god and then this is the kid's dad the kid's dad's a porn star yeah, he's a porn star and this kid's dad was on an episode of intervention where on intervention he admitted to smoking meth and masturbating for 10 to 12 hours oh fuck what's wrong with that i mean i mean was, uh... he was on intervention and this is his dad, MMA fighter turned porn actor Aaron Franklin. He's also Brink. an MMA fighter. Yeah, had an immediate reaction when he learned his 22-year-old son had been accused of slaughtering five people and injuring eight others last weekend in a mass shooting at a Colorado Springs night spot catering to the LGBT community. I just want to point out the world has gone fucking crazy too, because like uh, there are these, um, there's like this cold case right now of the murders in uh, Idaho. I think it was Idaho, right? With who? There was some college students in Idaho, like four of them were murdered and they have no they, they haven't huh. made an arrest yet. It's been like several, several days. Um, the world like there was another shooting today at like a Walmart. Hmm. The world is just fucking crazy, man. It's been pretty well, bad the, since COVID. Because from, the United 
before the United COVID, States doesn't want to do any. We don't want to do anything about gun violence and like there's so many. We don't want to do anything about do. mental health. We don't want to do anything about disparage no. homelessness, and, and homelessness, uh, homelessness, like, social, social despair, the, fi- financial despair. Like, there's domestic a lot of violence is like the fucking number one indicator of like gun crime or something. There's a lot of people that have nothing to lose and no one to live for. And so they just go out and they do unthinkable things. And I don't know how we stop that, but like we have to like start working on something. The guy right? who committed well, I mean, the murder that I witnessed was living homeless at that point. Yeah. Well, like, what's also crazy about this is like the Colorado guy apparently like Colorado's a state that has fucking red flag laws and like no one that fucking knew him like bothered to fucking report him for like any of the ridiculous shit that he's like been involved in so that very easily like could have been reported and stopped. Well, look at this. Daryl Brooks, he was supposed to still be in jail and he was out to like commit the atrocity that he did. So th- this know? this uh this kid uh who or th- this guy that shot up the club, he was stopped by an ex military guy and a drag queen mm-hmm. who who I guess uh stood on mm-hmm. his neck in high heels. <laughs> like like what what it sucks that he got away with so much. I but, saw him look. He got beat up really but, bad, but, uh, too. I saw the dude, pictures of him. But I'm glad that a, uh ex, ex-military guy and a drag queen are more effective than all of the police officers oh, in, yeah, obviously. Th- th- that wouldn't go into that elementary school a couple months back. Right. The, the like, police do not exist to protect you. They legally do not have to. They exist to fucking oppress the people. But this this dad this dad who was on intervention for meth and and half day masturbation right. sessions. I do get the last word. Hey, hey. you know what? Yeah. yeah, Egghead sent in a promo. Hey, uh, Magicus drank, but but yeah. really quick before you drink, this fucking guy, this kid's dad, said they started telling me about the incident, a shooting involving multiple people. He said, then I go to find out it's at a gay bar. I said about his son, I said about his son, God, is he gay? I got scared. Shit, is he gay? Oh, he's not gay. So I said, Hold on. Phew. That was the first what? thing he cared about? Why do you think isn't I'm saying my, this to you? Isn't this is my, fucked. It's not my son is a murderer? No. Well, dude, he a thought- bunch of the fucking extreme, like, fucking right-wing people were going on about, like, calling them all, like, child groomers and real? shit. Because it was... Like it's it's fucking ridiculous. Like the fucking lengths this, that some people will go. It's all like political games to them, and like the actual human lives don't mean anything to them. All right, here we go. Well, Real. cheers, Magicus. It's just look at the look at the fucking timeline in this family. You have the grandfather that was a Republican assemblyman. People are saying show the interview. Is there a video? Yeah, there's him? an interview down there, and for further down, there's a video with it. The, the, the grandfather, who's an assemblyman, oh, okay, that, yeah, right made here. It, his son was a meth head, uh, d- d- porn addict, that porn star addict, meth head that that turned to UFC and violence to get some sort of control over the lack of control that his father instilled in him, and then he himself, lacking that, fu- can we can we uh, go full screen, lacking the oh, yeah, fatherly yeah. fucking yeah, yeah. necessity to raise his own son has has deviated even further to the point where his son can't just handle dealing with the 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 the, the, the sins of the father by masturbating yeah. for 12 hours on meth and doing porn and fighting in a fucking UFC ring his fucking son had to go murder people on trans day are you ready i wa- i watched I watched a bit. Of, Kyle Kalinske covered this earlier, and I watched like his thing about it. And like, this guy's fucking home life was like insane. And I, I don't think that's an excuse, but like, goddamn, like somebody should should have fucking said something. Unmute. History of mental illness with him, or when's the last time you saw him? Uh, you know, the, the, my son. I, was, I, I hadn't seen him for years. I thought he, had, I thought he committed suicide. His, his mother. Told me that he, um, I, I'll give you a history. I was a, um, a, a a porn star. Okay, I became a porno star in 2002, and I okay. I, I, I combined that with a mixed martial arts career, and my my ex was and she she took off with my son. I hadn't seen him for years. Um, the little that I did see my son, you know, I tried to give him, you know, the father figure, whatever. I didn't know where his whereabouts were. Um, 
I he has no teeth or he upper teeth. Told himself in 2016 that he um, that he's um, you know alive and well. You know, and, um, he lives in Colorado. Yeah. Why did you? You lose those upper teeth when you smoke meth and shit. Yep. Because it's, the pipe is it always melts. burning against them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he had killed himself. Well, uh, his mother meth told mouth. Me she she said see. that he killed himself because of uh, I'm, I'm a I'm a because I'm a, I'm a I'm an embarrassment to him. Um, my son is um he, I loved him so much you know, I didn't want to lose uh, you know be around I wanted, I wanted to be around my son and be here for him. You know, I have a daughter the same way they had my son. I, I, never, I never see my kids. I never knew him. But, um, uh, I want to be, it's uh, sad on so many levels. Honestly, though, not seeing your kids is probably the best thing this guy could do for them. He's not going to be a good father. No. I, he's been accused of doing some crazy thing. I don't know what he's been accused of. I can't get answers from the attorneys, really, but they're saying that somebody's you know, it's involving a gay bar or some shit. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the heck he did. We have a gay bar. Um, I don't know what's going on. Well, he's accused of going on a mass shooting at a gay bar and killing five people. Colorado. Okay, well, well, that's how shit. If he's accused of doing that, I, I, I'm glad he's not gay. I don't know, I can say that, but I'm glad he's not gay. <laughs> well, oh, he's accused of shooting five people at a gay bar? Whew. Glad, glad he's, he's not, not gay. gay. When was the last time you saw him? Um, shit, he was... I saw him, I made efforts to see him, but I think I see him in 2000, um, I guess it was 2011. 2011. Yeah. Is he living in that truck behind him? Like, what's going yeah. on? Was he living in San Diego at the time? He was in Carlsbad at the time. He came back from Colorado, they were here, and I had a little bit of a relationship with him. He was 10 years old, you know. I was holding myths for him, you know, showing, showing him how to I wanted to be a professional fighter like me. You know? I wanted to be a fighter. And, um, you know, I don't know how much he takes after me, whatever, but, um, uh, you know, I said, my, my son, you know, what the hell, I, I didn't expect to hear this kind of stuff. Um, he's a big kid. Yeah, he's taller than me. I mean, he's like six seven. He's a big guy, you know. He's, like, he's six seven, makes almost three hundred pounds. So you said you've been trying to reach him now. No, well, he reached me. He reached out to me. Okay, and said what? You know, um, I have. This is just, my son. My son is just say, hey, dad, I want to talk to you, man. I want to see you. I was well, you know, happy to hear when to see me. He wanted me to come out to Colorado. And um, I was like, I don't have to take I, I, I can't just get out to Colorado like right now. And he wanted to then, right then and there. And it seemed like he was all, you know, he was happy to see me. Or right? he wanted to see me. He needed something right then. It was urgent. So I was a little alarmed by that. Mm -hmm. This so, was 2011? No, nah, it's last year. It's last year. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. I thought he was alive. Like, maybe he could have prevented this shit. I, he, I don't think he's in control of anything. I mean, Dude. maybe yeah. just his presence, though. Yeah. So he contacted you last year, and he wanted. Yeah, there's well, he so fucking much that the... could have prevented this. It's insane. Like From people, this right. guy's entire fucking like life has just been like this. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy shit. And he was um, he said he got his attention. He got he called some people that I knew that he knew I knew. I wonder if he's high right no, now, was, or if his brain is just deteriorated to nothing. Um, the Kennedys, the Kennedy Insurance over there in um, El Cajon, like they're good. They're, they're they're good connection with me and my son. He's like they were around. My life when my son In before was fatherless behavior. That's why I started the whole tirade on, dude. This guy's dad was a fucking Republican senator and he turned to meth and fucking crack. And now this dad was gone and the kid turned to shooting up a fucking nightclub yeah. full of full of uh gay people uh, and, and taking taking lives on Trans Remembrance Day. Or was it Trans Day? I don't know. At least he's not gay though, right? Phew. It's not even clear that that's true. <laughs> well yeah, I mean He's, he, I don't think he was, if he, he may have been gay. He just wasn't allowed to be gay. Um, like yeah. If I, if I remember, like, there look at that, look at that down there. Brink, Brink, who appeared in such films as My Milf Boss 8, I Want to Get Titty Fucked, and Latina Slut Academy, told CBS 8, you know, Mormons don't do gay. We don't do gay. There's no gays in the Mormon church. We don't do gay. Oh, he's Mormon yeah. too? Well. Yeah, the last that I had heard, like, it was not actually clear what exactly the motive was. And so, like, struggling with identity might have actually been a significant factor in it. We don't know yet. 
Then it says here that uh, Aldrich, who in 2016 changed his name from Nicholas Franklin Brink to escape his father's sordid past, said Aldrich is uh, non-binary, saying they use they, them pronouns. However, booking records list Aldrich's gender as male. Additionally, in text messages from the day of the shooting, which were shown to the Daily Beast by a source close to Aldrich, Aldrich's mother referred to her son as he and him. So it doesn't look... That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't doesn't, doesn't look to be any confirmation on that. I mean, if anything, Zach says, that, "Why like, are porn titles so funny?" Because you, you gotta stand out on the shelf, right? You gotta stand out. Like it's entirely possible that his fucking like uh, struggle with his fucking or identifying his own preferences and gender like was a significant factor in it, and that he just ended up taking it out on people that were totally fucking oh, innocent. Oh no, I don't think it was a significant factor in it. I think it might have played a part in a, a bunch of other significant factors. But it was, uh, being being uh, non-binary and, and not be able to fit in the world does not make somebody go blow, uh, shoot up a fucking nightclub, right? No, it, I'm like, not <laughs> saying that it does. I'm saying like, that I wouldn't say it's a significant like, factor. It, 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 probably, it probably was a symptom of, of a, a, a much much more terrible problem i think that if anything it might have it that like that could be a, uh, an issue because like no one else in like this person's life was able to fucking accept it like uh, you know. at least he's not gay he's just a day them yeah well, i heard it was on nightclub i was like what is he doing at a gay nightclub yeah, is he dj like, it oh no he shot up cool cool no he's not guy no, like, it's not, not, <laughs> it's, it, his in twitchiness no way, was like it's an, like, yeah. I'm not saying, and and no way whatsoever is that an excuse for fucking doing any of this shit. But like, it does seem like the lack of fucking you know support and acceptance might have been like a a possible motive for it. So, uh, there's there's uh, definitely a lack of support and acceptance. There's definitely uh, a, a a whole lot of Mormon fucking church. The Mormon yeah. shit, yeah, Going through the I Mormon didn't expect shit, that. Yeah. Going through all types Dude. of other things. Being six foot seven and probably still a little bitch, like that's got to do a lot on you, right? That's got to do a hell like, of a lot on your heart to be six like foot I, seven and still a little fucking bitch that walks into a fucking nightclub with a gun to, to murder innocent people. I, I'd say that's a whole lot worse. Yeah, little like, I bitch. Can say, like, I can like, say, like, I know people that are fucking associated with the Mormon church and, like, from everything I've ever fucking heard about it, it is, like, literally a cult. If you've lived and, in like, the Southwest. There's just Mormons everywhere. Like no, like any of the southwestern states. If you've ever went family style style on a gaggle of sister wives, you know how fucked up they are. Um, yeah. We're gonna check out this promo from Egghead Ooh, before we uh. end the show tonight. Everyone who's involved in Survivor situation, Ooh. I will be in touch with you soon in the actual mania chat in the DP. You doing Discord. okay, Magicus? No, <laughs> you're terrible. I'm fine. I'm. I don't feel good. <laughs> are, are are we gonna do a chat like a like a VC? Or are you gonna do a sleep? I, I, I'll, I'll stick around for a little bit, but I don't know how much how we, long. I can I hear you puke? puke? <laughs> it, it's happened before. It's we got there for it. All right, so, here we go. There Here's was a Egghead. Wikipedia making fun of the kid too. Here's that. Here, here it is. <laughs> it is one o'clock in the morning. Let's go puke. I had to see your video. Bring the manatee. Because I'm looking at my video. I'm still going to call you what I want to call you. I already got a perfect name picked out for you. And that name reveal will be at the end of my video against you. It sounds creepy. You said it yourself. I can call you whatever I want to call you. Mm -hmm. Join the Discord. John. Go into the John, John, the general voice chat. We're going to do a oh voice God. chat tonight <laughs> following this episode. You should join. Coming. There's people talking almost 24 Saturday. hours a day in it. So You did this to me, you chat. What is wrong with you? The hangman's coming. <laughs> Thanks All for the right. promo from Paul's Ego that we completely talked over. Paul's, I mean, it was. <laughs> what, I mean, 
I but, shouldn't laugh. It hurts. Yeah. Magic <laughs> 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 yeah. just needs to sleep. Uh, we got actual mania coming up Monday night, guys. It's Come gonna through be early on. Pre show is going to get things started. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, wash your ass because uh, there's going to be a licking. There's going to be a licking that keeps on ticking. <laughs> Good night, guys. Damn it, Billy. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We will see everyone uh, in the Actual Mania pre-show coming up sure. here. So, uh, yeah. Good night. Place your bets now. Yeah, make it happen. <laughs>